for another month of pain. El Bugal. I've got it, I've got it, it's, it's, yeah, I'm looking for a biggest dickest. I, I, I...
lot. Can't beat the boss without a team. Now put some friends when in need. Right take crew from around the world. Games last fun. All the Good morning. Hi. Hey, Paul. Hey. We talked the morning to you. Hey, Pete. Oh, it's you. Hey. <laughs> we had to share a room last night again. How is it possible that every single time we're on a uh, some sort of journey or, or vacation or whatever, we're, mm. we have to share the hotel room? I'm as disappointed by that as you, <laughs> if not more so. You listen to a radio. <laughs> When you sleep. <laughs> well, I listen to Yeah, you refuse <laughs> to wear headphones. Well, how can you wear headphone cans when you're trying to go to bed? Buy Don't headphones. You? You, they make ones you can put in your ear. Yeah, but I lost those. You could even put some under your pillow. Oh, what? Like, and then they... Well, it yeah. just wouldn't inconvenience anyone you happen to be <laughs> sharing a room with, and they might get to sleep at some point. <laughs> Did I... Uh, I thought I turned it off pretty early, though. Was it... 3 a.m. is not really early, I suppose. <laughs> I think I managed to get to sleep at 2.45 and then you graciously turned it off. Um, so, if you guys did not know, uh, Chris and Natsuki are already en route doing an activity. We already had a busy morning of filming. We got some surprises coming your way today, but I'll be honest. I will be honest. This is a, a Van Gang heavy episode. <laughs> Just like the old days, it'll be... We have seven and a half. I have seven and a half hours of driving today. <laughs> Two of them are done. Two of them are done. I just got a warning from the car. I guess it's a built-in thing to the car. It said, you have been driving for two hours. Why not take a break? <laughs> well, I moved up and to I the front. I couldn't agree more. So. I'm glad. The ground. Whoa, Wait. that's way too loud. That's a Paul special. Um, but the, the yeah, this is the, the Van Gang of Returns. Originally found on the cycle. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Originally from the Cyclothon, where it was born. Uh, Paul, you got your Van Gang shirt today? Uh, no, I wore it yesterday. So. Uh, I didn't want to stick up. I wore mine last night to sleep in. That's true. Where's yours? <laughs> um, show, show them yours, Pink. You. Well, uh, right now I uh, left it at home because y y my lovely wife, she's very dear to me, she washed it the night before I was leaving and I said, honey, you know, I needed to wear that and she didn't seem to agree. So, um, 
I do not have my Van Gang shirt. Joey needs his Van Gang tee. I think he's got his own cool clothing line. I think we need more nonsense here. Nonsense.jp. Nonsense dot JP. Is that actually N O N S E N? N O N S E N S E dot JP. You can't spell nonsense. nonsense. <laughs> I don't know how you can spell it. I said no S E N S. You're reading it, but you got it written there, Joey. Why did you say no S E N S? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm an English teacher. I was. So yeah, nonsense dot JP. Uh, those sweaters are tight, man. I'm gonna get one uh, when I finally get paid. I'm not gonna joke about them being very tight on you. But yeah, that's. <laughs> so, um, you own one already? Nice. Keep getting them. Van Gang shirt, Dr. Jelly shorts. That's right. So, here's the here's the breakdown for the first leg of today's journey. Well, we are going to. Can, I can tell them where they're at, right? Like we, because we're on the way there. Do you know where they're at? No. <laughs> I was hoping you would pick me up there and, and co-host. Um, I believe they're boarding a, a train, a steam train. Correct. We are racing them to a point where we can uh, get out and hopefully we'll record uh, a, a, the train going past, but also Paul's going to get the drone up and we'll get one of the train going over a bridge. So what's happening today is uh, because of where they start the train journey, there's like a military base and an airport there, so we can't fly the drone there. So we've got to drive like 45 minutes away from where they are to be able to get a drone shot. Even a, a Maverick licensed drone operator like you, they don't let them go into military uh, airspace? No, it's like a Chinese blimp for them. <laughs> it is indeed. Um, so we brought... Uh, no, no, no. That's... It's, yes, Joey, Joey looked like a, like a homeless man they picked up somewhere. No, he's not. He's, he's a special guest in the back. What's up, he's up for the ride. So, unfortunately, we did film one aspect. We didn't film it. Well, we filmed it, but we didn't live stream it. Um, you will have your chance to vote later, but we had uh, the second challenge of the day. I'm going to do a slight spoiler. Joey lost. He's he's the loser. And I feel I don't know who I feel worse for that he didn't get to go on the the cool steam train or he's stuck with us for two hours. I know who I feel worse for. <laughs> Ampan Man. Oh, yeah. He lost his gig <laughs> to you. <laughs> and you no, clearly I got, do, I got to do a con act yesterday, so it's good. Yeah, you got to go you got to do the thing yesterday, but I, I do apologize that you're stuck with us. That's why I'm in the back. That's why he's way in the back, yeah. I don't blame him. Nine months of pain. Okay, well, we're starting the stream right. Nine months of pain indeed. Um, the Frozen Frontier continues. Why does Chris look like that in the middle row? That is not Chris, that that's is Joey. Chris. How could you? Two finger oh, Chris. you thought that was Paul? Yeah, that's not, Paul? That's Paul. Clean shaved Chris. Clean shaved Chris. Yeah, I mean, Ian... everyone, everyone knows all French people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that saying in. Is that well, right, driver Chris? We're, but we thought, again, we would, uh, the, yeah, this is Chris. <laughs> He's but got all wealthy people. Look maybe maybe I should do a, where's the bear spread? Do you even bring it? Shit. Yeah, no, we're in Hokkaido can't. again. You can't bring it on the plane. Nah, that's what it was. How did you get to Hokkaido on the cyclothon originally? Oh, no, <laughs> no um, we had it delivered to the hotel. Oh. But we came back on the Shinkansen, okay. remember? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but that's I have right. it conveniently next to where we podcast. Yeah, I know. So in case I get out of line, you, you, you give me a blast to the face. That sounds horrible, but... <laughs> with the bear spray. Jesus. Um, the only time Pete is sitting in the front of this journey... No, I, I, I stood my ground today. I said this. I said... <laughs> I saw it. I said, listen, Chris, if we're going to be doing the stream, I got to sit in the front. He, the ground quaked. That's what it said. The ground quaked. And he said... Nothing in return. Anytime I'm not in the van, that's... Is that what he said? <laughs> we could make that happen, potentially. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. Um, I would, but what I suggested to you, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. So Chris Not likes to sit in the front because he gets car sick. Oh, well, you, wanna, you need to sit in the front because you stream. Yeah. This little center console folds back into a chair. <laughs> It'll be like Dumb and Dumber with uh, we'll get Chris in the middle. <laughs> and I and I go, do you guys want to hear the most wow. annoying <laughs> sound? <laughs> Thanks, mate. The most annoying sound. I just make the <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> Someone did make a Dumb and Dumber meme of you and me. Before. I, I don't think they've seen the movie. I think they just thought it's who these people are. <laughs> Please drive safely. You're getting me told off by the car now. Stop it. <laughs> okay, 20. Uh, who's the guy in the back? All right. I'm going to I'm gonna give a brief introduction of who the cast of characters we have in today. Uh, to 
this side of me. I don't know if it's the right on the camera or the left, but I believe it's to the right. This is Ian Rudd. He is um, the planner of this great Frozen Frontier Journey Across Japan 5. Yeah, I think the one you're looking for is coordinator. Coordinator. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> the planner. <laughs> it really does not define Ian's work. Yeah, he's a friend of the of us. Um, I just come along and yeah. meet you guys wherever you go. Joey's going. right. He is the coordinator. Um, he is also one of the original fan gang members from the Cyclothon, and you are the driver. Yes. You are one of only two people with a driver's license, you and, and Natsuki, oh God, don't, and don't, we're not letting him touch the, the wheel. wheel. And then uh, I am Peter. Chris also has one, but he didn't. Uh, of course, uh, offer. <laughs> <laughs> I am the host of this Thank channel. You. You're welcome. That's right. And, um, Short and sweet, I like former it. English teacher doesn't know the word coordinator or how to spell nonsense, not <laughs> JP, but I did do that for 10 years. Behind me, directly, is Paul. His nickname is Maverick. He is the drone operator, the cameraman, and the editor for various videos on YouTube, but primarily for this one, obviously, Abroad in Japan. And the man in the back needs no introduction, but we'll give him one anyway. He is the man, the myth, the legend, Joey. How's it going? All right. RPG Savant, by the way. Did not know that about him, because I thought he was just too young. Yeah, I was like, he doesn't know the classics. He's <laughs> faking that bullshit. Did they even get RPGs in Australia? They got PAL games. You know more about RPGs than I think anyone I've ever met. Well, that's because I got to play all the Japanese ones when I was talking. Did you ever do a Persona or Shin Megami Tensei cosplay? I did, actually. I did a Joker cosplay with my friend. Oh, shit, so it's like... Persona 5, yeah. I would do, like, Persona 1 with the gray the gray uniforms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love those. Yeah, those are so sick. sick. There you go. So, we already dropped off the other two guests. <laughs> They're not guests on my channel. I think I'm a guest on theirs, but... Uh, Chris, who's the host of Abroad in Japan, and his good mate, Natsuki the Man, and he and Chris are right now on a train. Last, is it a slow train? Is it like it's a steam train? It's a steam so train. It looks really nice around like the snow and everything. But uh, they haven't departed yet, and if we've planned this right, we should get to where we need to set up just as they depart. So he gives us, I don't know how long it's going to take them to get there, but we've got Chris's location tracked. Okay. We can watch him, uh, yeah, he shared his, he shared his, I think, his, I think uh, the train, from what I remember, takes an hour. Yeah, but I don't know how long it takes to get here. Oh, I see. Yeah. I got you. Um, but as long as we're set up by the time it departs, we're yeah. Yeah. Should be all right. Really quick question for the gang, we mm -hmm. can answer in uh, any, I'll start with you, Ian. Mm -hmm. The question is, have we ever dyed our hair? I'm very curious if you have. I wish I had enough to die. The reason I'm wearing this like headband is it covers some of the rapidly <laughs> I mean, we, receding headline. When uh, you were young. I did dye uh, purple once. What? For uh, a basketball tournament in Holland. Uh, and it was kind of a whole team thing. Uh, it, was, it was more of a drinking tournament with some basketball thrown in. It was like a mixed boys and girls tournament. All teams from all over Europe go to this university in Holland and we play and our uniform was purple and I dyed my hair purple. But I did it myself, I did it really badly, and I dyed all the tops of my ears oh, sorry, bright purple as well. Do you think this good. has any correlation with damaged hair or anything that you've done to yourself? Oh yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> did you use dye or did you just use some sort of chemical like know, the Joker? I think, it was, I think it was bleach and pen ink or something. But <laughs> Joey, have you ever had your hair not dyed? Uh, well, <laughs> the first time I dyed it was in college. Oh, so high school you never did it. Was there no, rules against my, it? Yeah, my high school had rules against hair. Like me. Have our hair both below our eyebrows, over our ears, or over our comb. Did you guys all toe the line to have it just around us? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a mad look when I just swept it behind my ear. Oh, yeah. the old, you had the, the wings. Yeah, exactly. So, what's the uh, most adventurous color that you regret dyeing your hair at one point? Like, I regret dyeing? Or no regrets. Like, did you do green sure. ones and you're like, damn. Uh, well, the thing is, I've never dyed my whole head because I've always been afraid of it. So I've had like, you know, streaks in my hair. Uh, I did like a hot pink. A hot pink? Yeah, I had like a hot pink dye like through my hair. That would look kind of cool though. Yeah, it looked all right actually. And then I did a green. Uh, I did I did that on 420. That was fun. 420 green. And how about you, Paul? Have you ever dyed your hair? I dyed it black. Oh, what? Why? To look more Irish, I guess. Paul. Paul, you. 
I've seen some fantastic haircuts of yours back in the day. Oh, that's oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Paul used to have uh, quite the ultimate the visual k The right. spiky hair at the back and the emo at the front. Ah! <laughs> I Dude, didn't see that. We need to uh, please send us a couple so we can post oh, it on the Discord. they're all on my YouTube channel. If you watch the uh, the earlier ones, Paul Ballard. Um, if we search it. Paul Ballard yeah, on... will come up on my yeah. channel. I'm not going to try to spell it. B-A-L-L-A-R-D. Um, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B-A-L-L-A-R-D. I've got my cover of Connor Yuki, I think I've got the haircut on that one. Oh, the Navy Audible cover? Yeah. And I feel nice. I need to say this. I actually yeah. slow it down. It's a horrific coincidence. Oh, cool. but I happen to go to school with a man called Paul Ballard, and he is a horrific human being. <laughs> and here we go. And they have. I want to clarify that you're not someone who like did horrific no, things. But, but if you Google Paul Ballard so Essex, it's going to come up with the other one first. Yeah, <laughs> very true. But just by coincidence, I went to school with him and sat next to him, and now uh, and when when Paul to clarify. when Chris told me, he's like, oh, uh, on the next trip, uh, we're bringing along Paul Ballard from. Romford Essex is obviously out of prison already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> but no, it's, uh, the he's, he's a good one though. He's the good he's Paul Ballard. Um, um, and the well, finally, when I when I when I, I dyed my hair one time in my life, and it was in middle school, and I, I my sister wanted to experiment with doing um, frosted tips, so I said I want it. That looks cool as hell, man. So we spent about four hours, but when she took off the like, the lid that you had it on, I had like leopard spots on my head, and I looked like an absolute idiot. So when I went to school the next day, I wore a beanie, and we had an all-school assembly, and the teacher, the principal guy was like, excuse me, no beanies, you at the top. And I looked, I tried to hide as best I could. He was like, please take off the beanie. And when I took that thing off, and Everyone laughed at me. Did he say, please put the peony back on? <laughs> please put the peony back on. <laughs> Dude, that was so brutal. I never dyed my hair again. And I feel like it's getting close to so time. you tried to be discreet. And yeah. It, and it led to the most uh, public a, shaming. A public shaming. Wow. I would like to try it one more time, but my sister did me really badly. Was she an aspiring like, hairdresser? Is that why she wanted I think she was just in high school. I was okay. like, I don't want to do it to my hair. So yeah, okay. she watched Clueless. Back when frosted tips were like the coolest thing on the planet, you know? That was like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC at 98 Degrees. Those are four bands. I was not. Maybe a little, all right? <laughs> I had my Jinko jeans. I had my frosted, well, I had my leopard spots. Did and you want it that way? And yeah. it was, I wanted it that way. <laughs> and she said, baby, bye, bye, bye. Everyone, <laughs> it was horrible. Try to look like my biscuit ended up looking Oh my god. Dude, I was out of sync. It was a fail. Man, Jinko jeans were awesome. Birkenstocks and Jinkos were the the fashion combo. Listening to Blues Traveler. And that was the life, yeah, right? Silver Chair, Blues Traveler, and uh, Birkin. Is that what? The, those are those shoes, right? The Birkenstocks, the brown yep. kind of loafers? Yeah. Yep. Those the, those the Jesus sandals. The Jesus sandals. Dragons on all sorts of the back. No, 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 no. My, I had a chain wallet. Um, <laughs> chain wallet. Oh yeah. Did you have one of those oh, yeah. like flame shirts? Of course. Big Bam, big yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. Bam, Bam, Bigelow. Yeah. Uh, big Bam. That's I don't what know. What, I, don't know. <laughs> um, I, 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 I had the slasher flame shirts. Oh, those were those were uh, way. Too, uh, I remember I had uh, what was it? It was like not to see because that's like a real thing. Yeah. Uh, Massimo or something like that. It was like an old surfing shirt. And I lived in Kansas. We have no oceans near us at all. <laughs> and there was a No Fear. Do you remember No Fear oh, yeah, t-shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, No Fear. Yep. And then there was a rival called Life's a Beach. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This is dumb shit. But, um, yep, those were the good old days. Fat Farms were big. And P. Diddy's clothing brand. Yep. Uh, Quicksilver. That was the other one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Quicksilver. Big Australian brand. What? For real? Yeah. They completely, I guess Australia completely infiltrated my life. I had a silver chair and Quicksilver shirts. We love silver. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> it's all silver. Um, so, that's enough about our youth. That is, uh, that is the introduction to the gang. And like I said, yesterday, if you guys missed it, we treated you to all sorts of exciting things like an igloo village on top of a frozen lake. There was a Kofuku, Kofuku, Kofuku station. Yep. Yep. Happy, happy station. Or yep. what Nats, I'm, everything I'm saying is what Natsuki told me. He also <laughs> told me this. Go fuck your station. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's that's easier to remember. Though. Yeah. Uh, today, 
It's a throwback. It's a just chatting stream. Still catching up on the VOD when you went live. We'll just watch that tomorrow or when I'm not live, right after this one. Yeah. You ate bagels? We did. Those were good, man. I didn't. Oh, that's right. You didn't. We ran out. Took one for the team. That's okay. I had to take the, uh, I ordered a coffee and got a shitty ginger ale. We all lost. <laughs> Don't lose your hat today. I got a new hat. Let me show you guys the new oh, one. Oh, it's really good. It's, it's uh, so check this out. Are you guys ready? I got the same one. Is Amy watching? If Amy's uh, watching, thank you very much. I think she might be asleep because it's like, what time in the UK right uh, now? It's like yeah, 4 a.m. But I'm not allowed to wear mine today because Pete said. Oh, no, yeah. So Amy is a, an amazing community member. She got us a present. Uh, we couldn't, we saw her at the Premier Con, but she sent it back with Chris. And I gotta say, we have a new beanie that rivals all beanies you can't see the pink one. shit <laughs> I blocked it why not why can't you see it because your forehead is it's about too big. inches I'll have to put it down like this there you go it's a matching hat it's clean man this is a dope beanie see if you know the name of the character do you guys know the name of this character it's uh yeah Gethers McGraw that's Feathers McGraw, I think is what it is. I think he misspelled the, That wasn't me misreading it. He wrote Gethers, uh, and then I auto-corrected it for him. It's a chicken run. Yes. What do you guys call these? A toke? A toke? A toke? A beanie? Yeah, it's a beanie. Yeah, I've never heard the word. Chicken run. Wallace and Gromit. Chicken run. All the fun shit. You wearing the jeggings today? Maybe, maybe not. I'll give you guys an update on that later. It's an update later on the impressive 2022. Update. It's an impressive update. It's one that none of us saw coming. <laughs> he's, he's gone tighter. I, I don't know how it, how it happened. They were the baggiest. Trousers? That's horrible. Who? Oh, the wrong trousers. I don't think I can read English. <laughs> what happened to my ability ever since I stopped teaching? Maybe I was never a teacher at all. Maybe the kids were teaching you. <laughs> you know, you're just, uh... I fear that I've done a big disservice. Yourself, Joey, or do you have someone do it? Uh, I have someone do it. I have a, I have a hairdresser for to cut my hair. See, that's why I haven't cut my hair yet. I can't trust anybody. Those QB houses. Uh, let me, let me. Oh, your you guy's me, cool. Me yeah, he's. Is he still in Nakame? Or did he move? No, around? he's in. Uh, it's near Shimokita. So. Shimokita. Shimokita. Shimo. We will wait until we are back. I liked their questions. They were fun. Maybe we are back and I just didn't notice it. We're just sitting here in silence. Oh, we are. Until we are back. 20 seconds? Yeah, I think it's like 20 seconds, yeah. Do you ever do IRL streams, Joey? Oh, and after yeah. that you're like, nah, fuck that. Uh, I just don't have time. Mm. Do you I, find it? I'm also afraid to get streams. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's yeah. a big one. Yeah, I want 
Pete actively encourages it. <laughs> and just, just so I can going. talk to people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Does anybody know Premiere Two? <laughs> I, I shout this and should be a scramble. Hello, I'm streaming. No, I I, I do not do that. Um, but yeah, I can totally imagine that. I think the. I like joining other people's IRL streams when I don't have to host it at all. Yeah, yeah. You can just be yourself and yeah. stuff. But it's hard because uh, when you're streaming and stuff, you're checking chat, you're trying to get the general vibe, you're trying to include them in like, guys, check this out. But yeah. in IRL, I just have no idea what the fuck to do. Like, I, I'd rather just vlog. Yeah, that's like a, a really good point. Just vlog like it. Yeah. Huh. Let me turn this off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just vlog it. Are we back? I don't know. We could have. I don't know. We've been... Could be. Yeah, we are. Let me turn this off. No. Oh, they said no. One guy said no. I think everyone no. else said, yeah, let's fucking end it. Um, tell us about your cat, please. What well, Little Kupo-chan, a Tokyo street cat. He has his tail missing. Um, we rescued him from the streets of Nakano. And uh, we, we saw his dad recently. Like, somebody, the, the owner of, well... Kupo's mom and my cat Kupo, they re this woman rescued him and she found Kupo's father lounging around outside his big fat black cat. And then she's like, Ish. You need a signal booster? Yeah, let me just grab one of those. <laughs> I have it in my other bag. Um, you gotta restart the Koopa story? Oh, damn. Oh, shit, we have a... <laughs> my J gigs! My, my... No! I don't think anybody saw that. Damn it! All right, I'll tell the story again when I can confirm that we're back. This is actually really hot in here. Mm. Well, if, you, if it's not, it depends on pumping the windscreen just folds up immediately. Ugh. Yep. Oh, hello. What happened? Look at that sweater. The ground That's nice. quakes. Yeah, when this shirt comes off, the ground gets quaking. This is the that uh, might be the best. You got that, drip. that might be the best garment you own. That's, this that's is, fantastic. And I stole it from my wife. So <laughs> well, you stole her. No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say you stole her leggings. I've been wearing them for the last two days. I'm not sure you're gonna say. Say like stole her from like a good husband. Or something. Like, <laughs> like I ruined it. Uh, this is the drip right here. This is the nice one. All right, here. I'm gonna try to give you guys a quick. Um, update to that Kubo story. It's not that interesting, but basically we rescued him from the streets of Nakano, Japan. He has no tail. He's uh, He's got a good heart, but for the first about seven or eight weeks, he came in like this big kind of two-story, three-story cage that we, you know, we wanted to build from so he could slowly ease into uh, hanging out with us. And uh, he never left it for three weeks. He just refused. He I don't blame him. But yeah, because the, the only guy he was looking at was me. Pete, I got the same Parappa shirt in the mail from Japan the other day, and I don't have, didn't steal it from Yuki. Yeah, but you stole the drip from me. So that's what I, I feel like you saw it first, and then you were like, damn, that thing's fire. I gotta get that. So I kind of get some, some credit. 
where's Chris and Natsuki? All right, I feel like I'm going to be answering that. Can yeah, actually, a little... let me, uh, can you pin that message, Conk? I know that you're a mod and I saw your name pop up. Can you say that Chris and Natsuki are on a steam train and we're racing, racing. to meet them? Thanks, mate. So this is a Van Gang episode. Good night, Nathan. Okay, there we go. I think we, we, everything else was pretty good. Really? We didn't miss anything else. All aboard, except for the four of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what was the deal with that? You guys could only get two tickets? Yeah, so we, uh... Premier Kipo, Premier Kipo, Premier Kipo, Premier Kipo. That's it. Um, <laughs> this is a present from me to you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, mate. That was Austin dropping 20 get subs. Wow. That's, do you like that alert, by the way? That, I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. All right. Tell me more about why four of us so, are in the van and not. Uh, most things we could book in advance on this trip. Uh, a couple of things we couldn't. So this steam train is very popular, and you can only book it from train stations in Hokkaido, I believe. So as soon as we landed uh, in the airport, we went down to the JR station, which is in the airport, and we tried to book tickets for today. And uh, literally, there were, there were we tried to get like four of us, and it'd just be me and you driving to oh, meet them. Poor Joey. Poor Joey and poor Paul. Paul. <laughs> and then uh, the lady was like, okay, there are two tickets left for that day. She was like, oh, how about the next day? How about the next day? We we're trying to figure out. And she was like, nope, they're full, completely full. We went, okay, we'll take those two. She's like, well, there's now one ticket left. So, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we, we like, well, how about, you know, maybe we'll stay an extra day and do it then. And then we was like, okay, can we take that one ticket? She's like, and, well, there's two tickets again now. So, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on with their ticket system. Why didn't you system. just wait seven more minutes and maybe we can get eight tickets yeah, and then sell two for profit? Who knows? But that is why um, there had to be a challenge to choose who goes with him on the train. Here are some bits for a signal booster. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we're in the middle of Hokkaido. The chance of me acquiring a signal booster, unless we bounce it off my forehead, is very low. But um, I need to save that for thinking up some good content later. But thank you very much. You can't book ahead of time. Look at that. No. Actually, you can't. No, that's the problem. You have to be up here and get it's it in person. Yes. Yeah. yeah, checkmate. <laughs> well, I imagine. Well, maybe that. you could. I just didn't look that hard. But. No, I bet that <laughs> no, so many people. Say you have to book it at the same. Yeah, yeah, you can't book it online. Yeah. If you want to check it out, it's called the. What's it? The Shitsugen. I forgot what it's called. Uh, type, type Hokkaido steam train, it'll come up. <laughs> yeah, something, something steam this show. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, Food, it begins with an F. Um, it also, just so you guys know, we might, because the volume of this is like a pretty limited kind of directional mic, we can rotate uh, a cast of characters if you'd like. I'm not going to force anyone to do it. You're free to drive. Uh, except for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are the one constant, but... Um, but I feel that if you're in the front seat, you have to be able to hold court. You know, yeah, I'm hoping Chris is watching. That's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is no sleeping. Did you, uh, did you, Jim's check out Nintendo Direct today? Joey, you did, right? You saw the. Uh, my PA sent me like a list of like just key notes about it. Pikmin 4, yay or nay? Uh, I saw the trailer. It looked, well, I, should, I saw what they showed at the Direct. It looks. Like a Pikmin game. Zelda, Breath of the Boring 2, yay or nay? Well, I mean, I'll be excited for Absolute yeah, video yeah. game snob you are, Peter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and then, did you know, we were talking about Zelda earlier. We, I mentioned the Minish Cap kind of randomly. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. I mentioned the Minish Cap kind of randomly. Yeah. Uh, that's being released in the virtual console. Oh, really? They're adding a Game Boy Advance there. That's like, that's, I think, one of the most underrated Zelda games. That's, what, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Oof. Is this the drone spot? So we need to figure out, that's the train line, I think. Oh. And the bridge it's going to go over is around here. So we need to, I think, yeah, this bridge here is essentially what we're going for. We're going to yeah. park. So I need to be on the bridge. I think you and I, Joe, we're going to be on that bridge there. Okay. I think we're just going to be on the bridge. Um, let's just. Yeah. So let's just park yeah. in this. Yeah, can we stay here for a while? I'll go check yeah, it out. Yeah, no, no, we can, uh, we can do both. I mean, so there. Their train doesn't leave for another eight minutes, and we're in position. Fuck me, it's cold. That is really freezing. Um, I'm not going. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here in the car and be like, they're having fun. Yeah. 
I hope we can wait here. We're in a cafe's car that park. Is, that's cold as hell. It's not open yet, though, by the look of it. Uh, why are you guys pogging? What happened? Are we going, are we going mobile? Hi, Pete. What's up, Omnented Reality? Why the fuck are they in heaven? Well, <laughs> we're bringing you the best content on this earth. Pete needs to sing to Ian. I think there's a rule in the van. He did he, he did that a bit this morning. I bit my tongue, didn't say a word. I let you finish your song. You I sang for five minutes. What song did I sing for? Blues Traveler. I sang two verses, max, two verses. We have a rule in this van. Yeah. Only Paul may sing. <laughs> He's good at it. You're shit, I'm shit. We established that a long time ago. Uh, car karaoke? You know we can't. These are Paul's genuinely like, an amazing singer. Yeah, he actually is. And I think he's the one who established the rule, which kind of hurt my feelings the most. <laughs> he said, Oh, Pete, no rule. No singing unless it's me. Do you agree? And yes. then you were like, yeah. I was like, wait. Um, I'll let I mean, Natsuki sing. Natsuki can do it as well, yeah. If you really want suffering, play... No, no, Grateful Dead or Fish ain't too bad. Joey can sing too. You're right. He's got bars. Oh, really? Hey, Joey's a very talented musician. I know that. I know he plays lots of instruments. Yeah, I always feel like when we go out after the this, this filming and stuff, we're having a beer or something, he and Paul and Natsuki can talk about music for like days. Yeah. And then you and Chris are talking about the itinerary. Yeah. And I'm just left. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, another Guinness, please. <laughs> um, Joey does make music. I think it was it was the rule was established during the cyclothon. Not very Joey, early on yeah. in the cyclothon. That was the. Um, let people have fun, no shaming. No, I think it's not shaming me. It's a. Uh, it it's, actually physically pains it's, them. Um, it's uh, safety of the driver. Yeah. It's an irritant. <laughs> Don't worry, Conk. He'll figure it out at some point. What did I miss? What did I? What did I miss? I missed something, man. Wait, I'll Conk. Be back in wait, two wait, minutes. wait. Okay. I'm not sure where we're filming? I'll be back. What? What happened? Well, we got a hundred dollar donation, but it didn't play. Oh shit! From uh, that's that's ridiculous. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I muted it. <laughs> I think I know why this stream's not so good. I'll be right back. Holy shit! My bet. Well, here. See ya. Well, it's just me now. I can do my normal stream. Welcome to another thrilling edition of Premiere 2. My name is Peter and thank you for joining me on a frosty and chilly day here in Hokkaido, Japan. My friends have abandoned me. Quakes. And yet we still found succor and support from the true faithful. Thank you guys very much for your support. I do appreciate it. This is how the stream should have started. Well, with IRL, you never know if we're live, right? Like, it's just, Around it's quakes. just totally, it's just totally confusing. Uh, and that's, that's the thing, because I could be mid-sentence, and then suddenly you're just... What? Yeah, hold on. You were like, just okay. Yeah, well, I've got... I normally can but I can still do it uh, but that's that's the tricky thing right is um, it's hard to start IRL streams I found out because there's a delay on the actual start and ending points so you're kind of like trying to figure out are we live yet is it going so yeah I'm doing that on purpose of course it's called comedic timing boys but yeah so here's what we're gonna do let's take a little bet all right Conk, can you get a pull up before they get back? I bet after we pick up Chris and Natsuki, 
how much do you want to bet that I get relegated to the back and we have to do a weird sleep stream again where three people around me are, are falling asleep and I have to just awkwardly hold the camera for, for two hours? Or will Chris let me sit in the front? What do you think is going to happen? You know we can see when you change scenes Premier Bray. Yes, I know, but it's still funny because of the visual joke. Maybe the non-chatters were second monitoring me. It's cold out there. It is cold outside. Yeah. Definitely need to wear a hat, mate. Looking good today, Pete. Thanks, man. I have a... Uh... The diet's stalling. You have to save my tip audio replay for when Ian returns. Hello. I'll try right now. It's actually hard to do the replays on mobile. You know what though? I will try to log in, but this is very, very hard. Oh. What you're replaying? I I might have to wait until I get home. Because uh, donations go through a different, a different systems. It's it's really unfortunate, and I, I it's it's stupid actually. I'm very sorry. That is a huge lens. Thank you. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought that I needed to move the camera up a little bit. Let me just try that again. It uh, pulls. I'm just playing with it temporarily. Oh dear. Should I go to privacy mode? Yes, <laughs> Uh, I wish Kian happy birthday last weekend with Stone Cutter's song, and then tonight with Spring in Springfield. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's amazing, man. I appreciate that. I will. I will definitely. The Stone Cutter song. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check that tonight. On the sorry about that, I missed your donation. That's incredibly kind. You know what? I'll even give Ian some of the money towards rent towards our studio. <laughs> I say that every stream, don't I? And then I'm like, hey, can I borrow um, 20 bucks? What do you mean, make the song like, like, sang it? Do you know, do you know I know the song? Stone I know the Simpsons, you know me. I'm, oh, yes, of course. Three quarters of my brain is just Simpsons quotes, but what, played it, like, on the piano, or, like, sang it, or, who, who, who is this? He, he played it in the donation of the $100, so oh, you can, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, nice. And then I blew it by... Who's uh, that? Thank you very much. It's Austin. Oh, cool. Thank you he, very much. Yeah, he's extremely, extremely supportive. Um... He typed it out? Fuck me, I suck at streaming. I, <laughs> he could do any number of excuses. I'd be like, I missed it. <laughs> there's a there's a plane flying across with the lyrics. And I, I, we missed it, sorry. What we can't miss is uh, Chris Broad coming past on a train, because can you imagine how oh mad it would be if we were just sat here talking like idiots and he's gone past. We're, but we'll take the camera out a bit, yeah, right? And yeah. see. But we can see he hasn't departed the station yet. But any second now, this little... Uh, a broad in Japan signal. This little broad in Japan dot. We're tracking him. We'll start to move over there. Damn. Eighty-six percent battery. Good charge last night. Chris has. I got thirty-three percent. I was like, oh, <laughs> I have a backup battery because I, I can guarantee you this is not going nine hours today. Yeah. So, uh, there was a slight pull in the the chat. If will Chris kick me out to the back as soon as he arrives in the car, or will let will he let me do my thing? Bro, the tracker ain't no way. Yes, it is good, man. We've used this thing forever. It's a broad on the map. So to use the toilet in there, she was like, oh, just buy something from the vending machine. Oh, I guess, serious? I guess the, the money from the vending machine supports the store. Yeah. So oh, what? I figured I'd get some content for you here. You oh, shit. This thing looks sick. I, I saw someone drinking that at the airport. Fanta I... Mystery Blue. Hashtag, what the Fanta? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah, look. W okay. Apparently, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is limited edition, and uh, it's a Fanta that doesn't tell you what the flavor of it is. And if you scan the QR code, you, it tells you what the flavor is. All right, so wait, wait, I'll scan the QR oh, code. They're on the move. And that was four minutes ago, they're on the move. Should oh, we just right. hang out there anyway? Yeah, sure. I'm going to let you taste it. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if you... Here you go. I think right. I can... Hold on a second. Let me see if it... I can't read Japanese, I just realized. Um, can I show you? I don't think it. Hold it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I'm gonna. I'm what gonna is, know. What does otherwise. this say? We'll make Ian him. It seems like there's a choice down there. Of like, oh yeah. There's so there's a choice of all of these. And I have to guess which one it is. I guess so. I, I, can you read Japanese, Ian? I'm not as good as Ian. What does that say? Like in the entry Where? field? Does it say oh, the, like, the different choices? Yeah, I know those. The I green can read ones. Apple. <laughs> Melon. I can no the one above it that says like input. Oh yeah, well, you, the great one. We can't show him though because <laughs> it might be the answer. 
No, it doesn't say that. Okay, let's show it. What content? I... That one. Oh, yeah, so you get up to... Three choices? Or, oh, fuck me. Wow! How many choices there are? Choices there are? It, could it be... says up to seven choices. Of guessing the flavor? Of guessing the, of guessing the flavor. Sika, watermelon. Can I see that? What do you guys think? What flavor do you think this mystery f flavor is? I think this is what you used to try to dye your hair when you were going <laughs> <laughs> purple. I, I, had a, I had a hair color that was like that. Damn, this is Have really cold. It? I haven't. No, I've seen it on uh, Twitter, though. Yeah, so it says tap uh, to, you know, I guess submit your answer, and then once you've submitted your answer, you can figure out what the thing is. I don't think it's going to be blueberry. I don't think it's, I think all of them, no matter what the flavor is, is blue. Mm. Okay, what did you try and guess it then? Alright, I'm going I'm <laughs> to tell you. I'm a fan. This is either going to be orange. Sorry, Paul's glasses are completely white. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll give you a few hints. Okay. Uh, it's not just one flavor. It's, it might be a mix of flavors. Oh shit! Oh, did you say? Oh, so you choose seven, and it might be any combination of those. Yeah, seven. and apparently, if you buy either a Fanta grape or a Fanta orange, it actually gives you a hint as to what this might be. Smart, man. Who's trying it? Trying uh, it? I think he's gonna try it. Uh, there are three fruits. There's three fruits There's in here. There's three fruits in here. So what do you think it is? Uh, orange for sure, because that's like their flagship. Why don't you try it, and then you guess what? It yeah, why don't like. you try it? Oh yeah. I don't think you just buy the look of it. <laughs> It's like, all right, I've guessed. Let's throw it, it in the trash. Like blue food poisoning. Uh, food, food coloring. Sorry. Food poisoning. <laughs> well, yeah, that's for later. God, there's so many different fruits here. We need Toya. You remember Toya? Toya. Yeah. Toya. <laughs> Lake Toya. Yeah, we're not far. Okay, let's give it a taste. I know my sodas. This man has drunk a lot of sodas in his life. <laughs> that's a. Is it good? First. It's one? good. And there's an apple in there. Apple? There's an apple, for sure. Imagine if we miss Chris, and we're just like, what flavor of Fanta is this? It's like, oh fuck, there's the train. We're fired, completely. Oh. I don't know how fast this thing moves, but it's moving, look. Okay, should we it's get... already halfway here from where he left, oh, okay. five minutes ago. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. And there's now, <laughs> Paul, that did not go all over your camera, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> look how close that came. Uh, sorry, Joey. Can you wipe that part off? We'll figure it out later. <laughs> I'm so bad at IRL streaming, man. I need to stop. <laughs> All right, I reckon we should get the drone up, Paul. Sure. Nice one. Yeah, cool. Paul, you bringing the, the, the team out with us? You don't <laughs> spit that all over us, or you what? can't trust the man with an open soda. God. <laughs> all right. How am I so stupid? Seriously, it's impossible to be this dumb. Okay. What a fucking idiot. Uh, it's a flavor of idiocy is what it is. Oh man, I'm gonna get beaten up by Paul, cut from the video by Chris, cancelled by Twitch, and probably unfriended by Ian. At least I'll have you guys. Right? <laughs> Alright, let's equip your voice. Give the voice of chat. Come on. Fuck me, it's cold. Kumamoto, the land of the hills in the grotto. Welcome to the road zone. The ground quakes. What happened? I said, picky the door open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said the soda did it. And then I was pretty nervous. Yeah, it's fucking freezing. What do you mean? I think I need my jacket. Oh yeah, yesterday you showed me this pretty cool technology where you put the... I've never put a backpack on, on my right first. I can't do it. Why not? I don't know. That's your left. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? A human being does? All right. Let's get you guys sorted. Here we go, baby. Put the cap on. Uh, I'm okay right now. Oh, I re regret that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Ian, well, every, you're right. Uh, can you unlock the door? Feathers McGraw, you're coming with me. Um, thank you. Hey everybody, it's Kermit the Frog here. 
Oh, the bottle cap. I th- Man, what are you fucking talking about? Uh, why did you, why do you care about the bottle cap? Why, you don't care about my head? You idiots. <sighs> oh, sorry, I thought you were worried about my safety, not a bottle cap. So it doesn't spill, it's in a stationary car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, they're not. They're not near yet. Though. No, they got a while to go. They still haven't. They're barely left the show. I do sound like Kermit. No more fizzy soda. The car is gonna smell like mystery. <laughs> I'm not gonna. You just spilled it in a stationary car. Okay. <laughs> I'll take you guys. Here's the beautiful view. Look. Uh, are those condoms? Don't look down there. I, you don't need to see what I just saw. Anyway, it's going to rocket past on this track here. And Paul is going to get an amazing shot. It is majestic. Find some grass. There are none. It's freezing cold. Water is not frozen. You're right. It's uh, still, still beautifully shimmering. It's not very deep either, probably knee high. View is very nice. Here's a car park. But welcome to the snowy hills of East Hokkaido. Not a bad little spot. How cold is it today? It's not too bad. I mean, my hands are kind of cold when I hold the phone, but yeah. It's just a, uh, it's a beautiful little place. Trash. <laughs> well, it's it's just a box of rubbers. You can see that? You can see that far down just from the view of this wide-angle lens? Damn. Um, I'm going to take a step over here really quick because they're talking business, and I don't want to screw it up. So we did have breakfast. We started the day in... Um, hotel we had to film some stuff the challenge the challenge has been completed and then after that we we uh we went to lawson for for our our delicious breakfast i had an egg sandwich with a a uh, pork cutlet like a katsu sando it was a mix it was like half egg half katsu sando there's some behind the scenes. You can see them setting up the shot. Just so, like I promised, this is a behind the scenes kind of experience. Let me, let me, let me tuck you guys in. Hold on a minute. And uh, after that, we got on the road. Fuck me, it's cold. Even my Parappa sweater can't protect me from the frigid north. Then we got in the car and drove for two hours, my friends. Okay, you're buckled in. Two hours we got sorted. Let me, let me put my gloves on too. Uh, fuck, I left my gloves in my jacket. Shit. Ah. Yeah. Uh. I need that one. And uh, drove two hours. I wrote my daily post on uh, on on the Discord. By the way. Who's so I, I posted a video yesterday, a behind-the-scenes video. I found uh, this on the web. What? Thank you. <laughs> well, yes, that's what I was about to say. Anyway, I posted a video. <laughs> I posted a video on YouTube. What if it was like your search query for big boobed farmer girls on tractors was not found? Would you like to search again? And I'd be like, uh, 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 give me get the, uh. And it was like, it, it, uh, all previous inquiries are now, I'll read them back to you. Um, that would suck. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see here. AI is sentient. All right, looks like we're fine. So what camera are you using? This is a Sony action cam. So what I was saying was, I posted a small video of Paul and I at breakfast. We did like a little stupid you know, James Bond, Austin Powers, 20 second video. Someone put it on YouTube. They downloaded the video from uh, the Discord, which is for community members. And then they they added it to uh, 
like a YouTube short. And I was like, dude, I appreciate you trying to support and get the, you know, the thing out. But let some things just be secret. You know, if it's like, if we have a Patreon or a Discord, you know, some things we just keep between the people who show up with the community. You know what I mean? That's kind of silly. Ah, it's cold. All right, I'll give you guys a quick little walk. I'll show you the mom and pop store. And then we'll go back. I'll probably miss the train. This is a ramen shop. This reminds me so much of the cyclothon, but just with ice. This is so familiar, man. So you can see where we're at. We've got the Toro station and Sarubo viewpoint and a Kotaro viewpoint and some camps. I guess see, during the summer, this would be quite nice for camping. Then you've got the ramen shop here and a must be at least 45 year old Coca-Cola sign with the Kawasagi, Kawa, <laughs> Wakasagi, I can't read Japanese, that should be easy. And then a vending machine, bam. That's what Joey got, the mystery Fanta. I'm gonna probably get one of these coffees up here. Not a fan of Costa coffee, Costa coffee. It's not, oh my God, that wind. Oh my God. All right, now I can see what you guys are saying. My hands have warmed up sufficiently. All right. Whoops. Ugh. The ground quakes. Thanks, mate. My brain ain't soggy. Cost, cost is okay. You're a fan of energy drinks? I used to be. And then I was doing this, this school. We have this thing called a bonin kai, which is like an end of year party. And uh, you, you know, all the teachers signed up and you get like a your name in a raffle and you win free stuff. You can win like yakiniku dinners or I'm gonna go show them this side. You can show them like yakiniku dinners or you can win like a Nintendo Switch or you know some fun prizes. Hey Paul, to get to you one second mate. And then uh, I won a box of 36 cans of Monster Energy and I drank all of them over like eight days. And when my pee started turning like green, I thought that's enough. I don't feel well. But I didn't sleep and I got a platinum trophy in Graveyard Keeper. All right. Are you okay? Well, uh, you know. You must be cold. That's you what you had on. I know. I, I'm gonna put it on in a second. We're talking. Look, there he is, the man in action. I wanted to get the action shot. He's got the glasses. He's got the drone. Maverick is ready. Are you ready to I fly this thing? Ready. Well, I'm gonna put it up and see what kind of like compositional shots I can get. But I think the train's quite far away, so. Are you gonna do the uh, the cool thing where you let it go from your hand? Of All right, guys. Let me get let me get it nice. Is the camera centered? Let me make sure we got this. All right. Say the magic word. Uh, what is the magic word? Whatever you want to do. Well, let me think of one. I'm gonna give you a call sign. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> no, I'm ready. You ready? Maverick, joy yahoo! Does that work? Maybe my call sign's not good enough. Oh, shit! Oh, baby! And then we do a check first, make sure we can turn left, turn right, turn down. Oh! We'll check we can go forward and back. Always check your controls before you do anything else. And then you take them up. Well done, Mav. And then we see what we can see from above. I like to pretend this is just a video game, right? That looks so sick. Yeah, so the sunglasses are so that I can see up <laughs> to get <laughs> when it comes down. On this screen, it's a little bit hard, so I'll take it off this. I thought they were just for style. What is that, too? You've got to look like Maverick, right? So there they are. So there we are. Yeah. There they are. This is the train line. So we need to try and find a good composition for this little bit here. I see. Let's tilt it up. I know they they probably can't see the screen though, right? But I mean, it's it's not your fault, it's just the camera. But that's still pretty awesome. This is the behind the scenes footage. It works like shadow, maybe. There you go, maybe they can see that. It really gives you some insight of how much, and you control everything. You control panning and... Pivot up and down, yeah. Oh. Huh. Can this thing go off, this is 4K 30? Yeah. You can do 4K 60, but I like to have the motion because mm. yeah. 60 it's too smooth like it's too like there's not enough motion blur hey wait try putting it uh, directly head on like just so they can see the yeah let me see I'll go right behind your shoulder there I'm, they're, they're saying because it's the polarized yeah it's really hard to I can definitely see it 
it's hard to do this because it's there it is and uh these are some of the best shots i think on a broad in japan is when we get the drone out because it gives you that perspective that you just don't get otherwise yeah so that's probably the shot i'm going to go for looks good man as the train's coming past Let's see if we can see the train. Let's see if we can go up and see if we can see it yet. I don't think so. There. It'll be somewhere over there. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so funny because it just looks like it's black and white. Yeah. Like well, I mean, like, we can see the details. Paul, the best in the business here. I like S60 FPS better, but that's me. Yeah, it's good to slow it down, but I mean, when you're like traveling low and you want that sort of motion blur, it just looks cinematic, as they say. So it's yeah. extra plus. I mean, yeah. yeah, I actually prefer 24p for a lot of footage, yeah. you know? Yeah. Unfortunately, the final footage on the channel is normally, we normally film in 60p. Mm -hmm. So the final video normally on YouTube goes in 30p, which is why we do 30p and 60p. Oh, is that right? And does, does YouTube kind of screw you over a bit? No. No, they can, they can run about anything, right? Yeah, I mean, I prefer 24, but Chris likes 30, so... Yeah, we're old cinema snobs. Yeah. We so like... The, the data's a bit smaller as well on the uh, SD card. That as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm a cinema snob. You're just, like, tired of sending 85 gig videos. <laughs> <laughs> so here's... Paul, Paul's doing his setup, right? He's getting the shots. These guys are discussing because uh, the challenge... We only had two tickets, so the challenge this morning that we filmed was um well joey lost and so he's gonna we're gonna get like a sad you know little picture when the train goes by and joey looking upset and disappointed and, you know some fun stuff like that and then uh normally ian doesn't have to grab the camera but he's capable when necessary you'll note that the one person that was tasked with doing literally nothing was me that's because i cannot be trusted under high pressure situations i I believe Paul will be curious why his camera smells like Fanta, but I think he'll be alright. I'm here with you guys. I'm the everyman. How long has Paul been filming for Chris? Um, let me think. Your job is behind the scenes. Hopefully you guys think that's pretty cool. I am, I am the you. <laughs> Ian can handle the camera better if it was attached to the van, certainly. But you're an expert at nothing. It's true. I think that what you meant to say was, I'm a jack of all trades. I could do any of these things, but I choose to do uh, this basic part. Can't take the cap off the camera or put it on the fan. So there are some things I'm still learning. They must have won crazy luxurious train ride and Joey lost so he can't go. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's luxurious. I think it's more um, quaint and interesting and cool. Like, honestly, who wouldn't want to take a steam train? That's kind of That's kind of sick. I'm here for the jokes. Yeah, I, I think I am the joke. <laughs> but I I like learning how to do IRL stuff, so I get to... Oh. It's, it's going to be like another, I'd say, 15 minutes till they hit. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'll bring it back now. Yeah. Unless you got some B-roll of it. Scoping out. Are you going to be the cameraman? This is frightening. You know you have to hold it when you're filming. It doesn't just aim at the... How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> My fine shit camera work uh, was the opening shot of Journey Across Japan 3. How about that? That was the. I wasn't into. I was told it's on a tripod, leave it. Press it on. That's all I had to do. But then the plane, instead of just taking off, it, like, the guy flying it just did a U turn over our head. And I picked up the whole tripod and I filmed it going over. Really? And I thought I'd broken the camera, but <laughs> Chris used it. So, like, yeah. Oh, uh, steam trains in summer can suck. You can you suck at a lot of smoke in. He won an Emmy for that shot. Is that true? <laughs> I think it was a Razzie. I think I think it was a wrong award. Bookshelf that uh, said Ian Rudd on it. Now we get Van Gig plus two or three of stream of Team Bussy. <laughs> yes, and that's true. Pete, are you excited for the Super Bowl with the Chiefs? I am. Uh, the last time the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Uh, I was at Premier One at like 10 a.m. Well, you were doing work and going to the dentist. But well, I was at Premier One. At 10 a.m. I, I, yeah. I wasn't having my teeth pulled out at Premier One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, but but I, did, I did come along. 
Yeah, we, we was working. it was fun because I went there the night before and I've told this story before, but I, I went yeah. there and I was like, hey guys, do you mind if you stay open or like, can you open or what's going on for At the Super Bowl? It's like 9 a.m. the Super Bowl, so that right. It's like 9 a.m. or it's 10 a.m. And there, it was like 9 p.m. the night before when I went there and he was like, oh, Peter, daijoubudayo, ano, see you. And I was like, okay, Ken, man, see you later, boss. And I, I said, I'll bring some McDonald's. So I brought like, you know, 10 hashed potatoes and 10 sausage whatevers. And I go in there, and it's the exact same people who were there at 9 p.m. the night before. Yeah. Four of them are sleeping on the counter. Three are playing darts. Yeah. One is, like, DJing with no records. Yeah. And I was like, you I just mean, get... They normally close at 11 a.m. Well, I didn't know that. I was like, <laughs> did you guys... You guys got here kind of early? And, and he was like, eh? He was, like, cleaning the glass. He was like, oh, no. All night. And I was like, damn. Ken, Ken doesn't see daylight. No, he's We've a vampire. He's, he's one of... F.U. Chiefs. Fly Eagles fly. All kidding aside, I hope for a nice clean game. You know what, man? I'm just I just hope it's a fun game. That's all, yeah. The Kelsey Bowl, baby. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it because I will be with Ian uh, in the van with the boys following the game live. When is it? Monday morning for us. Monday morning. Okay. That's the trick to avoid pub consequences. <laughs> yeah. Just stay there the entire time. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on today. Should be a fun, easy day of just chatting. So, yeah. damn man, it's cold as fuck. It's a bit chilly. I know that there's like the, the when I was an English teacher, there every single textbook had Santa surfing. When it'd be like in Australia, Santa goes surfing in December. Does it ever get this cold in in Melbourne or Sydney? It doesn't get this cold anywhere in Australia. <laughs> It barely, it barely snows. Like, maybe in like, like Canberra and like maybe some parts of Tasmania snows, but like not, not like this. It's like a nice the coldest it'll get in Canberra is maybe like minus five. So is Melbourne just nice pretty much year round? Oh yeah. I mean, ah, uh, well no, it gets hot in the summer. Like, yeah. Ever it gets hot in the summer. Obviously. The dry heat. Yeah. Yeah, but still, you don't have to worry about freezing. Is it a rainy country? Like, do you guys get a lot of rainfall? Well, we had, last year, we had that, like, four-month period was raining. Every yeah, that was day. ridiculous, that though. That was ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, sometimes we have, like, super rainy, like, months at a time, but we don't have, like, a rain season like Japan. Okay, you've basically convinced me to move to Australia now. It sounds like, because... My uh, my British friend once said, oh, this is like... Thank was, uh, you. Uh, when, uh, when Gart and Connor came to Stay Australia. warm. Um, and it was their first time. And, uh, obviously, at the end of the trip, you know, my... my my slight patronism came out and I, was, and I was like, so what did you think? Like, you know, how did you find Australia? And Gaunt was like, you know, like British people, you know, we we tend to be people that always find something to complain about. Uh, and my only complaint is that I have nothing to complain about. <laughs> he's like, this is just like England, but everyone's happy. Yeah, that's what, that's what it feels like. It's like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, the weather certainly helps. That's for sure. I feel like... Yeah, I reckon through this one. So I'll stand in front of this pillar, get that shot there, maybe slightly get the trees to the right, but not too much. So the ground the quakes of uh, the train. Um, yeah, I'm not thinking this one. Look at the catch. Here it comes. Bam. Maverick. Nice job. Yeah. Go here because he knows something we don't. He's just here to catch the train, mate. Exactly. That means we're in yeah. Well, he could be bird watching. Birds? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> he could be fishing. Yeah. Until we see the smoke in the sky. Well, I'm a little bit worried about him ruining our shot, though. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Well, no, I mean, Charlie's no, he's fine. fine. I mean, even if he was, it's his. It's not. It's not our private bridge. The guy's got a tripod as well. Yeah. I trust he's, him. He's serious. It's a beautiful day for a shot, though. I mean, this looks like a, a puzzle you could build. You know what I mean? Puzzle? Like, if you if you took this exact shot out, and then you broke it into a thousand pieces, you could sell this oh, at, right. like, <laughs> yeah, at, like, yeah, Walmart yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully Busy, a puzzle but wanted to give you a campi from Idaho. Hey. We'll watch replay later or jump on if you're still streaming. Cheers, mate. Kampai, everybody. Grab your beer, water, orange juice, Coca-Cola, Fanta Mystery, whatever you got nearby. Slam it back, raise it, and cheers to the people who showed up today. 
It's what we were saying last night in the cold weather, right? What, what's the one cold drink that you don't mind? Uh, what? Is that? Remember, yeah, we were saying last night. What, what's the one drink that you wouldn't mind having in, in cold weather when you come and you want something hot? But if there's something cold. So no, no, that wasn't that wasn't the, it wasn't about drinking. I, I we were eating that that curry, and I said, is there oh, anything yeah. better than a hearty warm meal when you're freezing cold? And then Joey was like, well, I think when you're hot, having a cold meal is best. And I couldn't think of any cold meals that I'm like, but I, then I remembered we were talking about like beer, like an ice oh, yeah. cold beer or a glass of water after a tough day of like, you know, yard work. Yeah. I still think that warm food trumps cold food for me in terms of like from the elements coming in. What's cold food that you would like? Well, oh, I, I love cereal and sandwiches and like, you know, cold cuts or something like that. But I don't even really like warm food unless you're fucking freezing really? pizza cold pizza P- or cold pizza or warm pizza but pizza is one of the few foods that you can eat on any temperature right <laughs> <laughs> I don't know some people reheat it the next day I'm like, <laughs> losers <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there are very few foods that you can have either hot and cold at any time really well, I don't know if you want to budget maybe I'm just the f- 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 bad takes <laughs> the electric bill comes high <laughs> The electric bill comes time. Oh my god, I have to take my glove off to be able to push the screen. Ugh. Lasagna? Cold lasagna would be brutal. Cold lasagna? I can't go with that. Pizza. Nature's perfect food. Cold pizza <laughs> is a no no. Like Hannah, it sounds like you haven't tried a cold pizza. <laughs> there are. <Chris>. Yeah. <laughs> pizza. Pizza. Nature's, Nature's finest food. food. Subscribe. Uh, For more pizza. Cold pizza's better. It's like there's a rare. There's a loveliness to getting a slice of cold pizza from the waking up after whatever studying or the next day. What kind of pizza are we talking though, guys? Do well, you like anchovies on your pizza or not? I can dig it, but I, it's not my first choice. Uh, if I if there are, I'd probably just have one. Still too salty for me. Yeah, I don't do fish, so for me it'd be a no. What about pineapple? The big debate. I'm, I'm in. I'm in on pineapple. I'm really? also. I have another hot take. I'm the guy who's been telling everybody you get sausage pizza. Like Italian sausage, and you you drizzle a little uh, honey over it. Uh, what? There you go. Try it, man. If you get like a New York slice with some sausage and honey, that shit's amazing. On the Hawaiian pizza? No, no, the or Hawaiian pizza, pizza is just fine. No, sausage pizza. Sausage pizza. Yeah, is that man. Italian sausage. Yes, I said that five times. I think you're working right now. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we don't do two things at once. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. But I, I was concerned for your mental well-being if I was like, I, I, yes, Italian <laughs> You're sausage. Me down with pizza's, logic. <laughs> pizza's overrated. I understand Jello. You're more of a, a Jello man. What about burgers? Oh, dude, burgers are great. I'm putting the phone away, guys. My hands are freezing again. <laughs> Throwing sugar on everything like a true American. Yeah, you could <laughs> put MSG on that pizza. I'm cool with it. Isn't that a Canadian thing? Yeah, MSG. Maple syrup, right? Oh uh, yeah, maple syrup. Yeah. All right. I want to see one compliment before I go. <laughs> I'm not ending it on that. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, I'll take anything at this point. Nice jeggings. Okay, so, all right, thanks. Hey, hey nobody said that, but I just put it away because my hand got too cold. <laughs> I guess you can't can't loiter for good compliments in this channel. This is true. You've got to earn them. Oh, I'm glad I got this hat on, though. Your ears must be freezing, man. Well, they're so big, they're poking out of the bottom of my, my beanie. Your lobes. My lobes. Yeah, I feel all right, though. I'll leave you to it and go check on the boys. Fuck. What if the train was already past like 20 minutes ago and we'd just been standing here? No, I was just saying the worst case scenario is what if this isn't even the line? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if the line's like all the way out over there? Oh no. That would be the worst. That I mean, would we be... can see and like they're on their way. Um, well, it looks like Chris has been ejected from the train because he's somewhere in the forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet Natsuki grabbed the tracker and said like, fuck you, tracker. He took the captain's hat. He took the, like, he got too used to wearing it yesterday. And like, no. There are a lot of people gathered over here. Do you see that? Are they there for the picture? Like down there on that, that, there's like 10 people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that could... Should I go scope it out with yeah, the, the thing? Can, yeah. that here. Could, that could be a better, I'm going to. Yeah, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a crowd of people in there, and Chris oh, will take the bridge. So let's let's keep it here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could get. Yeah. I could take a video though. Yeah, if you get if you get. Yeah. I could take a 4K. Yeah, 4K. So. Yeah, yeah. Haha! Yeah. <laughs> I'm useful once again.
Everyone thought that Peter couldn't contribute to the channel, yet now I am the one who will get the 4K60 shot. The fools doubted me once before, but now on the final product, I will be the one submitting the footage. You know, sometimes I forget that I'm live streaming because these are the same things that I would say to myself without you guys on right now. Just sitting there talking to myself like an idiot. You know what the sad thing was? I had a great follow-up. I set up that whole Australian weather thing just so I could get to an interesting thing with Joey. Because... Oh. Damn it, what do I do? There's a, uh, I, uh, I can't, can't fit under, can't get over. How do I get past this rope? Let me see it. Let's visualize. There's the rope. Can't get under, can't go over. How do I, let me just see here. I think it's, if you look at it from this width, there's just, uh, well, there's just no way. Guess I'll have to go around. Did you know that that, my friends, is one of the oldest jokes that you learn when studying clown school. That is no joke. You find a problem that's easily solvable and you make a ridiculous stupid joke out of it then you keep on keeping on. But I want you to know I learned that joke over 20 years ago and I hope you thought it was as good as I don't know if I still sold it as well as I could but I'm still proud that I remember the training. <laughs> that is the old one, baby. <sighs> that is a three stooges. I was kind of concerned that no one would get it. King of Jesters, that is me. Okay. I found some friends. Let me turn down the chat just in case. I'm not a clown school dropout. I'm a Twitch streamer. It means I graduated, man. I already graduated that shit. Whoa. All right. As you can see, there's a lot of enthusiasts here today, ready to snap a picture of this steam train. Must be quite cool. Are those train otakus? They, I mean, you know, if I was to be honest, I would guess that they're not train otakus, that they're more... Damn, it's starting to cut my fingers. Look at that. That's how cold it is. I think it's more that they're just interested in, like, uh, cool shots. Or, you know, maybe this is a famous location. Look at the lenses on some of these things, man. That looks like a bazooka. Look at these lenses. That's crazy, dude. It's kind of, I kind of admire that there's so many cool people coming out here in the middle of the winter with their kick-ass cameras <laughs> and they're they're committed to it but we're in like the, the absolute eastern side of Hokkaido and people are setting up crazy cool shots with their tripods and ah, I really like this country I really like living here I really like all the people it's fun uh. <laughs> so cold. That's not a complaint, it's an observation. All right. <sighs> I 
don't know why I left so early. Like, I didn't need to leave 30 minutes before the train came. I just realized I could have just been... <laughs> could have just waited to talk to them, like, a little bit longer. But now I'm just kind of standing here in the cold. And I can't even check chat to, uh... Here, I'll tell you guys, I'll, I'll teach you another uh, clown thing. Let me see if I can find a bottle. Oh, there's no bottles on the ground, damn it. No. No more clown school. Let me think if I got any other s stories I can share with you guys that would be mildly entertaining. I need a prompt. I'll check one second. Let's get a prompt from you guys. Ready? Okay, what do you guys want to hear about? I'm sure I got something I can relate with. Ugh. <sighs> Baked goods. I'm not that smart. Well, a, a bottle was a very specific thing from the, uh, from the, from like, I was looking for for a gag. I've told the how I met Chris way too many times. All I can work with is a rope and a bottle. I can do falls, too. I can fall down. Favorite porn category? How dare you? I will never admit that MILFs is what I'm looking for. That would be just disgusting. And if you have any advice, I don't want you to tell me which ones to watch in the Discord. Definitely don't. If you have a username with a password that I could share, I would be so mad at you. Because I don't want it coming back to me. That I, That's what my search history is when I'm on stream and it says, I'm sorry, you're searching. Just don't. Just stop it. Just unless, you know, just don't. Please send it. All right, let's see here. Hey, man, just watched the Trash Taste episode. You did great. Thank you so much, Goku. I do appreciate that. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> uh, you're, yes, worst travel story time? You know, I'm kind of fortunate is that I've had a lot of awkward traveling things, and I've done, like, a lot of, you know... I've gone on... I remember there was this one particular trip. I, I've never had a bad experience with what I'm trying to say. Like, I always end up having the... I always end up having what the Japanese say is Fukochu no Saiwai, which is like, even in a disaster, there's a silver lining. But I remember one particularly tough one was when I was in high school. I, uh... I... My friend was supposed to... He was going on vacation with just him and his dad, and he was supposed to be taking our mutual friend, but my mutual friend couldn't make it, so they asked me to come instead. And his dad was kind of just not at all interested in any of the things that that I was. You know, he was like, that boy plays too many video games. I don't like that boy. He... And I remember, we I knew we got off on the wrong foot because we were doing a, a... We left Kansas, and we went all the way to the East Coast, and we were like in Virginia, West Virginia, you know, the Carolinas, down through Florida and Disneyland. And it was like just a huge like nine day camping thing. And on the first day we stopped at a hotel and he was like, hey, you, you guys go take your shower first. I, you know, get to bed, boys, you know. And I was like, actually, I like taking baths. And he was like, excuse me? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to take a bath. Is that cool? And he was like, ain't no man and I know take a bath. And I was like, yeah, well, come on, dude. It's like 2000 already. We're already progressive enough to not mock me for a bath. He's like, yeah, well, I didn't know that, you, you know, you're taking no bath. From that moment on, he insulted me every single chance he could if I wanted to. He, it'd be like, you know, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you're just going to go take a bath in the sink, you little baby. Okay. Can I? And uh, everywhere we went, he just looked at me with, like, absolute disdain. But... I got to see a lot of the United States that I'd never seen before. And one of the highlights was, in West Virginia, there was a awesome restaurant where you could get a 40 sack of hot dogs and a gallon of root beer right through a drive-thru. They called it the 40 sack. Dude, you got 40 hot dogs in one bag. And we took it to, like, this huge family where they had an un up above-ground pool that was, like, dark brown water. And I was like, damn, this is like swimming in the Ozarks. Why is the water not clean? And I remember being like, ah, I'm, I'm good with the southeast. I don't need to come back for a while. But those hot dogs, I still remember them to this day. Those were good. And you're going to take no bath with no hot dog and play with your hot dog in there, aren't you? Yeah, I bet you just sit in that water and fiddle around with your little dinghy. Okay. That was what I remember from that guy. So there was a bad travel experience. Playing with my hot dog in the bath in South Carolina. <laughs> That's what I feel like he was accusing me of. That I was just 
messing around. You went to Florida? I did. We went to Disneyland, and I remember I told him, I said, he was like, what is the, uh, why do you want to go to Disneyland? And I was like, the Ghostbusters are my favorite movie ever. Like, and he knew that. And every time that I went for a ride, you know, you'd wait for like, not Disneyland, I'm sorry, Universal Studios. That's what I meant to say. US, uh, Universal Studios, my bad. We didn't go to Disneyland. We went to Universal Studios. Every time we went to, I went to like the bathroom, or if we went into a line, as soon as we turned around, when I'd come back, he'd say, well, you missed it. The Ghostbusters uh, wagon came by, and they were giving out all kinds of free T-shirts and shit. And I was like, well, did you get me one? He was like, well, no, I couldn't hear. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, they, the, the sirens were playing in the theme song, and they had all these actors in the jumpsuits and the slimers and shit, and they just gave out all kinds of stuff. And I was like, I, what? So I went to, like, the stores, and I was like, do you have any Ghostbusters goods? And they're like, sorry, we don't have any. And I said, how is, what the, f I, I don't see anybody carrying ghosts. Yeah, well, they just probably put it in their bags, okay? They weren't playing with their hot dog in the goddamn bathroom. I wasn't playing with my hot dog. Damn it. I lost that, though. That sucked. But I think, obviously, he was lying. I found out that there was none. He, uh, he was not a, he was not a friendly man. He was not friendly. But I did enjoy that trip. He was a doo-doo. And there was no Ghostbusters goods. I was tricked. I was totally bamboozled. But he liked seeing me upset. Uh, those people are probably confused why the guy Gene's talking to himself. <laughs> You're probably right. Interesting how easy it is to sit next to them train tracks in Japan. Well, this is probably a... I mean, yes. Even in like... Even in like one of the most... I lived near a place called Jiugaoka. I did a live stream from there once. And uh, it was actually the very first live stream I ever did. I tested the equipment before we went in with Alex and my friends. Whoa, pulling more viewers in Rob City at the moment. Pete, killing it. No, 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 no. Rob's, Rob's just getting started, man. He'll overtake us soon enough, mate. He's the best of the best of the best, sir. Um, I totally just made a Men in Black reference right before I saw that person talk about it. But what I was saying was... Um, fuck, I forgot. Shit. Wait, I was saying story. Hardcore doo-doo. Yep, we forgot. <laughs> Good story, Pete. Train tracks, right. Thank you, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was in Giugauka. My hands are freezing. And it's like one of the most... You have like... What are the stations near? You have Nakamegado, Giugauka, Denin Chofu. These are like packed center of... Shibuya area, Meguroku. These are like people. Biggest city on the planet area. And in Jiugaoka, the trains just go by like every three minutes. And there's, this is like in the heart of the city. There's nothing. There's a little thing that goes ding, 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 ding. But you could, and you see people like being like, whoop. I saw one guy like lift it up once to like make it across quicker. I was like, man, you really can just do whatever. So yeah, I don't think it's a it's a big deal here. Let's see how many people we've got already lined up here. We got one, two, three, four. A good good amount of folks coming in here for the picture. That's crazy. I'm gonna go down right right over here and squat under these things and try to get it as it goes in 4K 60. And then you guys, all I want you to do when the train goes by, I want you to say pog. And then when I look at the chat again, say, what a shot. That's the, that'll make me feel pretty good. Pog and then what a shot. <laughs> Where's this fucking train? My fingers are freezing. That's what, that's what I need. Don't you need to be on the bridge? I'm not useful on this trip. No. I am here as a backup and behind the scenes man. And so right now Chris and Natsuki are on a steam train. And they're going to be coming through this way. And over there, through this cool house, that's a really nice location that everyone stands outside during every day. You've got, you've got like, um, Ian and Joey for a shot. And then Joe's rocking the, uh, the drone. Oh my God, my fingers. It was a unique opportunity because I had, Chris had toyed with the idea of bringing me along for this stream for a while. Uh, this stream, this, this journey across Japan. 
And I think the, uh, my biggest concern is, well, what the hell am I going to do? And he was like, no, mate, it'll be great. You can show them behind the scenes of a, a legend at work. And I was like, but they see me stream every day. And they, no, you're not the legend, you stupid idiot. It's me. And I was like, oh, yes, right. <laughs> and he was like, I want, the, I want the people to see that it's unscripted, it's organic, and we have a lot of fun when we go on these trips. It's not all just oceans and beaches and good food and resorts. It's a lot of work. And uh, he's right. Obviously, I know that firsthand from when we went to Hokkaido or the cyclothon or anything that we do together. I already knew that he puts in a lot of effort. But I think it's easy to see only the good stuff and people don't know how much, you know, he's genuinely trying or Joey's trying or, Ian, well, Ian's not doing shit, how much Paul's trying. And I think it was kind of two things. One, it's cool for me to see how they prepare all of their kind of... Uh, uh oh, I heard it. Here it comes. Shit, gotta get my. Anyway, I get to see professionals at work, and I get to kind of glean some of their. I'm gonna cut down right in front. See, my thing. Oh, Bubby. I hear the train is coming. It's rolling round the bend. I ain't seen level five since I don't know when. Stuck in premier prison and time keeps dragging on. Okay, don't fuck it up, Pete. Let's do a test shot. That looks like shit. What am I doing? We'll get the tree in the top right there. Look at that, the simplicity of the, the weeds and the wind. And that train's gonna rocket past. My hands are freezing. Okay, that's good. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can see the smoke. You see the smoke over there? Wait, get the shot, get the shot with the tree. Three, two. Okay, shot up, shot up. Remember your pog thing, ready? Wait, not yet. Oh my god. <sighs> These jiggings are way too tight, and my fingers are very cold. I can wait. I can wait. I can see the thing coming, but the smoke's coming. Why am I whispering? Fuck my fingers. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I already started the recording. All I gotta do is apply the final touches. Can I? Nope, okay. Can I? Okay. <sighs> you know, this sure is a lot of build up for us. We're not actually doing shit yet, are we? This has got to be the most boring live stream I've ever done. <laughs> I told you a story about, you know, you're playing with your hot dog in the bathtub and diddling and 40 sack of hot dogs and you give me that root beer, but you give me the gallon of beer. That's what I told you. I showed you a clown gag, and we stood in the snow freezing our ass off for 45 minutes, and I can't even read chat because my hands are too weak. Yeah, well, I bet those hands would be stronger if you weren't playing with your ding dong. Thank you. At least your legs are warm because you cut off the circulation with your your jean leggings. Thank you, Ian. I have a line notification. Hopefully, it's Pete come back. 
Hopefully it's not that. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Mosh moshi. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm about to take a 4K shot down near the tracks. They're on the bridge. Okay. Okay. Should I... Uh-huh. Okay. Oh shit, uh, I'm, I'm not actually getting a good shot. They're over there, but I'm by myself, but I'll try my best, okay, bye. Okay, okay. That was Chris, it was, wait, I need that phone back. He, they're coming around, and uh, they're in the back of the train. And we're going to try to... Oh, God damn it. Catch them from the back. Uh, uh. Okay, this is why they call me the, the the best Twitch streamer in Eastern Hokkaido ever. Okay, you ready, guys? Watch this ma watch this masterpiece. Everyone wave. Everyone wave at the guys. Here they come. Last train. Make sure you catch them. Don't screw this up. Okay, boys? Three, two, one. Throw it! I swear to God, I gave you guys one task. I better see it. I better see it. I will be so disappointed. I better see it. What a shot! What a shot! <laughs> what a shot! That was so sick. What a shot, man. There was one mistake. I didn't need to wave at them as they were going by. But it made me shake the camera. Oh, that was sick. That was so fucking sick. We nailed that shot. I'm putting you guys away now. Thanks for the support. Oh my God. My fingers. Oh man. These are bad. Oh. 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 <sighs> nailed it. Fucking nailed it. But I don't know why I did the peepo wave thing. I did peepo hay. 
I didn't even need to do it. They didn't need to see where I was at. I just needed to catch them and it shook them right at the end. You know what, though? that's okay. The establishing shot was the cool one when the train was coming around the bend. <sighs> Got it. 4K 60. What a shot. That's a pretty fucking sick train. That is a sick train. Did you nail it? Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, nice catch, Paul. Uh, cool. Yeah, my hands are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back in the car. <sighs> was there a toilet? Yeah, there was. You said to buy a vending thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, that was fun. Just so, just show them the juice I bought. <laughs> I'll ask them what flavor it was. Is it? <laughs> Do you need this? It looks damaged. Was that my fault? I dropped this? Are you sure you didn't drop it? It could be somebody else's. Probably a lot of cameras. Now I'll keep it. Huh. Yeah, I know, man. Actually... Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that. Yeah. What's easier? What? What's you got it. Oh boy. Yeah. <sighs> Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Yeah, that's very good. Good actor, man. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two minute, you need the last 30 seconds at all, but. Thank you. That was worth it for the 10 second shot he's probably going to use. Yeah. <laughs> Show them my shot. It's not that cool. Although you guys built me up. The problem was uh, the co the camera got so cold yeah. that it... No, I'm talking to them. Oh. Uh, it, it shut off again. Oh, really? That's how freezing it was. Did they see the train come? Or did it... Yeah, yeah. No, I I, uh, I got a shot of it. No, did they did it see it on chat? No, I hope so. I think it was... The... Here's what I got. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I got the center one already. I was sitting there. Sweet. Look at this. I mean, that hold on. Took up that entire yeah. Just that blind bit there. Look at that. Look at. Do you think he'll use this thing? I'll that, go and. That's a pretty cool. So we go in so. in full. Nice. Oh, yeah. And it's going right there. Oh yeah, he'll definitely Fantastic. want that shot. Yeah. That's sick. And then at the very end, I got excited on accident, and I was waving at him. I think I shook right there. That's okay. There they are. Oh yeah. Are you gone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that your phone? Yeah. Can you send that to me, mate? Fuck off, it's mine. <laughs> so how much? Uh, a bottle cap. No. Uh, yeah, I'll send it to you tonight. That's so, crack, can I, when you airdrop, does it matter if it's 4K or anything? Uh, 4K would be better. Oh, I blocked it for all of their vision, but I had to, guys. I had to, thanks, mate. I had to block it. Let me get out of here, sorry. Pete, do you have your battery handy? Yeah. I need for the phone just for a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't worry about pocket the whole time. It's so rare. I should be. Let's burn this one out before it explodes anyway. It has a little bit, but then when this dies, let me yeah. know. Then I got another one. Then we'll give an iPhone cable. It's in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. I can't sing, I forgot. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Joey, yep. I just want to confirm. Yep. Uh, where is it? Uh, I just want to confirm. Woo -wee. Where oh, damn. Hey, Paul, send it to you now. Pump, pump the heat on, boy. Yeah, sorry. Oh, shit. Uh, I 
Gink, and they just donated 25 bucks and asked you to buy hot drinks. Shibachan. Shibachan. Yeah, Shibachan. Thank you so much, man. I promise I will. When we get to the Kambini. Drinks are on chat at the Kambini. Let me know. Hot drinks, they said for everyone but Paul. That's weird. That's weird. I'm kidding. They, uh, they're cool with it. Let me uh, right, send you this. Let's go. Up. We should be arriving about the same time. So yeah. yeah. Ian's phone is up. Looking for iPaul. He names his phone iPaul 14. Did you know that? <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> I love it. It's just too damn creative. You can do IP. The IP? No, iPaul sounds way better. Did you no, I'm still looking for your airdrop. I got Ian's phone. Okay, we got the right way. There it is, the eye Paul. Right <laughs> well done, boys. Another hey, shot done. Nice. I was scared that if my drone was gonna survive or not. So was I. Uh, it kept saying, very strong winds, fly back home. No, can't do it automatically. You must do it manually. I was like, oh dear. Whew. Job is done. Well. That single shot drained out like 80% of the, of the drone battery. Really? Yeah, because it's so cold. Yeah. It's windy, so cold is not good for batteries, and wind is not good because it has to stabilize, so the, the engines are working harder to keep it in place. That was fun, man. That was a lot of fun. It was sick. Did you enjoy getting some practice with the camera? Yep. How, do, how was it? Was it good? Was the yeah, shot yeah, good? Yeah, it was a good shot. Sure, we got the shot. Hey, I'm no, uh, it's not my first rodeo, Pete. I worked at yeah, a, a media last, company for five years and I held a camera oh, twice yeah, no, during that time. Yeah, it's happened to be more than Yeah, it's happened to be so many times. Oh, dear. That's how you learn. You learn on the job. Because if you fuck up, you don't get another job. Yeah, they're running the fire. Oh, yo, yo. Pete, Connor, and Rob all live. I can rank those for you if you'd like. Tell you where we land first. No, they're all very good. I say you triple screen it, all three tabs open, and check out which one to give the volume to. Or put me on the lowest volume because you'll hear me the highest anyway. And mousy. Well, that's the thing about Twitch, right? You're never. It's the one thing that you. Well, there's a lot of things YouTube does better, but I feel like uh, since it's live, you feel yeah, like you're missing out. For choice. Yeah, you're spoiled for choice. I just said you're never spoiled for choice. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that that Connor is in Hokkaido with Ludwig. That's uh, so they're also within the yeah, Sapporo, I think, right? Oh wow, yeah. for the snow festival. I think so. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure they'll have a good time. I've been there for the uh, snow festival. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that legend of lives. They're skiing. Ooh, that's a tough.
back and say it can't be done. <laughs> That's the the old the old legend. I remember learning That's that. Point plus the key. It's like it's very much. We back. Hey, what's welcome back, guys? Uh, I am. Yay, we're back. We're back into. We had to go through a little bit of a, a no internet zone, but I could still read what you guys were doing. Rob's picking strawberries. <laughs> Uh, there's a ski date. Have you tried downloading more internet? Uh, they, yeah, we've reached our limit. I'm on dial-up. Just dropped in. Oh my god, I love the Wallace and Gromit beanie. This was a gift from a viewer. Amy. Um, Ian got a, a matching one. I did. Do we wear them on alternating days? Yeah. I brought my Kansas City one too. Why is Chris driving? <laughs> How dare they? He could never grow a beard like that. Uh, we well we we'll be picking him up soon. Yeah. Well, what's soon? Twenty minutes. That's not bad. I don't know if we'll beat them there, or we might see it. I don't know. The train line's over there somewhere, so we might see oh. him go past. Yeah. Let me see if uh, this is working. I don't think so, but. Well, in that case, tomorrow's gonna be more. All right, looks like we got the, the chat back as well, just in case there's any. What was your favorite? Well, I like uh, uh, Arthur's. Me. I like Arthur's paging. Oh, the. Yeah. Yep. So what? You said your camera cut off because it was too cold. Did yeah. they see the steam train at all? Yeah. They okay. well no. Um, the bad thing about the steam train was. Yeah. I'm. Blocked their view completely with my. Oh, uh, job's got to come first. Yeah. yeah. Massachusetts Lordy Wiggle Butt Iron Mouse Wiggly Premier Jam. <laughs> those are emotes. What are those? <laughs> oh, okay. So those are they have to be because the most annoying TTS you get is they'll send like thirteen different K -W, Chinese. KW, KW, no, KW, KW. it's worse. It's the it's the emojis of symbols of Chinese words, and oh. then the TTS will go Chinese symbol for finger, Chinese symbol for head, <laughs> Chinese symbol, and you're like, okay, it's not reading the actual emoji, but yeah. I like that one. Uh, it looks like we're in bad internet zone. <laughs> That's all right though. Work comes first.
set all these live streams up. Somebody wanted me to tell you, uh, it was fun to see you on Speak of the Devil the other day, Joey. Oh. They liked your, your stories. Thank you. Yep. My hot takes. Your hot, maybe they weren't hot takes, maybe they were just like, that's quote, right. Quote, unquote, hot takes. What is that? Man, that's, that's the thing, right? Like, is there any hot takes? You can't even like pizza or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, uh, I actually like putting kind of on pizza. It's like, oh, I want a hot take, and I'm like, I think the, the best word to describe, like, the, the world we've been to, and I saw this Twitter post, it's like, why is everyone going to be like, man, I love pancakes, and then the, somebody's like, oh, so you, you fucking hate waffles? Yeah, and you're like, yeah. that's, yeah. what, how is this, uh, yeah, Joey's interview was legit good. Oh, thank you. That wasn't my opinion, by the way, no, I'm kidding, it was a, <laughs> <laughs> the ground quite, I mean, it was barely in it was just me and Mouse. Yeah, no, I think that's what makes her a really good host. It's like, I never... Was that your first time talking to her? Uh, no, I've, I've talked to her... Well, I mean, that was the first time I've talked to her, like, one on one like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, like, chatted to her every now and then, and, like, Discord messages and stuff, but, like, yeah, first time, like, proper one-on-one -on -one actual, like, talking was that. I like to think I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at talking to people for the first time. Yeah, I think that's what made watching both of you really good at that, because... Oh, wait... Hold on. No, it's, uh, <laughs> they like these text messages. Hey, Arthur. This is different. Hello, guy. Oh. Van Gang. You know me. <laughs> I hope you're all having a good time and Ian isn't at the point where he wants to kick Pete out of the van yet. I have three days. Sad <laughs> Ian hits the heart hard. Anyway, there is the, the ground quake. Oh, sorry. Anyway, the ground quake. <laughs> will quake when I kick you out of the bed. <laughs> I'm glad that that got cut because I'm sure it's an insult coming my <laughs> way. Anyway, the ground uh, quakes. I think we're far past that point. I've it, had to accept we're going to be sitting next to each other for a few more days. Um, but the thank well, you very much. Sitting man. in the same van. Yeah, yeah, Maybe not next to each other. Well, we have uh, usually the same hotel room. Yeah. But the both of you, since you're really good at talking to sh strangers or to like organically, yeah. made for a really free flowing conversation with not a lot of like weird like um you. Yeah, 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 that was that was that was the good part. Yeah, I mean those I uh, like I try and do that with my interviews as well. Like, you know, I asked, I asked, you know, the questions to get the, the guests warmed up, but then after that, I just start fucking just chatting to them, just riffing. Yeah, just riffing because those make for the best interviews. Yeah, for sure. That's a good. That Please. is a good skill to hone if you're trying to get better at it. Yeah. Try to learn that skill more than any others. Than it's, yeah. Good questions are are important, but and it is a skill, you know, like. First interview fucking sucked. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. It was so awkward to, to, to oh. watch. Yeah. Do, do we reckon that the, it's gonna there come past There is Welsh here? whiskey waiting for you. And we got our shots already. Ah. The Grand Quakes. I reckon the train's <laughs> about to come over here. Look, they're climbing Look up. This guy it. fucking climbing up the hill to get the shot. And we could we could pull in if you want to get another shot from the bridge. You want to try? Uh, camera. I think I think it should be fine to be honest. The, I mean, the over one from the bridge on like the thing could be really good. Oh, like oh, coming over. The yeah. Uh, we could try, yeah. You mean like a drone show? Or no, just, like just... Uh, yeah. Joey and, and Iron Mouse on Speak of the Devil. Oh, fuck. And, uh... Oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, no, hang, on okay. hang on, hang on, Okay. We'll do it the legit way. Uh, I'll turn around. Well, Connor and Ludwig are in the same prefecture, but not in the same area. We're probably four or five hours away. So, they're doing their thing. Over in the snow festival. I can put over somewhere I'll turn around. Or maybe because we can't turn around yet. Why is Joey not on the train? Joey? <laughs> he lost uh, the challenge. So there's only two tickets available, mate. He got stuck with us. <laughs> yeah, Natsuki on the train. Natsuki and Chris are on the train right now. Whoa, we're going. Four point turn. Um, What do you reckon? What do you reckon? 
We might. I, I won't. We get there, and it's by the yeah, time we get set up, it's just gonna yeah, miss it because they're all set up. It's not really necessary. Okay. The shot yeah. Is the train line in here? Again, it's gonna be like a ten second shot. Yeah. 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 yeah true. True. Plus those two shots that I can cram in the jam. That's true. We've probably got about a good like 30 to 40 yeah. seconds of useful footage. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. If, if there is an option to find somewhere that we can film it, but more is always better. Yeah, of course. Which is, it must be close because they were all, the people were set up and by the time, yeah. Interior is nice. I'm actually kind of looking uh, forward to seeing what they have planned. Yeah, it, it, it did look nice in the photos. Oh, it did? Yeah. Yeah, you showed a few photos. Yeah, my hands are still thawing, though. What, what is the Van Gang doing this time? So basically, this is Journey Across Japan 5, the frozen frontier. We've been to the Okinawa, we've been to around Fuji, we've done all the things, but we, I mean they. But this time, we're going to be going to the furthest eastern point in all of Japan. Oh, is this a train, is this a train line? Any other cars pulled out, but I feel like a I mean, we could do it if you want. Where's the train line? No, no. Oh, I don't want to fly a drone if there's another drone in the sky. Yeah. I can't have a, a drone see battle. The line is the thing. So you have a we drone off. Right? Yeah, where, where, is the, where is the train line? Where is the train line? It must be... Am I crossing any river? Any train lines? Train oh, we're about to cross the cross train line up here. So if that's a bridge, that could be perfect. Okay. Watch there, there's gonna be like 400 people. Oh, yeah. the camera's out there. There's another car, so. Can you see it? No. No, but we are parallel with the train line, it's just over there. There's a guy with a camera over here. Oh, the yeah. distance. I reckon we go up on the bridge, get the over overlooking shot. Okay. Let's try it out. I mean, this is a very exclusive train. It only runs two months of the year. So. Oh, is that right? And only yeah. once a day. Two months of the year, once a day. Well, that okay. explains a lot. Okay. Racing the trains. Once a day. Once a day. That's, yeah. the, that's the only train today. Oh, wow. Yeah. And is it a, like a two-hour train ride? It's, yeah. We're getting off, well, they're getting off an hour into it. We, we, we told the, when we booked it, we said we just want an hour's uh, worth of... Yeah, you know, the whole train line is about two and a half hours. Do they serve like lunch and stuff and everything you like that? You can cook on there, they've got little uh, like grills, like little barbecue. What? There's a barbecue carriage on there. Yeah. You can cook squid and stuff. That's so cool. Ah, uh, sorry Joey. <laughs> Next uh, time. Right. Next time. And people, I think people will think that was like a, a clever ploy in the, in the, in the video, but no, we could genuinely book two tickets. <laughs> yeah. Joey, we want it, we would call yeah, I wanted, wanted, to, go, I wanted to go on it. Yeah, it was supposed to be just us today in the car. Yeah. And that does explain why they're all the train spotters, because... So we are crossing yeah. uh, the bridge now, and... How do I use these bits? <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, yeah, look at oh, 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 oh. This is not a bridge, though. This is a... Uh, well, you know, crossing, yeah. Crossing. It's like, whoa, there's like 30 people. You've got the police yeah. here. The police are yeah. here? There's even like a car park for everyone to get. It gets a bit spicy between the different photographers, oh, like awesome. getting in each other's shots. Oh, yeah. Seriously, there's a police, there's a policeman no, waiting. 100 percent, dude. Train talkers are insane. And uh, the people even brought like a step stool to stand above the assholes who are like in front of them. Yeah, dude. Some of these motherfuckers got like bird watching lenses. You see that? What yeah, the, well, they're like bazookas. Yeah. All right. Good question. All right. Far away, yeah, I'll, I'll look. Chris is getting arrested. I mean, if they're all set up. It you wouldn't have thought Chris that is getting away. arrested. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Yotaro finally got him. He can't keep getting away oh with God. it. He doesn't understand film terms. Check the gate. The gate looks good. Train craze. Um, yeah, I reckon they must be very close, Paul. Is he gone? Oh, sorry. I thought as you walk out, I saw someone walking outside. <laughs> See uh, My phone's not loading it, but they're all... This time, uh, I don't need to record it on my phone, guys. I can just show you the train as it goes past instead of... Last time, I blocked the entire view. I felt bad about that, so I'll make up for it if we get outside. Just 
Let me, uh, let me just see what's going on, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys have, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's not loading the map for some reason. So, All right, let me. Uh, it's not. It's not loading. Well, where I mean, Chris should be able to Where Chris it. currently is. Yeah. 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 I found these yeah. results yeah, for yeah, Farm yeah. Girl oh, with yeah, big cool. boots on a truck. Okay. No, it goes. <laughs> I'll explain that one later. No. <laughs> farm Girl, big boots on a truck. No. No. While we were outside, my phone had like a series. She's like, "Your inquiry didn't go through again." I was like, "Well, that'd be horrible if it like started listing all my previous searches." It was like, your search for, you know, MILFs while shopping, but exposing themselves. That's not uh, that bad. <laughs> well, I know, but that's not that bad. But I, it was. I don't want to, it why definitely did, can. Why didn't we tell Natsuki what, a milf, what MILF meant yesterday? Because well, he said it about 18 he times. He said, since the, it's Mama, favorite. I want to fuck. MILF. No, Mama, I love MILF. Wanna. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, barriers are down. Barriers are down. Let's go. We gotta run. Shit, I didn't get a time to get. Fuck me. We're running. I promised them the shot. I'm not going jacket. Oh, fuck this. I don't have a coat. I can hear the beeping. Parappa the wrap-up. Yo, oh, my. Ouch. Here it comes. No. Oh. Oh, the smog! <laughs> Chris is eating! <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. oh, what a show. <laughs> Huge. Uh, what a shot. <laughs> uh, damn it. What the fuck? Uh, uh, that was awful. Great job, Pete. <laughs> And you know what the worst was that when the uh, smoke cleared. No, that's not the worst for you. It that's not the worst for you. What? what? It's gumping running oh that. My God. <laughs> that's how you run chickens. <laughs> Don't you dare make fun of my my jeggings. Oh god. Oh Chris is gonna love that. Oh, uh, is it on? Are we on? Are we live? No, I don't know yet. Hold on a minute. Okay. It's F ish because um I don't 
with me. <laughs> it's like running with stilts. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not easy. How do you run without bending your knees? You were just like that. <laughs> You're like Manic Miner. You know? oh, I'm sure my age It was, uh, it's like Tech Mobile. I have like only four frames. <laughs> uh. The MILFs are fighting back with Pete's connection. Thank you. Uh, sorry, we, we got, um, you guys missed the best of the best of the best shots. Oh, did they oh, not they, see maybe, that? Maybe, maybe, yeah, it, uh, we'll show you guys in a minute. <laughs> These guys are waiting for the train. He's going around. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does he know that it's the other way? Or? Uh, we can't uh, show you the other video. I'll, I'll tweet it out here when we stop at the it's next the break. thing I've ever recorded. It's so funny. <laughs> We'll, we'll edit it down, but it may be the best video ever taken. Of it's a silhouette of Pete running to make it without a hope in hell because it's already passed. Um, <laughs> but trying to run without bending his legs because his jeans don't let him. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, it's too tight. Yeah, was, it's, it's pretty funny. I didn't yeah. know you were recording On that. the cycle, if this van took me to drive safe for one more fucking hour. Um, you had me. Yeah, I don't know if you knew this, Joey, but... Um, Oh wait, well... Hello Pete. Hi I buddy. your Parappa sweater. Thank you. Tell me, do they do it in a men's cup? <laughs> okay. Thank you kindly. Got it! Alright, alright. Let's turn that down so you can record. Thanks buddy. Uh, go ahead and finish your story. I don't know if you're aware of this Joey, but yeah. on the cyclothon, um, Pete left and there's always about I didn't realize the camera was running yeah and I was just sat there and I was looking out of the back I was constantly checking the mirror because we were stopped on a road like this yeah. and I was worried they're all like yee-haw well, and we were celebrating $250,000 we celebrated five minutes earlier but Pete <laughs> wanted to do a, a more uh, a, a show a more authentic one for the camera um, <laughs> but uh, yeah we uh, so I was waiting I was looking and I looked quite depressed yeah. Um, yeah. But I didn't realize the camera was running. And it made Pete's day that the camera for seven minutes was running and me looking uh, yeah. like, 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 you I know, to like, like, and he would look up at the well, thing. Like, and if just... there's any consolation, I was genuinely depressed. That I was <laughs> on this, on, and we're on in the, the back. Yeah. Like, you can see us going like, yeah, high fives. And Ian's just but kind of sad. I feel and... like, I feel like this, I know your community and I know what wizardry they can do with memes and things oh like that. My God. I feel that footage of you running across. <laughs> It's this more than making up for that already. Too. This is this I'm, is. I'm gonna make it. This is the happiest oh, I've been in years. This is amazing. The the full on sprint without a jacket. <laughs> a, Chasing after a steam train. They're oh, already passed. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna miss my train. Oh my god! And I had so much. I have like tuberculosis now <laughs> from being downwind of that. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the, the people who were standing right near the track just got <laughs> a fucking oh my face God. full of smog. Oh, uh, that was fun. Well worth it. Well worth our, our um... I didn't know your your Hokkaido revenge would be served so... so long from when we first had it. Was the... was the actual... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Was the actual shot of the... the IRL one, of seeing the train, was it... Did you see it? Was it good? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Harry, uh, I will show him later. That is too funny. Oh, cool. It did work then. It looked cool with the smoke coming out too. <laughs> yeah. It was lopsided. Oh, well, okay. That sucks. I couldn't... I tried to adjust the shoulder mount in time, but... Yeah, that's that's too bad. We can fix that in post, right? <laughs> it was adequately awesome. I'll take that. Oh, but you got your little. <laughs> I'm using that for everything. <laughs> that little silhouette view. That's gonna be my avatar on <laughs> any social media or anything. You need to make that a gift. I'm gonna go on my Etsy account. <laughs> See that little stick figure of you no running like that. Crossing <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Now we now we see how devoted Pete is to the content. You're damn right. We got to get the shots. Man, can you imagine living out here? Um, um <laughs> I couldn't do it. Uh, it's so far from like 
anything. Do you think people? How is I'm not, I'm not. I don't know nothing about Kansas, but are there the p- part you grew up in? Was mm-hmm. it um, like this? Yeah, is it like <laughs> fields and stuff, or is it more like a city in Kansas? Th- th- there was I, where I first came from, like where I'd spent summer as a job. Yeah. That was more like this. You know, you'd like a little bit. I had like a main street where you actually had some things and stuff. Yeah. But when you start getting out and sprawling, then like you get like houses Fields. and shit like that and stuff. Yeah. But well, I lived in Kansas City, which was probably the largest city in, in certainly in Missouri. Kansas, in Missouri. But it is the largest city in Missouri. Even the biggest Kansas City. No, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> Missouri, unfortunately, is, yeah. Missouri is big. Yeah, but it's. But I couldn't believe that when I found that out. Yeah. But it's so silly that people, like, because the sports teams are in the Missouri side. Yeah. And they'll be like, yeah, well, you know, it's Kansas City, Missouri. And I'll be like, it's dirt that separates, like. Yeah, because I, cause when, cause when I found out we were doing a, a show in Kansas City, I was like, oh, we're doing it in Kansas, right? And they were like. Oh, we're no. on the, we're yeah. on the opposite like, what do you think? station. <laughs> it's, it's a. Uh, they're like, we're doing it in the bigger one in Missouri. And I'm like, how does that make any sense? Why did they just fucking name it Missouri City and, you know, just yeah, do us a favor? Yeah, true. That's the train, yeah. Yeah, so there this is. is where they should hopefully be getting off. Do you see them? Maybe uh, hopefully around, they didn't uh, forget. They were in the very last car. Yeah, I hope they don't stay on camera ready. Yeah, they're probably coming up on the other side. I hope they had a, 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 a world class trip. Could anyone write in the chat, mate, where we're just uh, head where there? No, we have an old, old, old text. No, I mean, good. Yeah, good, good, good. So I want to make Thank you. Uh, we I like KCK. I like both. I like Kansas City. It's one goddamn city. Navigate our way to the other side of those train tracks. Uh, get to the other side. Yeah, yeah. Where, where can we cross the train? Uh, I tried, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, John, how you doing, mate? Johnny Mull in the chat. Johnny Mull in the chat. Did you th- uh, Pete oh, Salvage, so one of your mint spies for me. <laughs> I did. He, I don't know if you knew that. I, uh, I took him one to the airport, and b- before I could look back, he was chewing. Or you swallowing it? I was like, that was actually to split hey, with me. To this point, that was the best moment of the trip so far, eating the mince pie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna oh, catch. Oh, hey, you wanna, do you wanna switch camera yep. now? We'll, we'll get the steam train again. Oh yeah, right. Maybe. Check this out, John. I was, you know, I was about oh. to lower the window and do like a, uh, and I was like, the smoke will just come right in. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a shot for my phone. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna be running again. Yeah, John, right. John, I don't know if you can hear this, John. The greatest thing happened. I don't know if you saw it. I got I got a video of Pete running without bending his legs, and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Here, airdrop that to me really quick while no. we're just sitting here. No. Why? No. Why? That is. Uh, I I, I want to show the people. I feel like you could edit it. No, I'm not gonna edit it. And then put that version. I up will first. put it as um, as cl- cleanly as possible. How did you think to catch that? Well, I was trying to get the train, and then you ran past, and it was <laughs> it was far better. Oh, that's than anything not the right I train. That was a shitty train. That was not the one. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. That's um, too good. Oh, oh. That was the bad train. They got bamboozled. Oh, this, car, this car, this car's behind. Get in, get in. They can't hear you. Get in, this car's behind. I didn't realize there was a one fucking carriage train that yeah. was coming. And that's why there's no photographers around this part of the... Of the yeah, we need train. to... Could, did, did you message them, Joey? Yeah, I did, I did. I, was that was a, I just saw them we got to the station. Wrong train. What a shot. That was a shitty green or gray nothing train. I've never seen a one carriage train before. <laughs> that's to be, why... To be fair. That was what's made it special. What a shot. What do we reckon for the station? Drop that one into... It's all right. Okay. It even whistled for you. Yeah, there was like two guys that was like, uh, whoop. <laughs> uh, that was the L train. That's right. That was the L train. <laughs> where is the station entrance? Around here? Is this the station? This is where I probably is this get the demoted. Uh, a little bit further down, I would. There's a big car park here, so I reckon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I see. I thought I saw Chris there. Oh, that's a curb. No, it's not. We're good. Yeah, I... That, that, that looks like that, Chris yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be. He's gotta... Well, I don't know. He's trying to miss camera. Yeah, there's a lot of people have cameras. Oh, you're right. These guys are climbing on... Fuck me, look at those guys. No, those guys yeah, are serious. Yeah, those, those guys are on a fucking snow mountain. Oh, 
Oldest um, and getting shot here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys wanna... Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look. Right, jump out. What's the plan after the E-train? I'm not sure yet, mate. We're driving to the easternmost point of Hawkeye. Oh, we're driving We're about to, the... to leave again, I think. Uh, run. No, P, P, no. Run. <laughs> Haven't you embarrassed me enough? Nope. Never. Never. Oh, you Michael Caine. <laughs> All right, let's go get a couple of cool shots, boys. I hear the hype train coming. Damn it, I can't believe you got me in my stupid leggings. I don't have my jacket still. The ground. Quakes. Look at all these people trying to get this shot. Isn't that crazy? I can't climb that, guys. I wanted to. I don't have a jacket on, so climbing the snow is not possible. I can try. Oh, I sunk. There she is. What a shot. Yeah, baby. Ah, uh oh, the wind's coming. And my ass is freezing. There's the man at work. You see that black plumage of smoke coming out? That was what I directly put my mouth over and sucked down like it was a Marlboro from 1923. <laughs> I'm just posing. This is my JoJo pose as I just sit here freezing in my mom jeans. <laughs> it's so cold. <sighs> okay, I'm going back to the van. Are you guys sufficiently impressed with that shot? Bye, Paul. Bye, Paul? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, yeah, see you. Hi. Bye. All right, that's enough for me. Let's figure out how to get back down. Oh. Ugh. Oof. Ugh. All right, I prefer the warm confines of the car. Well, I guess we're staying outside. Can I, I gotta go to the bat, can I, is the bathroom, is there a station? No, yeah, probably not. Is there an entry? Ah, uh, yeah, at the station? Yeah. All right. You wanna come with us to uh, the place? <laughs> that was too much mobility. Uh, let's see what everyone says here. Toilet stream? We pee in full? I'm afraid not, my friends. I'll give you guys to Uncle Ian. Ugh, that was fun. What a what an experience charging down the street in full regalia. I'm I'm doing Kansas things right now. This is like a normal like oh, it's snowing. I'll just wear my shorts and a t-shirt. <sighs> wow, they've got mascots. Do you have your phone with you? Yeah. Can you take a picture with me and chat? Uh, uh. Do you guys want to take a picture with the mascots? Are you cool? Let's see what they think. Uh. Oh, 
サッシーにですか一緒にサッシーオッケーはいはいいたオッケー I am so happy. Thank you. Arigato g o z a i m a s u s e n Hey, made some friends. Joy, so great. I was in the cold. Bye bye. Okay. Hey, chat. He didn't give me the phone again, so I can't see what anyone's writing. I apologize. <laughs> Oh, you got that? I was on a bridge. Okay, we'll get out of the、uh, official shots. Some mascots, look at that.、Uh, I don't know what they're mascots of.、Uh, which one do you guys like? The、uh, strawberry headed cow with a bone going through its head? Or the one with rugby balls for antennas? I'm not sure. I think I like. Oh, Shibetcha、uh, mascots. That's where we are. We're at a station called Shibetcha. There you go. Oh, we had rugby balls over there. And here they're like、uh, whisks, I guess.、Uh, and some kind of tambourine for a tail. I don't know what's going on.、Uh, let's have a look what we got around here.、Uh, oh, should we make Pete get in one of these character things? Okay, well, this is certainly a remote part of Hokkaido. I don't think many people、uh, internationally visit around here. It's、uh, to give you an idea. So, we are currently here, and we're about to head to here, and after that, we're going to drive back to here. So, in total, we've got about another five hours of driving, I think.、Um, Question right, is, yeah, thing,、so. yeah, Pete is in the bathroom.、Um, I was gonna say, we go to 7 Eleven. Yeah, there's one right there, there's one right there. 7 Eleven's over there. Yeah, I'll bring it around to the 7 Eleven. Oh my god, amazing. Oh, dude, I, got, I got him back, I got him back <laughs> for the last <laughs> trip.、Uh, sh show me the car, yeah, yeah, show you. Did you, do you wanna, um, I'll bring the van around? What, what, because 7 Eleven's there, you guys are going to 7 Eleven. I'll, um, does someone want to tell Pete? Oh, just leave him, she's leaving, she's leaving. He's, he'll figure it out. He probably won't actually, but. Yeah, alright, I'll bring the van around there. Alright. Let's say hello again. Oh, he, I waved, he didn't wave back. Don't like that one. I prefer the other one with the whisks, the head, the fur ears.、Um, are we leaving Pete? We'll give him five seconds. Nah, he's not coming, is he? Okay, well, let's get in the van and we'll meet those guys over at the 7 Eleven. Yeah, sorry, I cannot see what anyone's saying. Oh, no, oh god. Okay. His、uh, leggings do not allow him to bend his legs at any point. I really need the bathroom too, but you know what? I'm going to go to 7 Eleven. You going to join me in the van? Huh? You going to join me in the van?、Yeah. We're, we're driving over to that 7 Eleven. They're, they're all in there. Thank you. I'm getting a good view of your、uh, calves. This is the thing that you mentioned, though, right? You said you didn't think it could be done. Like, everyone it, made fun of my leggings yesterday, but. These? You said, well, today I'm going to wear the tight ones. <laughs> I didn't think it could be done, but those are genuinely. Because are you wearing、uh, thermals I'm, underneath、yeah. it? <laughs> you're struggling to walk, I can see. <laughs> I, 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 yes, I can. All right, turn around, turn around, give us a squat. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, okay, good effort. Okay,、oh, well, okay. Okay. They have、Don't、some、hurt. stretchable. Don't hurt yourself, yeah. That's hurt, though. Well, I, I feel like they're jean colored lycra. <laughs> I don't think they're actual jeans. I, I brought them because they used to fit. Yeah. And I knew that it would be tight around like, the heat. Pete's had these since he was 14 years old. <laughs> Oh dear. I, the only thing I'm sad about is that my comments hit so hard yesterday, which I didn't mean to. It's all a bit of banter. You took the piss out of me four times before I woke up this morning. 
Uh, I left the jeans. With your alarm going off three hours before we needed to get up. But anyway, you threw the jeans away yesterday's yeah. one. Why? I took them because they had holes in them and stuff. Well, I'm not surprised. You, like, they rip every time you. <laughs> leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew it was going to be a problem when I split the seam while sitting yesterday. You know what? I'm just going to hold on a second. Back. We're not going far. You guys can just hang there for a few minutes. We are driving for about 30 seconds. Oh. Oh, come here, I need that coat so bad. Do you think any other car in Japan right now has a Maidstone United no. scarf in the winter? Look at this. This is from, there's an editor for uh, Chris's channel called Dave. And uh, he got me a a Maidstone United local soccer scarf. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Uh, let me see if they can even if they're even here. Uh, I hope there wasn't any uh, tech W's on painted on. Uh, those jeans painted on. Yep. Uh, those leggings are tight, mate. That's all right. What do you think our good friend, uh, publican Clive, would say about those jeans? <laughs> I feel like Clive's a man that would give you his thoughts. I think. You think he'd be down? I think he might not care. I think he seems to be the. I think he would. Nah, he'd make fun of me. They are quite tight. If, if Pete put a lump of coal in his back pocket, would it be a diamond by the next stop? Okay. <laughs> uh, he had my seatbelts unbuckled. We're going to be alright. We're stopping right here. Are we there yet? We actually are. I can see Paul checking the, the footage. Thanks for dropping out a 10 bomb, mate. Unfortunately, I, uh, I had the sounds on and I had to turn them off because somebody made fun of me. Actually, that's not one. Thank you, dude. That's amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel and have fun with the 10 people. That helps a lot, dude, because we have a lot of new viewers and maybe they're testing the waters. And they're trying to figure out if they want to be a part of the channel long term or if they just want to be visiting. And now they have ad free viewing for a month and a bunch of cool emotes and a bunch of cool shit. And I appreciate that. I kept looking here like the camera was there and I realized I forgot I left you guys back there. I Could you even hear what we were saying? First time here? What's up, Honest Dave? Normally I'm playing video juegos, my dude. Normally it's just uh, hanging out at the studio playing video games, but we're on a, we're on a mission. I made my decision. That's a green day. Should I go inside? Let's uh, clean up the car. Yeah, it could be some real Yeah. Uh, I really need a bottle. Let's figure it out. Alright, let's find a mask for. Mask Crusaders! Working overtime, fighting crime. <laughs> Fighting crime, secret raiders who will neutralize to destroy. Chakra's gonna lead the mission. And Spectrum's got such super vision. Ma 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 mask. It's a mighty power that can save the day. Ma 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 mask. No one knows what lies behind the masquerades. <laughs> oh, we found Come see the masquerade. Underway. Ah, that was mask. Ah, shut up, Pete. Okay, I don't have the chat with me, so. Hey, Natsuki. Oh, nice. 
Nice. Good. Hey, Joey. Just throw away this junk. Uh, me? I did. Oh, everyone left me, I thought. I'm so sorry, dude. Thanks for waiting. I owe you a hot drink, though, from that guy, so if you want something, let me know. You all right? I didn't know he waited for me. What a what a giga Chad. What a good guy, kid, man. Joey waited. Please remember that. Selfie. Bang. <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, somebody was nice enough to drop in a 25 spot for some... Uh, this is a Japanese convenience store. As you can see, they have all the necessities, such as, you know, uh, Fry Star for your Ebi Tempuras, Kagome, corn in a can, and of course, Choco cereal. Oh, see you soon. Oh, see you soon. Speak How are you doing, guys? Oh, it was amazing. How was the trip? Yeah, good. Although we got to get moving on because we've got a race to okay. the uh, eastern point in all of Japan. Is this the 7 Eleven? Yeah, it is. There, there's the affable one. Where the, f uh, you don't want to drink for sure? Here, oh, he got, this is, this is the guy, he, he got us this though. Oh, he's right. Are we gonna have time to stop for lunch or no? No, this is lunch. This is lunch, okay. We should probably tell the boys then. Know. Ian knows? Did you guys know this is lunch? No. You might want to grab something. Well, they, they just said toilet. Well, they just said to me lunch. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's <sighs> What you getting, mate? Well, we're going to get snacks to eat. Uh, we're not going to get something. Yeah, so, so get something here, right? I love this thing. This thing is so good. Shrimp, mayonnaise, lettuce, radish, and oil-free yuzu dressing. This thing, bam, 249 calories, 69, 296, fuck! They added 50 calories. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it. Nah, I don't have time to eat this, but it's my favorite. It's really good. Oh, the chicken ones? Oh. Oh, he's right. Inari Zushi, Daisuke. And... Pork, sausage, and cheese. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, by the way, it's lunchtime. Okay, um, where's the thing I want? Water for him, that's wise. I could go for water. Look at this, look at this, guys. This is interesting to me. Uh, let me see if there's like a bottle of water, right? Like a like a kind of big size. Okay, I'll show you later. Yeah, look, dollar sixty-eight for this one. Yakurokujuin. Same water, big boy, one twelve. Welcome to the circus of value. That's what Paul always says. Ikoka. Hey, dork. You have a sweet tooth. Did you say something's gone up by 50 calories? You're not going to take it. I showed you. No, yeah, I did. I, I showed them. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get there? The little fried dog? Karage stick. Those are good. They're very good. I'll try one. Wait, they have crispy, salty chicken nuggets? Konnichiwa. Ano, atatamete onegaishimasu. To, ano, karaage hitotsu to. 
と L サイズコーヒー、はい、お願いしますホットホットコーヒーでホットカピで、はい、ありがとうございます,すそうですお願いしますお支払い方法をお選びくださいタッチ音が鳴るまで Eleven bucks, one 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 one. Good luck. Hey, Paul. Hey, man. They got any good things here like the karage? This thing's great. What is that? It's a stick of karage. Karage. Just karage stick. Soy sauce. It's good, man. Try it. What's that kind of karage? Karage show you? No, karage. Just, yeah. Did you get one? I did, and so did Ian.、Oh, really? They're very good. That good? I like them. Maybe I'll sell them out. You, wow, you're gonna get eight? <laughs> <laughs> might, Seven? Might, might, be, might need that many for how long it's gonna take to get to the next location. No kidding, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.、Uh, arigatou gozaimasu. You have to go to the front of you. I do.、Uh, I'm sorry, it's showtime.、Uh, right. If you're in the front, you got a host. You'll be alright. It's better than hearing me shout. Yeah, we might have got the front seat with Ian. How about that, boys? It was harder in the. I mean, I don't mind, but it was tough in the back because. You know, I think Ian and I have some good banter. And, uh. You can see more of, like, the van and we can show you stuff. I know. Maybe I'm a selfish dickhead. This is the way you make coffee in 7 Eleven in Japan. This shit's amazing.、Uh, when I was a teacher, no lie, no cap, I had this every day for five or six years. This is also pretty good. You have the Nikuman, the Pizomon, and the,、uh, the super large. s u m a s e n Come inside. I'm annoying everybody. But those are. Pizamon's pretty good because it's just tomato sauce and cheese. But the inside of the Nikuman is like a nice pork cut. s Sorry, mate. There's just one on the floor. Been downwind of the smog we inhaled. Asky literally stepped upon the train and smoked all the. inhaled all the smoke. <laughs> could you do the. Could, could you cook on there or film the cooking on there, I think? The, the little、no. barbecue things, could you film that?、Uh, we did, not very well. Either in use or not. I tried to get Asky to cook. Oh, Jackie. 
How was the interior of the train? Okay. Alright. We made it. Time to eat. Okay, we are driving for about two hours and a half. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. First up is the pork sausage and cheese. Did you eat your karage? And my sandwich. <laughs> Ian's the fastest eater of the group. Uh, he claims because he never has time. He said you grew up in a family where a feral household. A feral household. If you didn't eat fast, no, you didn't eat it all. I just always ate the impossible. I think everyone's going to go to bed pretty soon. Just be me, chat. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's an awesome man. Fuck. Like. No road crossing. I've already had two of them. Drive carefully. I think it should be a shimmy. <laughs> Just a hello. <laughs> uh, it should be interesting because it's kind of earlier in the day. Yesterday when we finished all that stuff and everyone fell asleep, it was already like three. And we've been busy all day. Uh, yeah. So, we are driving. We'll, we'll get there at 3.30. Which gives us probably about an hour of yeah. sunlight, I imagine. It'll be cool to see the sunset at the easternmost point of Hokkaido. Yeah, that would be sick. So I yeah, that is where the sun rises. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so we did it kind of backwards, but <laughs> yeah. we are going to the furthest east you can go in Japan. Like the absolute, it's the Cape, the Cape of the East. Who knows if we're gonna have an internet connection on the way out there. It's gonna be pretty spotty, I bet. And then, um, we're gonna do a couple of filmings, and this is where I guess that the first sunrise of all of Japan is right there. How does one TTS asking for a friend? There's like a weird bit system, or you can donate money or resubscribe, but like usually you can attach a, uh, a message to it, and Brian, if we're lucky, we'll read it out, but you never know with the damn the way it works with the internet. Off between Pete. Oh, we got a nephew. Oh, I'm fine. Mm. And that's why Natsuki wears tight pants. I oh, hope you like that story. That's, that's fascinating. <laughs> I know, right? Who knew? It's like the behind the scenes of the behind yeah. the scenes. That'll probably be on a trivia question someday. I mean, I want to get out now. <laughs> I don't want to see it like that. So look. I'm eating as fast as I can, but... The connection is going to be weird, right? I appreciate your guys' patience, but... If you third monitor me, the I don't blame you. Can you help me with this? Hand. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was some Naruto shit. What's Natsuki eating? Um, cigarettes. <laughs> just, just cigarettes. <laughs> if you can't smoke, you just eat some. Edible Marlboros? No, just cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> just the regular kind. If you, you need more Dr. Jelly commercials, well, aren't you lucky? Because yesterday, on this live stream, we recreated Dr. Jelly number one. Well, I think it's better than the original one, does We improved upon it. I, um, that was when we zoomed in on your way. Um, yes, yes, yes. I did not know that. I did. He showed me a clip last night where I was sitting in the train uh, while we were filming in an, an old... The Kofuku station had a line that I think Joey mentioned it started in 1927 and that ended in like 1989 or something around that time. And uh, the 
I was sitting in there as the sun setting, and unfortunately, there was a giant tract of light across my forehead that you kept zooming in on your phone to show people. I mean, I was just curious. It's sort of like a golden light. It's like, you know, in Pulp Fiction when they finally open the briefcase. Yes. <laughs> what is that thing? I needed more information. Uh, we, need, we need a gas station. I forgot about that. Oh, we had a fuel? No, but we need to... Uh, is he telling us to just... Oh, that means wait when they put the flag up like that? Red normally means stop. Or... I thought it meant just go ahead. So this yeah. video, obviously the second one. It was, how cold is it in Hokkaido? It was minus 15 when we started today, and it said it felt like minus 21. In that briefcase, it's another pair of stretchy pants, and they're like, oh my god. A petrol station, that's right. We're getting, oh, the blue means go. <laughs> I was a delivery man, but... I see now. Uh, we do need a petrol station at some point. Oh, Cheers, mate. Thank you. A new sub. Appreciate it. We're uh, we're on the road. Okay. And we're eating karage sticks. How was the karage? Uh, it was good. Bam. Yeah, it was nice. This is uh, deep fried and with shoyu. Not bad. I mean, it's they're consistent at least. Mm. Any 7 Eleven will be in the land. My the fear is there's no chicken on this. Batter and mm. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. Welcome, new guys and girls. Oh, we're in bear country. Oh, no, cow country. That's far less interesting. <laughs> Did you bring the cow spray? <laughs> Should have rampaging cow. Excuse me, this guy just stopped in the middle of the road. We'll bang it. Why does this get so fogged up? <laughs> uh, just it's something very cold outside, very hot inside, and then just doesn't work. So occasionally we have to put it on this one, the bottom one, and blast it, and then we'll dry it out. But it does last long. It gets very hot. We solved it back there. You're, you turning that off made it worse up here. Yeah. I don't want to say anything. You guys are like, oh, it's yeah. like finally cool now. Why didn't we figure this out yesterday? I'm like trying to like stop the yeah. oncoming traffic. Really? Yes. Oh, so yesterday <laughs> when he defrosted, it's like a blast furnace back there. Oh, the towel. This is the towel. The, this is the uh, $15 towel. $15 towel that they got when they sat in the little ice on set yesterday. And we, today we were getting blasted with this heat and so Paul figured out that there was like an air conditioner unit that we can blast cool air on us and we thought we'd cracked like you know the code that we could attack you need to kill yourself yeah <laughs> so unfortunately we did not crack any codes it just fogged up the windows even worse for Ian who was frantically wiping it I guess up here you're fine um Make sure you don't break fast. Don't want to witness a stick go through the space. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think what, so we have to, in snow, you have to pump the brakes. You know yeah. That? Although these are pretty dry roads. This particular one is lovely. Yeah. This is really... Some, some have been not as nice. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Just want to say too much Volcano is a gem and your dance moves were fantastic in the music video. Joe, you don't get the enough credit, do you? Hey Natsuki, your dance moves were great in Journey Across Japan. You wrote it, didn't you? Or is it a collab? What's up? Did you write uh, ASO? I wrote the rap part. The rap part? Gotta spread the love. Oh, thank you, Wani. I just made a cheese and ham toasty with a blowtorch. Okay, there's some ones. Weird shit going on over there. I'm just gonna put that back. So now that you've been doing this for what seems like ages, do you do you genuinely enjoy the driving aspect? Yeah, I, I like driving. Heat, sweat, game on points, fire. Thank you. That is true. I'm not shocked that. It is the only good thing I own. Essentially, isn't it? that and the hat. <laughs> Two things. Uh, yeah. From the top upwards, you look fine. <laughs> It's where the, the, the jeans and the Uggs come in, but... <laughs> I think it looks pretty damn cool. The Uggs, I would agree. I have never <laughs> worn anything but Adidas Superstars, or maybe, like... A they Nike. would have not been pleasant in this weather, though. No. I'm glad you did get something warmer. You guys advised me that wearing sneakers would be a, a, a death knell. Not cut it in this weather, no. Um, 
I will say that my, uh, uh, go ahead. I was gonna say, could you get your, oh, do you, do you have a phone that's not chat? I need to find a petrol station, a gas station, petrol station, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, very strong. Well, I'm looking, I'm trying to find a petrol station because I don't want us to conk out halfway up the, up towards the Eastern Cape. Oh my god. Um, is there any petrol station? So there's a, uh, that's what we're looking for, but there's a turn here and if I don't make that turn, then we're, we're on one road the entire way, so I'm figuring out. I, don't, yeah, I mean, there will be. What's gonna be? Uh, they all may not exist anymore. Ah. We'll find out. How to Existing win. ones are ideal. How much fuel we got? A quarter of a tank. So we're fine. I mean, that, for the entire journey. So right, we. That's, that's good. Though. But so I reckon we'll get there easy. But better to not let it get too low. Yeah. A quarter of a tank. We are right. This. That's the behind the scenes aspect. You gotta look for petrol stations on the. I, do. I, I meant to get it at the time we were just in, but I completely forgot. Uh, I would say the cyclothon. There was a lot more coordinating, like every x amount of kilometers, to make sure that there was no issues and the path was right. Right. Well, that's yeah. The cycle's different because you gotta make sure there. we're in walkie-talkie distance from them all the time. Which that's is like right. A two kilometer range, uh, range, and then. Uh, we need to keep stopping ahead of them to make sure they need anything. So yeah, I mean this is a lot easier. I mean that's one right there for sure, right? Yeah, yeah, that means the convenience stop. It's a what? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll be fine. Just in case if we see one before we get too far it's into the few, extremities. Yeah. There's one straight ahead. Yeah, we'll, we'll, like I said, I'm sure we can probably get there and back. Well, fine. In, uh, about 100 meters on the left. Oh nice, let's just do but, that. It's a big bar. It uh, might close down. May or may not. Okay. Yeah, we'll be yeah we got. Reviews. We're fine. We're not in danger of uh, running out. Yeah, I think the straight's the better route. Well, if you keep going straight down this road, there's a J A Hokuden. Sweet. And that's a proper one. Nice. Whoa, there's another one. So yeah, it'd be fun. What happens if we get stranded? Well, I can tell you one thing. When we did the Hokkaido video before, Chris and I, we went to the northernmost point in Japan. Chris dropped me off at a. Uh, I can't remember the station, but it was somewhere near the south of Japan. He had to keep going further, and he got stranded in the mountains all by himself, and he had no reception. So, he had to wait for the kindness of strangers to come by and pick him up. <laughs> Can people hear that? I keep getting told off. <laughs> that, that, that's uh, a natural thing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We can do better than that. I'm and getting picky. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, says one's good enough. Thank you. Uh, you don't like that one? Nah. Well, I kind of overshot it a little bit. Um, but he ended up... Coming for Ian. Pete is okay, I guess. All right. <laughs> What's so good about Ian? I don't even understand. Don't answer that in chat, please. It was rhetorical. Uh, he's all right. But... Chris had to wait for someone to pick him up, and they drove him to a petrol station outside of the mountains. He filled up one of those little red tanks that you see on, like, movies and shit, and then they took him back, and a crisis was averted, but... Do you know on Journey Across Japan 1? You broke the back window? No, on one of the first... It might actually be the first video where Chris is cycling in the rain, it's, like, pouring down, and we were waiting on the road for him, and, uh... He took shelter in a, oh, no, I'm in, a, in a literal bus shelter for a while. And we were waiting for him, and like Wimbin, you know Wimbin, yes, cameraman, and uh, I think maybe you haven't met him, but uh, I yeah, know of him. Wimbin and uh, Omar, they're all on their MacBook Pros, all hooked into the car, and then Chris arrived. I went to start the car, and it's completely dead. So I had to wave down a stranger and get a jump start. Because and, uh, they they were charging their stuff or something. Well, there's cows. Oh, Cow country. Oh damn, those are sick looking too. Uh, yeah. So there's kindness of strangers. Natsuki wa anata wo ashiete mas. What's that? He loves his hair dye. Uh, so, 
cows are very kind. I know hum- strangers are kind in Japan. Yes, that's what I want to say. Right. Cows are also some kind. are, some are. Like that Most guy today when we were filming the bridge just told the other lot to shut up <laughs> when we were filming this theme train. That's true. Most you didn't are tell kind. Us to shut up, which yeah. is strange. I wasn't but in the picture. Um, did, really, did you know that? Oh, you weren't there. No, there's I, a guy who was also filming on the bridge, and these other people went to film. They were talking, and he was like, "Shut up." He said, "Like, be quiet." What did he say? Or something like that. Uh, wow. What did he say, Joey? He's busy. Go to sleep. Yeah, that's okay. Um, by the way. You're trying to be the handsome lad. Uh, I meant to. This is why you know the guy who said, uh, "Pizza, alright too," but he ends when I sub. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, that was that was Luke, Nomadic Gaiji. Hey, okay. There you go. And he was like, ah, Pete won't even answer me. It was too big for me now. That's not what happened. He was in the middle of talking about these beautiful cows there that Hokkaido oh, cheese. And that's it. There you go. But uh, you know what? I'll give you guys this little view for a second now that I've already ripped the camera out. So. Because he was saying thank you to you guys for the content. By, and then, by the way, Pete, thanks for showing thanks me for again. A video, yeah, yeah. yeah that was all right. Um, were you a level seven four? Uh, yes, I it know was. you and I. Talk. I was. Uh, yeah. Who was? Next to the road, or only in Hokkaido? Yeah, do you know what they've got? Which one? These big arrows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you take up thirty percent of your what you can see. Yeah. Do you know what they are? are they're snow markers.
Alright, it's my give us a beer right back and tell you okay, let's see if I can. Okay, there we go. Uh, the chillest of songs. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go switch to. While we can. Is it actually, is it actually working now? Are we back? Are we good? Feels like we're maybe back. We are back. All right, well, I was about to send you guys to the Be Right Back screen for in perpetuity, but you missed a hell of a conversation. Actually, it was just me eating and you yeah, finally I'm sitting in silence. Uh, yeah, we don't speak when the cameras are on. <laughs> <laughs> I sit in silence. <laughs> you threatened me that that's the only, quote, free time and peace I Like it. I guess we're in the 
Did you find petrol? Yeah. Ah, konnichiwa. So, go on, no. Quake. ですけど、あのディーゼルで、あの満タンであの、お願いします。そう、あ、イスキャッシュ。クリスイスキャッシュ。現金でお願いします。すいません、あの、どこから。あ、開けます。ごめんなさい、初めて。あ、いいですか。
yeah, drone shots we could do on the way to uh, tomorrow for sure. The weather's. Uh, I like these rolling hills. It doesn't really remind me of England at all though. It's a bit too hilly. Or is there like, is the Midlands full of hills and mountains and things? Why, why did you think it could uh, remind you of England? It doesn't. Someone, I know, but you said, but. Well, I remember. I suggested someone suggested it should look like Oh, England. well, I meant like the oh. sparseness of humanity is like England. Like, you guys have a lot of little hamlets and rolling. Mm -hmm. We're about the size of half of Kansas. <laughs> yes, but I think when I was in there, I was stunned by just how empty it all was. Or you had like these little pockets of humanity where there's like 11 people live in a township and they're all arguing over what color the street lights should be. But that's what my, that's my memory of countryside in England. But then you go to places like Sandwich and uh, you have like all these nice buildings, but then five minutes out, it's, it's back to nature. I'd say that's the same for pretty much every country on the planet. <laughs> well, America's <laughs> bad. We just have car parks and shopping no, but malls. then you have, you have, you go, I lived in Mississippi, you can drive into the sticks there, let me tell you. There's, uh, there's a lot of little, little places, population form, you know? Yeah, sure, but this does look like a lot like southern Missouri, where I'm from. Yeah, it's right it's, your home. Oh, yeah, this is very much. Does it have snow in Missouri? Yeah, yeah, it's four seasons. We get some pretty ridiculous... Uh, snowfall and ice storms. Uh, so yeah, if you guys did not know, there's arrows on the side of the road, which I told the inmates when the snow builds up. Why do you wait for the one bit of road that doesn't have? <laughs> I don't know. You start telling me that doesn't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn you down just in case because there's some people trying to sleep in the back. Um, right now, it's more like central Washington. Well, that's the thing about America, right? It's so fucking big that you could find any biome in the entire world in, in, in America. I can't think of a single thing that America does not have. It's got tropical stuff. It's got mountain ranges and giant deserts. All everything. Is there any part of England that just nobody likes to visit? Um... Birmingham? I was going to say that, man. Who's going to say that? I'm glad you did, not me. I love it. It's a great place. Is there nothing? Birmingham. I meant like the mid. Oh. <laughs> no, Birmingham's fine. Like the Birmingham, Midlands Birmingham or. Birmingham is the Midlands. Oh, really? Yeah. Near Coventry? Yes. Is there any, anywhere else around there? You can stab a... um, Yeah, Leicester. Well done. And um, uh, Devon's in the southwest. Correct. Near Cornwall. You've done your research. And then you've got um, Bristol over there as well. Yeah, we'll see that. So the Midlands has Leicester, uh, sh uh, sh sh Nottingham Forest. That's a football team. Oh, Sheffield or no, whatever. Not Nottingham. Is it? Nottingham, yeah. yes. Is Nottingham in the Midlands? Uh, yeah, pretty much. See, why even go if I know it all? Yorkshire's in the north, along with Newcastle and, and Stoke on the east. West. Uh, east? Okay, west. Right. Stokes and West. No, west I Coast. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, if you do do TwitchCon, mm -hmm. which you are doing, you're going to go to France, probably? It will be France, yeah. I think you'll swing by England on the, on the way? So... We, we raised the money, which is amazing. We'll swing by, like, Paris for sure, because that's where TwitchCon is. Well, that's not swinging by. That's, that's where visiting, going. yeah. <laughs> then we're going to have a premier con number two. In London. In Paris. And they're already there for TwitchCon. Right? I think you get more people based in the UK who are not going to TwitchCon. Okay. Well, it's, it's in... It's a non-frozen life. I feel very uncomfortable driving all of a sudden. Order speed detected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my heart rate. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you, Premier Life is the improved version of the Life Emote, but if you're gonna, yeah, Conk knows what's up. Premier Life is the best. There's Ian, Hello. there's the sun, there's a lighthouse over there. This is near uh, the Cliffs of Dover on the other side over there. I live near Tunbridge Wells, Kent, but technically it's East uh, Sussex. There you go. Uh, yeah. Premier Life, that's the emote. That's the one. Beautiful view. I love the ocean sights here. Is that an ocean? Uh, yes, must be. There it is. Nice. Oh, now There's we're back in the residential. Enjoying yep. the view of my nose of three <laughs> centimeters away. <laughs> <laughs> Did it say lower speed? Over speed. Oh, over speed. Hey Pete, I just downloaded Twitch just to watch your stream. Well, Iba, you've made a tragic error. No, I'm kidding. It's a, it's a good experience, I think. I don't know where you're coming from or where you found it from, but hope you hope you dig it. Live streaming is pretty unique. There's no, no safety net. You just kind of do your own stuff and you hope people think it's interesting. And in my case, they do not. Mm. So, <laughs> unless I'm with Ian. Ian always brings a little bit of a life at the party. Did you have a fulfilling day? Uh, yeah, I had convenient food a couple times. I actually prefer that. It's like I'm back home. And uh, we went to a really kind of awesome train spotting zones where we picked up some great shots for a journey across Japan 5. And we did some challenges this morning that you guys will see in the final product. What's on your jumper, Pete? It's a classic PlayStation 1 game called Parappa the Rappa. It came out back when rhythm games were first released on consoles. You play one of them at the night. You're about to play one. You told I'm me playing Hi-Fi Rush. It is a rhythm game, yeah. But Parappa's a bit more, you know, straight up rhythm. Like, it's the precursor to like those, those arcade games where you do like Persona 5 dance all night. All right. Gun it, April. We're hitting the speed. Over speed detect. Didn't say it there. <laughs> <laughs> you go too far over, they just they report give up. to the police directly. Why didn't Connor join? I can tell you that because he is busy. <laughs> or maybe you know, Journey Across Japan is actually. I think when I think of that channel, I think of a uh, Natsuki, Joey, Chris, and sometimes they have a, a fourth guest or something. Like I know Chiaki's been on it. Or um, um, Pete Donaldson was, Pete on, Donaldson was on it for sure. Or Yotaro has been on one now. Yeah. But like, it's kind of like the lads doing a more deep dive of Japanese culture. And then you've got like the Connor thing. I think of more like a wacky weekend where they go to like a love hotel. Ian talking a lot. His voice is soothing. <laughs> Uh, he's doing meditation not to murder me. I love him. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, well, we're making good progress, I think. Yeah, we only have another hour and a half to go. Yeah. Is that true? Yep. Fuck me. We chose the really the best day for the stream, didn't we? I think we, if we didn't, we would have never got that that beautiful video you can, made. Could you do me a favor? Sure, shut up. Yep. No, no, no. Oh. Well, that's it. But, could you, with your phone that is not chat, Yep. could you search Kate not Sapu, Sunset. You want to see what it looks like? No, I want to know what time it is. Oh. <laughs> You've got to get a good, pretty good idea what it looks like in about no an hour. Oh, Sapu. Sunset. I mean, I forgot what time sunset is in general in Hokkaido. It's all the same, but we might as well say where we're going. 4.38. Okay, so we have an hour. Huh. Um, did you know there's... That's interesting. Cape Nosapu, Nemuro. This was last updated in 2016. All you need to... Oh. Should I spoil some of the surprises there? Sure. It has... All you need to know, let's take a look. Um, I made it to my... F no, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, most people are on rise. I guess there's a, there's a beautiful lighthouse that you can get a picturesque shot of. Yeah. There's like a... That's it. There's a lighthouse over there, and then that is the whole... 
everything. So there you go, mate. Well, uh, people don't go there for the attractions. There, they go there for the. It's like climbing a mountain, right? It's it's its position. Oh, look at that! People are fishing on the ice. Ice fishing, huh? Have you ever done that? Nope. It's quite fun. You did it once. It when, was. Where did you do that? Oh, uh, it was just like in Kansas somewhere. I didn't just catch anything. Fish in Kansas. No, see, that's why I think I was kind of bait and hooked or whatever. Because we were doing it in the lake, and you like cut out the little circle and you try to catch something. But after two hours of me not even seeing a bite, I feel like I was kind of hoodwinked with that experience. Mm. Chris looks like that guy who sleeps with, with his eyes wide open. Yeah, I saw a couple earlier. I've done it once on Green Bay, ended up just playing Game Boy Advance all day, no bites. Maybe it's just all fraud. Those guys are probably just playing Game Boy. They assumed the Kushido area, but you're going east, east, huh? Proper east. Proper east, east, east as east as you can possibly go. We can send you to Russia. <laughs> well, you'll be able to see islands owned by Russia from there, I think. Just like Wakanai. But you want a boat? Mm, is the science in Russian over there? Apparently so. Not in Russia, I meant. In... <laughs> what are they? Yeah. They're going to Cape Nosop, the most eastern point in Japan. That's right. Does Pete have a Discord? I do, mate. I'm the moderator, apparently. So you created, you're the owner. Used to me. Can I close that at any time? Yes. I can shut it all down. <laughs> Everything. Why would you trust me with such power? Well, at the time when I made it, there was four of us in there. And so, it didn't really make any uh, make any point. Yeah. Watching from Manchester, England. It's almost 5 a.m. for me. I should sleep, but I'm enjoying the stream. You're very kind. Is, is Chris happy looking? Oh, he looks frustrated. They say, uh... Chris, I said you sleep with your eyes open. I think he said fuck off. I sleep with my eyes open. That's what they said it looks like. That you're sleeping with your eyes open. Damn. Ian could shut it all down. He's got all the power. Actually, Ian has like several behind the scenes switches. He, um, he knows the password to my Twitch account, as does Johnny Mole. And you you own the the site of our Discord. Like you could, you're the final I could authoritative. Just, I could just make it like it never existed. Never. Just in the whole thing. The other thing you have is complete mm. access and control of magic on the blacktop. That was disappointing. <laughs> Four people. <laughs> uh, it's it funny. Come, it comes as a relief to me. But we <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's not as... Uh, that's not as damaging, I suppose. Yeah. And... Uh, interesting. I don't know where you live. Why, well, For now. Yeah, well, I know where you live, your new place. Well, we went there. But right you'll right? never be able to reach it. I've put it so far. Exactly. <laughs> Could you manage the... I'm, I'm gonna... You know that you see those, like, explorers? And they wear, like... They look like hat. tennis rackets for shoes. And they, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get something on this trip, just so I can <laughs> come visit you once in a while in your new place. <laughs> You need all the suit. It's like going on the Oregon Trail. You need like a compass, two oxen, uh, four sets of clothes, just to get into my neighborhood. Our and friend Victor, who might be uh, a friend of the channel. The friend, friend of travel? Friend of travel. Yeah. He does a thing every year called uh, Sea to Summit. Yep. Where he travels from the ocean all the way to the summit of Mount Fuji. And uh, I think that's... He, he should look for a greater chapter. <laughs> Just finding your new house <laughs> from the station. My which, car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a labyrinth of, of different streets and side mazes and things. Yeah. But I feel like the only thing that would help Victor is even with my considerable soundproofing, you could still probably echo location it just by follow. It's like following the North Star, but you just have my stream open and you can just listen for my voice. Yeah. Like it's that way. Yeah. And slowly it gets it gets louder and louder. Yeah, it's far away, and I made so much fun of you, which was great. Uh, I had such a blast of mocking you when you had moved to, like, literally the middle of nowhere. It's... <laughs> I'm in the middle of Tokyo, you may need it. Just because it's somewhere you don't go often. <laughs> Shimo Kitazawa is... <laughs> I don't live there, but it's like a 15 minute walk. That's yeah. the guy's place. But like, it's like the same thing though. What? It's, it's not the same. <laughs> It would take me, okay, from Shibuya Station yeah. to my house. Right. Would take the same amount of time as walking from your closest station to your house. Wait, wait. 
No. Yes. So wait, wait. It's from Shibuya Station to your home. To my home. Would take the exact same amount of time if as walking. You travel from... to the closest station to your house, your most convenient station, and you walked home. You cannot walk to Shibuya in 15 minutes. I'm not saying walk. I'm saying oh. I could get the train from Shibuya uh, and be at my house. Ah, uh, that's the same even better. Amount of time it would take <laughs> that's you way better. To just find your most convenient. Public yeah, transport. no, that sucks. Um, that's right, that's um, good though. A good, good 20 minute walk every day there and back. You're not leaving your house. So yeah. I feel like I'm not going to see you again. No, after, you're, after this is the bit. last time, yeah. Um, you know, it says, I think this is a good observation. Your new place isn't in the middle of nowhere, Pete. They've just not plotted that area on the map yet. So once the city catches up to us, we're going to be in.
So, okay, we, we gather the places. We ask like three or four people on any given night in Premier One. Well, there's never more than three or four people in there. So, <laughs> we lost Ken yeah. and other people. And uh, are we live, by the way? Is, this, I have is no, it working? I have okay. no idea uh, um, if we're back. It's, let's just keep talking about our okay. ideas. Yeah, we see that? I'll repeat this later if we're not. But, and we ask people in, in our little circle, because, yeah. you know, these people... In Premier One, they they're gonna send us to some weird places. They've already made bad choices. Yeah, way. yeah. You know what we could do is we should we should tape. So we're talking about we're talking about uh, we have a Van Gang series that's gonna be made eventually, probably in March or April. We got actually very busy in February, but basically we're discussing on like where should we go because it's not gonna be about the location spectacle. Mm. It's gonna be about the people's like going to places and talking to the people from that area um so yeah or is your battery dead uh which battery this one yes wow. do you need another one yeah and Sorry. the uh the way we're gonna do it we just decided was since premier one is our spiritual home and sometimes like you said my actual home when yuki kicks me out i the ground quakes there you go have the uh -oh. did you plug Mr. Ma and so we're gonna go ask the people who frequent Premier One to. Well, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, we're gonna ask them where are you from, and I think we should put each location on the dartboard, and like with a piece of tape, and we should throw a dart to see where we go. Yeah. Just to where <laughs> yeah. I'm not, no, I'm just trying to figure out what dropped off the map. There we go. Go back on it. What about um, that a little dart action in on it? Yeah. Everyone. Uh, I think we. Uh... <laughs> The clientele of Premier One <laughs> are not the. They've made, like I said, they've made some bad choices in life to get to that point, and um, they're hilarious. Do you remember the guy who called you Nomu Cruz for like six months? Yes, hours? that fucking guy. I'm not where going anywhere where he's from. It, it tells, I don't know, but yeah, we will ask though, because people are going to tell us about their hometowns. They're going to ask us, they're going to tell us about places they went on vacation once. I think that's amazing. I yep. think that's, uh, we asked the locals in Premier One, starting with Ken. The, yes, the Ken's owner, the, the owner, one. the proprietor. Where should we go? We're going to do a three-day trip somewhere in Japan and film it. Where should we go? And that's He's probably going to say Nakamura, which is one station. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, that's okay. We drive around, around a van, sit in traffic for eight hours. But um, it could be fun, though, right? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Let the people yeah, yeah. decide. Yeah, let the people decide. And My then, uh, only worry, you said about putting spots on the dartboard and then whichever dart it, you know. Yeah. We played darts last night. <laughs> I don't. I, I'd say we didn't. Our ratio, like our, our chance of actually hitting the dartboard, not that good. No, I think we had about a 50 50 chance of either hitting the board or it falling on the floor. Yeah. And I almost salvaged that game for you. You got second, Natsuki got first place. We were playing cutthroat. It was me, uh, Joey, Natsuki, and Ian. Yeah. And uh, what I had it. Well, you failed to say. Uh, sorry, okay, sorry, let's finish that bit. Go ahead. It's like you, you, you're saying it like you out of the goodness of your heart you tried to salvage me for 19 rounds <laughs> your first thing you said when you picked up your dice is how can I fuck over you literally for 19 until the final round when you realised <laughs> you were dead in the water I, know, I knew I was dead in the water <laughs> from the second round I already realised how bad I was but I decided that yeah. I, as, a, as a show of mercy as the final thrower and uh, you were like fuck off you will not help me and you didn't <laughs> why you made it worse I'd have rather lost by 50 than by 1 <laughs> which is what happened yeah. I threw the dart and I hit the double 20 and it was I had one last dart to throw yeah and we you were cricket which is not a normal darts game so yeah it's a special weird. darts game and there, there, there was a 20% chance of me destroying your most precious art if it was nearby as well. And I put all the shit art around the dartboard <laughs> in, the, in the office. You'll still manage to hit the good stuff. I framed the one you nearly destroyed, so it's temporarily <laughs> safe. <laughs> Until I did that day on accident. Did you put that? It's kind of near the dartboard. Yeah, it's, it's like got glass be, casing yeah, now. It's, like that's going to stop me. <laughs> and I, um, I hit the double 20, which brought... Ian within one was point. Fox. Oh, a little kid's name. I know Fox. Sorry. And um, and then I promptly missed it by like two pips up to the left. It was like a five. But anyway, this feels like riding the back of my parents' car while listening to my mom and dad talk the whole way. Just well, that doesn't sound about. like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've really threatened to turn the car around four times. Uh, yeah, the camera's been off. So here's the the thing: is everyone's like everyone looks sleepy and tired in the back. Well, they are all asleep. <laughs> 
this is why I demanded to be in the front though, because it would just be the same thing. So here's kind of the, with the glitz and the glamour of, of journey across Japan, the veneer's been pulled back and you're looking behind the curtain. What you really see is that they put a lot of effort into getting certain segments of the show done and then they have to travel a considerable distance often to set up the next thing and then we got to summon that kind of enthusiasm and excitement because it is cool and it is fun but like yeah it's exhausting dude well also I would say we've been across all of the journey cross bands we've been fairly lucky with uh, just things not being cancelled things generally going to win but they don't all go to plan like yeah. the time I crashed the van that wasn't planned <laughs> and um, I smashed the back window in one of these trucks and uh, so we had to get a new truck mm. a new van sorry take the old one to it was the most stressful 12 hours of my life this all happened between 7pm uh, and 7am I had to get a new van take the old one somewhere for it to get repaired and, and, and tell my company we have to pay lots of money and, <laughs> Uh, and but the thing is though so what you might not realise we realise is for the next like few few days we have hotels booked we have places we need to be like we want things booked and, you know and that can't change so when things do go wrong you have to really kind of plan how you can get around them and maybe you film things in different order and stuff like that but I remember on That's the first journey too. across Japan there were a few things there's a bike breaking which obviously wasn't planned and you have to act very quickly to get things in place so, that, so it can continue but then um, I would have to drive 300 kilometers back on myself one evening <laughs> and pick up another van and go back and things like that but you know it can be a bit hectic but it all kind of comes together in the end um, I feel bad because I feel like they absolutely need a curtain for the back. Everyone look uncomfortable trying to avoid the camera. Do you think that's the case? I think that's how they look normally. But they're just sleeping. They're just, I mean, here I can, here's a curtain. We can just put this thing. There's your privacy curtain. How do you like that? <laughs> I think they're all just asleep because it's two and a half hours of nothing. And uh, the main thing is like, we, I, I, actually, this sounds really bad, but I enjoy these, these stupid little, I enjoy these stupid little IRL streams that we do on the van, just like this chit chat. We're also trying to keep our voice down so we don't wake up everybody. I'm just trying not to get us killed. <laughs> Mainly that. Cam instead, sure. It's an insult to us now, I feel, I'm, but... I would vote for the same. <laughs> there you go. Uh, not that they were leaning to the side to avoid being streamed. streamed. I would. These guys are all camera familiar with it. They're not avoiding it. They're just sleeping. Just enjoy... Well, there's the arrows you can tell people about. Yeah, you know, I, I, I taught a, uh, Ian this just a few minutes ago. See these arrows that are hovering above the road? Those are for when the snow is so high that it covers the edges that you you know <laughs> where the edge of the road is. Well done, you got there in the end. I told you like literally three minutes ago and you forgot already. I, well, I don't remember, yeah. Just joined, what did you guys do today? Well, today we've, um, Natsuki and Chris got to go on a steam train where they took about an hour, hour and a half journey across eastern Hokkaido on a strain that... Whoops. We appreciate that you've shown the behind the scenes. Contact us viewers you are human. You all deserve to rest and to have fun too. <laughs> you and I? Um, yes. What did we do today? Went to... I got a video of... Peter running like some kind of silent era movie villain. <laughs> and it's brilliant. It's the greatest thing I've ever captured. That's on the peak memes on the Discord. Oh, it's already been uploaded? Uh, yeah, I put it there. Fantastic. You know what's hilarious? Uh, as soon as I... How long has this camera been facing for? About 90 seconds? Yeah. I got about six messages saying... The are ground we, quakes. That? That's, are Chris and Joey here? Yes. <laughs> uh, did they... Like, people are just coming in wondering, like... Uh, you know. But yeah... 
I don't always run like that. I, I do when I was in the... You saw when I was a Power Ranger for NHK School of Japan. It was a similar... It's the leggings. It's the leggings, I think. Once it's I have the, the tights on, it just transforms it's me. It's the common thread here. Yeah. It's an embarrassing thing. Um, it's, it's an embarrassing thing, but yeah. I will be doing another Cool Japan in February. It's very rare that they contact me. I guess I'm really wrong. Yeah. Do you know what the topic is yet? Yeah. I can't sh disclose that. Okay. Is it on a, on a scale of one to ten, how big wise? What do you rate it? A nine. Oh. Uh, because this is a. I can tell you this. It's a special. Is it better than the one you did on fucking soup or whatever? Well, I never fucked the soup. With soap? Oh, well, soup? Well, soup. Well, you did something on something. I, I did a lot. I did one that was tea. And the tea one was particularly brutal because they took me to a, uh, you know that that healthy tea that's like six dollars. It's like two fifty, and it's super bitter, but it helps you with fat, fat loss. I went to like the factory that made it in our art research and developed it for like ten years. Yeah. And they were like, "Oh, please try this tea," and I was like, "Thank you." And I I took a swig and I spat it out. It was so bad. And they were like. Oh, that was our first try. And I was like, you still keep this fat? And I was like, this is awful. This is like some, some, some they got some barrel out back that's been there for 40 years. And yeah. scooped you a label of it. Yeah, dude, it was unbelievably terrible. And then they, they said that they took me to like this kind of Resident Evil biohazard looking like facility room but they had yeah. like three rooms that had locked doors yeah. and they got like three different fat people yeah. and they gave one guy like the special tea one guy like regular tea and then they just like one guy just get fatter just, <laughs> like eat, eat normally and then uh, they monitored them over like you know 60 days or something yeah. and uh, eventually the, the, the guy with the good tea like lost the most kilos yeah he pretty performance every time he drank it yeah <laughs> um I saw one, you did one on sandwiches, I think. Yeah, the British girl, I've never seen someone try to eat a sandwich so poorly in my life. Yeah, that, until I videoed you today, that was my favorite video of the person representing the UK trying to eat a sandwich. I've never, what the fucking, you have sandwiches there, you invented the damn thing. She turned it like eight different directions and then like bit it down the top. It was like a sociopath. It was like... It was like Their hands when were like shaking. King Kong decides how he wants to rip someone's <laughs> head off. It's like <laughs> holding it. It's holding it up. Um, and you did one on you know, the zoo or something? Yeah, that was a tough one, yeah. Yeah, well, that couldn't be good. Uh, well, it was still fun though. Like, we got to learn about. Japan had some of the unique animals, and of course, there was a famous panda exhibit that China had given them. Right. Yeah, that was cool, but it was like not as exciting. Um. What was the, the mystical power eggs of Tokyo Station, my very first episode, where I broke my foot on the way there? <laughs> I was, was my toes, I should be honest, but like, I was so nervous about being late to Cool Japan that I was charging up the stairs, and uh, when my foot landed, somebody pushed me in the back because it was rush hour, and they can't see this, but my foot pressed up against one of the stairs, and my toes snapped back on the top of my foot. So I broke my big toe and my, my second toe, you still made it to the show? I, I, and I went out and I was so panicked and sweaty, I went the wrong way. Yeah. And in that episode, I was really nervous about looking cool and, you know, feeling right. I borrowed my friend Earl. He had this awesome jacket. And I thought, damn, that's a sick jacket. I didn't know, like, you know, if you're strong and muscular and good shape, the jackets look cool. But if you're, like, dopey and pear-shaped, the jacket just looked like I was wearing, like, a vest that didn't fit me. It was, I couldn't even zip it up. And I was yeah. like, so I wore that. And I... So you, you turn up, sweating, limping, sweating, limping crying, late, a crying a little bit. Crying a little bit. We had two full days of shooting. And, and they, they didn't even... They still Well, they wouldn't. They were like, oh, God, you're already here. We'll make you do it all. And so we had four locations that day. And one of them was at Tokyo Station. You can go to, like, the little kiosk of, like, the New Days or whatever, the 7-Eleven pop-ups. And they sell just a hard-boiled egg and a little net. It's the, and they said that they have the mystical healing powers... Did it, did it heal your broken foot? I think it gave me diarrhea, honestly, and then I felt sick, but yeah. It's like when I wear thick frame nerd glasses that are cool, I just end up looking like a girl version of Mr. Six. I don't know who that is, but I sympathize with you looking silly. Um, and they immediately said, nobody knows who that is, so. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, filming Journey Across Japan. This is the behind the scenes, it is, but there's also a road. Maybe I should change the uh, 
usually actors are told to break a leg, but for smaller roles, breaking a toe is acceptable too. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the case. How many have you done? Not toes. Toes? Oh. No, uh, NHK. About 75 or 80. Episodes? Yeah. Jesus. It's been over eight or nine years now. I had a streak going where I was on the New Year's special until this year. They cut me loose. They, they, Whoops. They went for the other American, Heather. Uh, they did. I wonder, does Pete also has this tendency of self-deprecation even when he was a teacher to make the students feel more comfortable? Yes. <laughs> I think that self-deprecate... I know that some people say, like, you should believe in yourself. And then after talking to Ian for, like, ten minutes, I think, no, I'm fine. I was I was right when I was self-deprecating. <laughs> I feel like your audience feel like I genuinely... Well, I do take the piss out of you, but, but I feel like off-camera... Why am I you, boisterous? You give it to me more than you do on, on camera. I'm the bad guy off camera. I, I try to give it to you on camera, but you always one-up me with the better one. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I'll tell you what we do need to do. What's that? Going back to the Van Gang idea. Yeah. We don't go to Premier One every time. Okay. To ask someone for their... Occasionally we've got to mix it up with our other favourite bar. Uh, the Full Monty. Exactly. Yeah. Because if people want to meet the master of... Not self-deprecation, but making other people feel like shit. Yeah. <laughs> the owner of that bar makes us both want to cry. <laughs> he, he is, man, so. he, but see, here's what I think. But we love it. He's great. Of course, he's my favorite. But I, I think Clive would be unwilling to host us. Yeah. I think it's an experience that you got to be there for. Yeah. We can only lead them to water. We can't make them well, drink Last time it. we were there, we saw him kick someone out. And uh, I feel that would be... Uh, it might be me next time, for yeah, real. Even like, without a camera, it might just it might push our luck too far. Yeah, it's, uh, it would be, I think, yeah, either we ask the people at Premier One, maybe initially we get some ideas, when they all yeah. say, when they're all incoherent, we'll be like, maybe this is a bad idea. Um, but let's see, what are some of the other places that we... It's going to be like a walk-up trip again. A what now? It's going to be like a way of... Yeah, I'm going to do that whole thing again, yeah. He'll say, like, he'll mispronounce ABC. We'll be like, we'll just... Also, do uh, I think you? We could go to like any prefecture and choose a city, and we do a little bit of research. Maybe it's like a, a what is it called? A um, snack bar. Have yeah. the mamasan kind of teach us. The, the, I heard those are very, you know, they're very usually very wise and knowledgeable, and good hosts. Snack bars are awesome. Yeah, so there's that. So my kind of my my friend's mom runs a snack bar. And uh, hold on, things. my friend's mum runs snake, but we can go there for the first one. There you go. That'd be sick. Kagoshima, first trip. Yeah, hey, that's far too. Um, we can get some potato shochu. Do people know what a snack bar is? That's a very Japanese thing. Yeah, snack bar. confusion about what snack bars are. Why don't you lay it down for them? Well, hold on, I just want to see if it's safe to overtake this truck. And it is. Okay, so a snack bar. Uh, you often see in a lot of little Japanese towns uh, a building with like several little bars in. And the Premier One is in one of these buildings. Yes, it's yes. Not, it's not a snack itself, but they'll often be called snack or something like snack bar, snack bar flavor or snack yeah. bar blossom or something like that. And uh, just to make it clear, these are not what they call kebakura, which is where you go and pay to chat um, with a, a girl or so anything like that. Snack bars are um, a lot of like they're almost exclusively, but not always, owned by women. Oh, a woman, like kind of an old woman. And it's cool because it's generally not a menu. That they have. Yeah. And you can go there, and you can turn up, and you can be like, okay, oh, can I have the? Uh, can you make spaghetti bolognese, or can you make like a, a omelette, om, om, omelette rice, or something like that? And they'll just kind of, you know, it's like kind of going home. Yeah, almost. it's like visiting a house. And um, the 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 people who, in my experience, who go there are often really interesting. It's cool to talk to people. They always have karaoke at these things. Yeah. Like in the wide open, not private booths, like you you sing in a in a bar and. They're just always really, really good fun. Now, and to be fair, though, the yeah. snack bars are usually quite small. About eight people can sit They're small, there. and you normally, on top of like the drinks, you pay like a, a table charge. Right. Or, like a, an hour charge. But it's the best way I can describe it is 
it, you're always guaranteed a good night out at, um, in my experience my uh, some of my Japanese friends really really like going to them and yeah you like I said my mum my, my friend Daisuke his mum uh, when her husband passed away she just wanted to start her own business she opened a snack bar and mm. she goes there she loves it she's in her like 70s now she she still runs it she entertains people every day she'll sing but, karaoke with you if you want to sing she'll, she'll yeah it's just but really, I feel really really like fun. the snack bar generation like it, I don't understand like it must have been when they first opened everyone was like in their 20s or 30s these girls or yeah, women. yeah yeah and a lot of them still like so Daisuke's mum I think his dad passed away when he was young so she's had it for at least 30 years now so do they have new snack bars with new young entrepreneurs or did it just die good, with that that's generation that's a very good question because you, you think of them now as like all, this generally snack bars are always I, I couldn't tell you a, like a new one that I've seen they're always really that's what I'm saying yeah they're like the, the they bubble look, era yeah look like from the early 90s 80s that's that's wild. I, I wonder if there's like a, a boom of like new entrepreneurs having snack bars snack who are like I guess in a way though. Do you remember we went to a bar once called Skinawagama? Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. Megumi-san, she's the host, and that's kind of a snack bar vibe, but it's more of a craft beer the other winery. Thing is, well, snack bars you, you you can't really see in them. They can be a bit daunting because you, you don't know when you open the door, you don't know really what to expect. They're always like. They're always from the outside. You can't really see in. Yeah, you're right. And uh, and you go in, and it, you just feel like a little private kind of members. But I don't know. They're they're just. Uh, Maybe yeah. we should open a snack bar. We're I old think, enough. I think when you find a good one, um, it's a place you'd want to visit often because you generally become friends with the the, the owner and uh, yeah, yeah. You, know, you just feel very comfortable Ooh. there. I mean, Premier One is almost a fucking snack bar. It really I is. It's very very close. Because I, I order things and I'll be like, can I have the uh, rum? He's like, oh, no. How about curry? And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, Ken, can I play Street Fighter 2 on the TV? And yeah. Like, yeah. Don't worry. People are watching sports. Remember yes. on your birthday when I held court and I beat everybody? Yes. I nearly lost that one guy who hadn't drank, but then I, I clutched up and won Street Fighter. Um, so, yeah. this In case some people are kind of curious, I don't see a lot of houses. Where are we? We are getting further and further away from humanity. I'm surprised the stream is as strong as it's doing because we are traveling as far east as you can go. And it's it's the dead zone out here. But at least we have company. <laughs> so if this was just you today, mm-hmm. everyone else would be sleeping as you're just driving a car full of passed out people. Yep. <laughs> is that a normal thing? Well, on days like today, some days we'll be in like a city and won't even get in the car. We'll have like four or five things to do in the city. Mm. But some days I just a hell of a lot of driving. And today's one of those days. Damn. Jump the van over any bears you might see. Oh yeah, it's right, like the video game that Code Stars made. Oh yeah, we could just jump over them. We need more root beer, I think's the problem. We're not very hyped right now. They're lacking root beers. What can I say? We're suckers for a road trip. Um, I think it, you guys can check out the Cyclothon band game right there, made by Code Stars. No jinx, chat clueless. Yeah, I know. But I did teach chat today at the uh, the convenience store about your little water hack. 112 yen for the big boy, 170 for the yeah, small yeah, one. It's cheaper. It's considerably cheaper to get the big one. But the big one's kind of up, you know, a giant jug of water. That's good, isn't it? That's good. That's. I think that's, what's that, 10 liters? You should be drinking that daily, at least. No way. Yes. There was like a period of my life where I had zero water for like eight years. I think I'm in that right now. About like <laughs> three Diet Cokes and uh, two uh, coffees. How do you think that you that literally yeah. shaved life off yeah. of our... seriously, you have to... Years off our life? I've been trying to get... Uh, on this trip, I, I've not done it well, but I... Yeah, you, you need to... Uh, uh, oh, what was that? Is that a snack bar? Oh, oh. <laughs> That's okay, it's facing either way. <laughs> well, nobody saw that. Luckily, I did, though. I'll judge you forever. Unfortunately, they did into the windscreen of the car behind It makes me so mad that you catch all my jeggings rides. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> and then you just go and pull that stunt. <laughs> got another one. We got another one. Oh dear! And you got us all cold, man. Yeah, nobody got to see it. Nothing happened. 
We are heading to the easternmost point in Japan, Cape No No Paso or something. <laughs> um, when we do the Bangang, can you introduce what's and I like, talk about them, like you know something about zero research? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, and we'll see. Have a little checklist of how I close. I do research. It's not going to make a difference. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'd be more fun if I say like the intro. I said today we're going to this place, home of the. And then you have like a little visual thing that's like scratching these out and you sort of correct everything I say. Um, oh, well, we got a big message. Actually, the TTS is okay because I put it up near the camera, but I'll read it anyway. Um, and I just want to let you know that there's been a, <laughs> a coup in Suganda. I'm typing this from an undisclosed location. Apologies for delay in sending funds for your plugging of our products, but the country has very quickly become unstable. The new self-fashioned head of a state, a Welshman named Nathan, appears to have taken control of our website. I wish you the best on your journey. I hope to be back again. Well, there you have it. Please keep Suganda in your thoughts, and remember when you need a nice salty blast, Sugandi's nuts. Uh, that's our sponsor. I <laughs> I can't believe somebody bought the website, Sugan SugandaNuts.com. And it just links to my stream and all of our blogs and like well, ambassadors. They've, they've missed the trick. Because I'm pretty sure that Tanzania URL is TZ on the end. Yeah. So you could have stuck on the D's nuts. No dot com sullying it up. What? Do you see what I mean? Ah. I might be wrong. TZ might be a different one, but. Ah, so you're saying like they could use the domain of a country. Well, that's what I did. With uh, Heartedly. Uh, well, you for somehow my support project. the Libyans in like their overthrow or something, but. I I was swayed to their cause. <laughs> Just so you have a flashy website. But dot .ly is the Libyan uh, government's domain. I think that's how they make up a lot of their GDP, to be honest with you. But uh, my web, I've got a website and it's whatever dot .ly. It, dot com works too, but it's yeah. kind of cool though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but, so it'd so be... You could suck on... No, what? It, it would be Sugandi's... It would be... N-U. Su, yeah. Sugandi's N-U dot T-Z. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon someone's buying that right now as we speak. Although, country domains can be a pretty big penny. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I had a network error with Twitch earlier, so there was no TTS or anything. Let me see if it's back online. Uh, hey, we are. Uh, thank you very much, Simsagog A, for tossing out your Prime Arena cappuccino 13 minutes ago. And apologies for not accepting it or acknowledging it. Um, how long do we still have? Are we there yet, Daddy? Well, I'll tell you what, I but we'll get there. When do we fucking get there? No, I think we're about halfway, sadly, right? Uh, a bit better than halfway. A bit better than halfway. This is the. You you guys wanted to see behind the scenes? Congratulations, this is behind the goddamn scenes. Do you guys like the cam right here that shows you the the world of Hokkaido? Uh, no, we started the stream off um, doing some kind of shootings. Kinda. <laughs> I wish I had a towel to mop this. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? If you had some sort of a cloth to clean the windows. I won't... You can use... Well, this is something we picked up off the ground. The Maidstone United. No, that's Dave's gift to me. <coughs> some kind of shootings. This is an America... Pete, I meant... Uh, okay. This morning we, we filmed... Well, we didn't... We, we filmed on the cameras the challenge, and Joey lost, surprisingly. And then we went to the actual event, which was a steam train, but we only could get two tickets, and it wasn't because we we didn't want six. The problem was they literally only had two tickets because this train only runs... Well, we wanted five. Five. Well, we wanted four. Four. I wasn't allowed to. Yeah. You were... um, so the, the original plan was this, this train only runs for two months of the year, I've been told, and it... It only runs once a day, so it's a very exclusive steam train that kind of does this charming little swing across Hokkaido. But um, we only got two tickets. We had to create a challenge that the winner would get the ticket to go with Chris, and that ended up being Natsuki. So the four of us kind of hung out on the stream. You know, we didn't want to bother anybody, so it's mainly just Ian and I talking. With you know, Joey had some cool stuff, and Paul had some things he showed up. Then we did some location shooting where we got to see the train pass. And 
and you get to see Paul fly the, the drone and setting up Joey's shots and stuff. Sugan, wait, Sugan the Nuts, or the TZ, is available for 5,600 uh, yen. Cheated. That's easy. That's, a, that's a bargain. I think it should be a coup. Uh, if, if Nathan's in control of that one, so I should get the Sugan the Nuts. Yeah, yeah, there should be a battle in which one gets more traffic. I think Nathan will take that one. I guess that $56. Have you seen his oh, channel? Hang on. Oh, hello. I'm not here about what I've said about it. Totally. I think that was a great joke. Pete turned the camera around. Let me see here. It's, yeah, I know it's really loud, well, the heater. Yeah, it's temporary, so I can see where we're going. That's my view. <laughs> There's the here. by the government of the Gravon, trying to muscle in on the nuts market with an inferior product. No, yeah, that's... Not teaser. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, no, I think that they're just saying, like, you know, Nathan, he's always just kind of stealing our, our sponsors. But he's probably pretty much... He's a better host than I am. Amy and Echo says nice hats. I'm not allowed to wear mine today, You're, Amy, I but didn't thank you him. so much. I was about... I was going to send Amy and uh, Retro designs. Yeah. Up. Chris, um, because he was back in the UK, and got their very kind gifts and gave them to us yesterday. And Pete, so I'm not allowed to wear it today. Yeah, I, uh, 
I, the thing was, is um, we decided that if, I felt if Ian and I wore the same hat, one, we'd be just, it would be constantly brought up that we're doing the same joke or some sort of same hat. Yeah. But mainly, I just wanted to claim its coolness first and very say cool. thank you very much for the amazing hats. It's it's absolutely charming. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. Love it. It's um, it's also very very elastic, which is good yeah. when you have four heads like ours. <laughs> yes, that's uh, true. What's your favorite types of video games to play, Ian? So. I don't know like types, but I can tell you over the last like three years I've played quite a lot of games. I can tell you my top three. Hollow Knight. Okay. Um, Breath of the Wild was a bit before. Oh, Disco Elysium. And you know my favourite game. Why are you grinning? Something, something has tickled you. Uh, I like Subnautica. Oh, I but hate I, that game. But I don't particularly know if I like survival games or just that one. But I'm about to play a game called Chorus, which yeah. is like a space flying one. Um, it looks very good. Disco okay. Elysium is pretty sick. I should play that one. You should, but I agree. Well, it's just, they try to make it so it's easy, like good to stream, right? Because your audience can directly... There's a mode where your audience can actually vote on choices. Yeah. But it's just so long. It's a lot of dialogue. And you refuse to let any talented actor read anything in a game, and you butcher them by reading your, by doing the voice acting yourself. So, no, nah, you're not bad. No, <laughs> no, it's true. I can't believe you, you, Dominic. Armato. I know, I know, I know. The, the going against Monkey Island voice acting is sacrilegious, but. You know, here's the thing. I, you know why I do it is like if people wanted the experience, they they get nothing unique from watching me try to figure out every item that goes into a locked door. I uh, one thing I did like which, uh, when you played Curse of Monkey Island was that you do a voice for someone, yeah, and then you could switch to see what they actually the voice actor sound like, yeah, and, and how close you got it to it. And that sometimes was often, I felt sometimes you did well. Oh, and sometimes I felt my well, was an improvement. Yeah, Absolutely like not. I think Stan Absolutely was an improvement. Uh, I think we sounded pretty similar, actually, but... If I give you the stand music, could you give me a bit of stand? Well, wait, I think I can just do it. He goes... Hi, welcome to Monkey Island. My name is Stan, and I got a book okay, to sell you. Good. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. We're going on Journey Across Japan 5. Let can me tell you about all the cool things we're going to do today. Can you do a No, you, only if I hear it first. Yeah. Guy Rush 3 Nope. Nah, it needs to be deeper. Bit deeper, but yeah. Yeah, but like, I need to get into that one. My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a mighty pirate. Not bad. He's a bit higher than I am. I'm used to Dominic. Yeah, I think that's one, still one, close, one, two, though. Out of I still don't know what Murray sounds like, unfortunately, but like... Wow! Kudu Jerky Pretzels! You reference that every time it's about It's my Monkey favorite Island. Monkey Island quote. It's the worst one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The that, ground that, quakes! Oh, turn that down just a touch. Oh, shit, this is on the heater. This is melting. Ah, uh, well. Some of us lost other particles of things. I, I think that, like, yeah, I'd love to hear a Mr. Regular impression. Who's Mr. Regular? Uh, but yeah, Dominic Armado's the goat. I feel bad about that because when you mess with something so good or and so informative as our youth, could you, you just as a guest? You probably would. I, you reckon? You know what? I think I could. He'd be the old guest. I saw him guest on another person's channel. Yeah. I don't know I if they're you, previous. You, you told yeah. Me, yeah and there was. I'm not bragging or anything, but that that person had you know like 100, 150 people, and I think that it, they didn't seem to know each other. Based, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying it seemed like she reached out to him for an interview. Um, he's lowly streamers. Like, oh uh, no, like that's bigger. not what I mean. That's not what I mean. It's the, it's the bigger. No, I know what you mean, but uh, what you're saying is. I can seems, try. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, and, uh, he helps out people. And helps out people. Mm. We're coming into a Hamlet. I have a badge that says, "Ask me about Grim Fandango." You <laughs> legend. <laughs> please bring that to Premier Con and make a copy of it. That means just give me yours, please. No, don't. You and I, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Is there anything that you have from Monkey Island? It's like a memorabilia. Like remember the uh, the one in Monkey Island too? Like the the OP. Maybe in Magellan 1, the inside the box, there was like a little pirate spinner. Oh, the dial a pirate? Dial a pirate. Like they make some mojo for Monkey Island 2. Yeah. Look at that, that's really hard to think. Um, yeah, uh, I, no, there was, there's not really any Monkey Island memorabilia, unless you go on like... Um, 
Amazon or Rakuten or something. No, like Etsy. Etsy, yeah, you can stuff. make it all there. Uh, and there's a lot of good stuff on there, but no, I don't, I don't have anything, I don't think. Let's see how much you, somebody said like, uh, I'm gonna give you some Shakespeare, and you're gonna... You, you, I don't know nothing about Shakespeare. You don't know, Shakespeare. if I said to be or not to be. Of course, that one, because everyone knows that Do you know one. the next line? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind, Suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or that's it. They got it. Perfect. No, but uh, um. see, I, I, I would like to, I would like to read more Shakespeare at my own pace. But at school, <laughs> you get it shoved down your throat, and you immediately hate it. Yeah, like, yeah, I Kill get it. Kill a mockingbird's a fantastic. Book. That's and a great I, one. When I reread it in later life, I loved it. But at school, it's just you, you, you don't enjoy it because. Let's see how close we I'm are. I'm reading to... a good book at the moment. I was telling Chris about it yesterday. <laughs> oh no, I got hit by a tactical bomb. <laughs> That's whoever, let me see who made that, because uh, that is the Ninja Mobsters. That is very, very good. That was fantastic. I think that's, I think we got to put that one on. Let me. <laughs> Rip Bozo. If only we could... Ninja Mobster, is there any way you can make it full screen or not like the way we did it? That I is mean, a, it's recorded on a phone, it's zoomed in, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough for them to do. Yeah, I just wanna, I think that's as good as it can. I just wanna crop out the black part so I can post the video online or something. Gone too soon, yep. Full, full screen, sorry, not full screen. Just to confirm, that at no point was that like acted or, or do a funny run, that was how Chris <laughs> Pete runs. <laughs> it's these beautiful. Sorry, I got points things off camera, but you can't see through that. I can't see anything that you see because you got the. I, I can see this. You have the. Okay, we'll look to your left. It was, okay, let me look to your left. Oh, look really good. Oh wow! Let me keep my hat on. Don't want to lose that. Wow, that's beautiful. Did you film it horizontally or vertically? You were tired. How's the journey doing? Well, if you're just tuning in, uh, it's going as expected. We Here's just... the money. Oh my gosh. Hey, Peter, greetings from the Rogue Roach. It's been a while. Glad to see you've been rocking it. Much love. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, it's been, it's, it's been a. This we knew this was going to be the hardest day to stream because it's light on action, heavy on driving, right? And, you know, that's cool, but we're just, we're trying to make the best of it. I think once we get to the new place, you guys, it, it'll be worth it to see the Eastern Milk Point together. And we can do a couple of jokes, and we'll give you to Uncle Ian, and we can do like a, uh, we can do like a little cyclothon re revisit where I can shout to my full voice because no one's near us. Yeah. We'll pop from, we're filming a video there. <laughs> well, yes, that part. And welcome back. I really appreciate the five bucks, man. I guess all the fatigue buildup. Well, actually, you'd be surprised. It's just, it's been go, go, go since we got here. Our flight out two days ago was what, eight? Uh, 8.25, yeah. So we had to be there at seven in a, at a faraway airport. We all got there on time. Surprisingly, I think it's because Paul picked me up, but this is the, this is, how far are we? Damn, we are, we are nearing the we furthest are, east. We are we're... one kilometer away from a city called Nemuro. You want to check that M N E M U R O, uh, and it's famous for sushi. Oh, really? I mean, apparently, it is on the coast. Yeah, apparently sushi run is really good. My friend was telling me that uh, there's a famous sushi chain that started here, but they now have a, a restaurant or two in Tokyo, in Ginza. Sushi's on, mate? No. Oh. That's everywhere. No, it's called Nemuro Hanamaru. Nemuro Hanamaru. 
Udon place. There you go, mate. In um, this is just the, this is the fun of it, though. It's just just chilling with Ian. Well, it's not the fun of it, but <laughs> making the best of it. And um, hopefully, when we get there, we can ask Chris some some behind the scenes questions about his approach to filming or why he wanted to choose this place. Anything is the next place we do have an hour. Oh, so it's after that. I mean, to get to get everything done. So it will be all hands on deck. Do you have a favorite sushi, mate? Me? Yeah. Type of sushi? Yeah. Or restaurant? Um, uh, type of sushi? Uh, Hamatsu? No. Hum- I forgot the name of it. <laughs> <Clearly not>. <laughs> <laughs> Ian can't afford sushi. He gets what I get, which is usually um, what? What is our go-to food? We always eat junkadel. If we had a choice between sushi and junkadelic, well, that's an easy one. I live very close to uh, the uh, Honten, like the, the the main shop of a very good sushi chain. Do you really? Know, do you know Midori? Midori sushi. No, is it good? It's very good. They have uh, in Mark City and Shibuya. It's been there for ages. Mm-hmm. A few other ones. Um, but yeah, it's Midori sushi is really good. Wow. Oh, yeah, well, well, well. Aren't you just always enjoying the finest of the flavors? Have you ever been to another country besides Japan? Of course we have not. We are played a bare naked ladies at seven o'clock this morning at full volume in our bedroom. Uh, well, I felt like it's been one week since you looked at me. I thought that okay. First of all, I chose Jurassic Five on a mixed playlist, which is a mixed playlist on YouTube. It's like the ones where they feel like we'll curate what you want to hear, and it's a coherent like genre. They did J5, it's golden, and then bare naked ladies one week. There's zero. Look at that giant finger pointing. They should give you the middle finger. And I, I didn't even I thought that was a sea dog for a minute, but it says Ogawa. That was cool. Uh, Sailor Moon has got the boom anime babes. They make you think the wrong thing. Yep, that's right. They do have the boom anime babes. Remember the rule. All right, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, that was a random finger. Didn't expect the B&L. Bare Naked Ladies, what a throwback. Well, Ian and I are of a certain era, so most people don't, wouldn't throw them back. <laughs> to be fair, you did run out of the bathroom and turn it, I did. it immediately. <laughs> uh, that's true. Like it's, I was like, what the fuck is that? Yakitori coming up on the right. Look at that slot laboratory. Early bird. I would die there. Like, literally, if I lived in this town, I would be there every day. That was the big problem when I lived in Niigata. I I went to Pachinko way too much. I've never played Pachinko. So. I love it. It's good. It's wonderful. Is it, do you have to get the balls in, like, different slots? Is it, like, yeah, pim, it's like, pim, like, not pimple, like, you know, the up, you know, the up. It's like, you know, uh... those little machines with, like, the nails where the yeah, ball like can that, land. It's like that, it's like that. Yeah, it's like It's like, if you ever saw The Price is Right... It's like Plinko, where you drop the thing and it, okay. a little slider goes across all these. Do people win? Is it rare? I to win. win. I, it is rarer to win, but usually the, the trick about Pachinko it keeps you in. First, you got to get the perfect pinball shot because you control the power that the ball flies out, right? Okay. Um, and then the other thing was you once you get it in the hole, it starts to spin. Right? And you have to get it in this really tiny hole. It's like an inch wide. It's very... So it's a game of skill. Well, Somewhat. yes. It's not completely luck. It, you do have to... But normally when you get the ball in the right general area, yeah. you slam a coin in there because the, the little twister knob is... is it's, it's oh, since, so you put money in twice. Once to launch the ball and once no, to... No. So you, you have the machine. I should turn the camera back on. Like this. Uh. So the pachinko machine here... It's like pinball in that you you fire the balls out, and when you yeah. put in money, it gives you like X amount of balls, yeah. okay? And then you, you have this knob that you turn, and if you go full to the right, the ball will just flip to the other side. It won't even go a chance to get in. Okay. And then if you go too little, the ball will just fall in the middle with no, no slot to fall in. Okay. But if you get it just right, it'll fall into like a little area that you then get to start spinning. Oh, so it's, it's, it's more than one area where you have to... Right. And then after you get... But it's activated by the warmth of your hand. 
Yeah. So once you get the knob on the exact place that you want it to be, you so I'm jam a coin. It's a very confusing bit. Okay. Right, but yeah, keep talking. You, you jam a coin in there so that you can let go of it and drink an alcohol or a coffee or whatever yeah. and not have to worry about getting your hand tired. Okay. So once it gets into the hole though, you get a, and if you get too many balls in a row, it, it'll cap you out. You only can get four, up to four spins at a time. And so the thing starts spinning. And the big thing about pachinko that they get you on is this thing called reach. And so very regularly, you'll get like two numbers on the left and on the right that match. And then it'll do like a highly cinematic, very engaging, very ADHD, very predatory kind of mini game. In about 300 meters, mm -hmm. right turn only lane and left turn only lane ahead. Drive carefully. Well, that doesn't make sense. It ends like you go this way, but uh, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> and then once you get the crack pipe of that is pachinko firmly lit, mm. it you you get so close but, to winning, and then you have this button in the middle. Yeah. And you'll do all these action scenes, and your guy will be kicking ass, and he'll say, "Push the button now." So it's like a video display as well. Yeah, it's a really nice graphics and stuff. And, and some are themed, like different. Oh, they're, not, they're all themed. Some will be like, under island adventure. And you'll see like a girl in a bikini, it's like an anime, and she's trying to connect to crabs. And but if they're all she, like a game of skill? Well, they're, it's uh, skill is a very relative term. There's no skill. Could you do the exact same thing, exact same thing to the, to the and get different results? Yes, we okay. would be sitting next to each other and getting the same amount of spins. And Do people would, like buy them for their home to practice? Certainly not, because the, there's you know, no practice to it. Oh, okay. The choosing of the machine is where a real discerning eye is necessary. Okay. You have to feel which one's about to hit set. Oh, I think it's probably a good thing that I've never played it before because I'd almost <laughs> certainly lose all my money. And, and, uh, Maybe I'll take an IRL stream there one day and we'll do it together. Although, I, the only... They can't, I can't imagine they allow cameras in there. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just tell them and say, uh, it's, it's a therapy dog or something. <laughs> Can I dress it up like Koopa on my shoulder? Um, the problem is, is that it's so fucking loud in there. Oh, yeah. It's, I've never been in one, but they're deafening when you're walking past it, one. If the somebody shit, leaves so one, there's like... Wah, 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 yeah, wah, wah, wah. when the doors fly open and you're walking past one, it's deafening. And, and it's I, a cloud of tobacco. Yes, out that's the other thing. Is I think I played for about 30 minutes and I got stage 4 cancer. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, okay. Um... Thanks for the stream, man, and time to give uh, sleep for me. Love, sorry, yeah, sorry I didn't get to see the, the big ending, man. And apologies that we didn't wake up the boys for a bit more of engaging stuff, but you know, they're working. Where is the, uh, where the background? And then, the thing that is awesome, though, is when you hit, you start like a brand new mini game, and you, you turn your thing all the way to the right, and then like the right has its own separate winner zone, and it has that one inch hole, and it opens up these flippers to catch more balls. And you keep, you can get winning streaks as you keep reaching. So if you hit it once, you might win for the next three straight hours. Like you'll never not win. And you get, when you win, you get all these metal balls coming at you. And you have to. I feel like this conversation is going to get cut to pieces where you're talking about one inch holes <laughs> and reach around some metal balls coming at you. And you're doing like this with your hands. Yeah, I thought you. Uh, I, I, I don't even. It's really even. I can see this coming a mile away. It's fine, but like the you, you get these buckets of balls and you, you push a button. About balls and doing that. And you call this woman and she'll take the balls away and then she'll stack them up behind you. And by the end, you can have like literally like eight cartons of metal balls behind your chair, and everyone's like, "Fuck this guy, he won today." Then you take the balls to the counter and you exchange them for one of two things. One, you can do like a prize, like ah. I want to pay 50,000 balls for a PlayStation 5. And they'll be like, here you go. Or you exchange them for a very... They go to a tuck shop. They call it the TUC shop right around the corner, yeah. which isn't in the same building. No, because they're unrelated. Uh, it just so happens that you usually trade them for these coveted pieces of disgusting looking dirty plastics. And there happens to be a vendor right around the corner who's very interested in buying those plastics for a very high price usually the denominations listed on them so it's very very it's interesting good. yeah they do weigh the balls or they pour them into a giant bucket that starts counting them up and which is in and of itself a fun game 
Yeah, it, it's it's one of my favorite things to do, and I, I've played every Hoke Tono Ken machine. But I'll be honest, when I was broke as fuck, I would go like once every two or three months with like you know my eighty bucks that I had to spare for the month, and it would be devastating if you lost because you'd be like, damn it. You'd go home stinking. Did someone teach you to play, or did you just kind of figure it out no, yourself? No, I, I was taught the ropes by a legend. So it was Grandpa Mizuno. He uh, he took me under his wing on New Year's when I visited as a 20-year-old man, and he uh, he gave me a otoshi, like otoshi dama, the money for the New Year's, and he gave me like yon mon in, like 400 bucks. And he said, "Well, at first we're gonna gamble tonight on Jinchi Doni and Hanafuda." And he gave straight was, back to him. I did lose a little bit back. But then he said, you know, here's an extra two. Let's go to the um, pachinko thing on January 2nd and I'll teach you how to play. And I won so much money on my first time that I ended up being able to buy everyone a sushi dinner on January 3rd as like a special treat. Wow. In addition to still having tons of extra cash. So he taught me. He gave me... Yon Man, yeah, it was awesome. I I won such an insane amount. I think my in, I remember the game. It was called Kurohige, and it was about these these pirates that you know what I'm talking about, where you push the like knife in the bar barrel. A pop up pirate. Yeah, pop up pirate. And all my life, I wanted to find this one song that when you win, it played this kind of power ballad of like the most incredibly pachinko-y piratey song ever. And it took me about 17 years to finally find it. And I don't think we'll be EMCA because who doesn't like Kurohige? I'm gonna play this song, are you ready? And I'll, I'll let you guys hear it as well. This is called uh, Kurohige Palm. so sick. I think we're getting in there now. Imagine that playing in a pachinko parlor. It was way too dang and very high. The poor lads in the back are trying to get some shut-eye. Dude, we're there. It's fine. It's fine. Hello. This is Pete with your van wake-up call. Oh, boy. <laughs> we are there, right? Uh, about 20 minutes. Okay, whoops. That was like an old anime opening song. Oh yeah. Why did you leave me, father? You've asked that three times, and you know why I left you. DNA results show that I am not the father. There you go. It was a nice little song, right? Well, I heard it about 85 times in six hours. You said you looked for it for a long time. I couldn't find it. Where? What? I was what trying was to use... the extent of your looking? I would go on like, you did know... You just type in... I didn't know anything, but I didn't know song. that's what it was. Oh, okay. I went to Japan at 20, played this game where I won a uh, thousand like the bucks. the visuals for it was the pop-up pirate guy? Like yeah, that, but like. I never had seen that in America. So I would look up, I remember the guy saying, Pon, 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 kurohige, pon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I, I would search up like, come on, come on, come on, come on, kurohige. And I, I never could find it. Uh... Stick to Vampire Survivors instead of the Pachinko Parlors. No. That was by Shigeru Matsuzaki. Well done. I guess he might be a famous person I could... If I had just known that, I would look him up first. But, 
man, I love that song. And they said uh, in the lyrics, I looked it up. It's like Okinawa uh, Kuruhige, times it's a Kuruhige. And he's like Shima Shima shirts. It's like striped shirts. They have it. And I was like, that's great. Simple. Love it. Um, he does a lot of over the top stuff like that. Well, he's amazing. Search by lyrics, dude. This was back before there was like stuff where you could be like, you could hear a song and just put your phone up to it, and it'll be like, you know, Sure Shot by the Beastie Boys. Yeah, like, thank a, you. Alta Vista, that shit back in the day. Man, you would have to look up Google key terms. Pete, can you explain the Van Gang stream happening with Sea Dog? Bit confused. Uh, I don't know much about it. <laughs> My understanding is that it's going to be four days of non-stop action and fun with two other absolute Muppets, and we're just going to have ourselves a real chuckle. That's my feeling. Other than that, I've asked to be purposely left in the dark so that I can experience it organically. That's what we're doing. I, I do not think it'll be around Tokyo. I don't think there's... My guess would be, if I was to be honest, I do not think you would rent an RV to go around Tokyo. I feel like there would be better ways to travel around Tokyo than that. Especially for an RV, right? you just go to a hotel or something. Natsuki is a Giga Chad. Hell yes, he is. Alright, so we're getting into the area, guys. It looks like we're definitely along the coastline now. Is that what that is? Big blue thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's what that was. This big this big blue marble that we're on. I think that was one of the names of our things. You can just walk across Tokyo, which we did on a run in Japan video where we walked twenty five kilometers in one day. Natsuki san? Ogenki desu ka? Your back hurts? Yeah. Do you want to sit up here? <laughs> short, short space. Ah, uh, this is a short space. Very economical. <laughs> Very economical. Where, here or here? Yeah. Don't you? Eco uh, economy? Yeah. That's true. Most of the east. What? Most east. Go to most east. Go yep. to the most east. Yeah. We're very close. I need to body water removal myself. Yeah. Do you think having to chat with us for our little two hour ride was better? Of course. Better yeah. than just me? Just talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta understand something. Joey's like six foot tall, and these seats back there are made for a five foot two person. So the guy's gonna use his legs the best he can. Where's Chris? Behind in the back. Everyone's here, unless we left one of them behind. We're trying to, uh. I kinda wonder what it would have been like though. Would, really, if I wasn't here, people would just be all sleeping? But you'd have music to keep you company. Yep. We even had that taken away from me. The one. I can play Kudo He Get Pawn again if you'd the like. The one thing that brings me joy <laughs> these trips. Snatched. Away. Oh. Pete will be joining this one. What's that? You can talk to him. <laughs> Brilliant. Not only that, share a hotel room with him. Oh, oh he plays his radio all through the night. I did realize one sad thing is that I woke up at like 2, yeah. 1.30, yeah. and I realized I'd forgotten to put the 45 minute sleep timer on the radio. So it, Oh, it's not, once I'm asleep, it's not a problem. <laughs> if you could put the timer for it to start after I fall asleep, <laughs> that would be that would be better. Well, you took a while to go to bed. Uh, well, I've got things to do. <laughs> the roots don't burn themselves. Well, hang on, what's going on here? Uh, boom, boom, boom. You know what I think? I might need to have Sat be an alert for something. 
if somebody does something crazy like a big sub thing, it's gonna go bum, bum, bum. That's what we need. I don't have to work on that. I feel bad though for Ian. You you did you did have to put up uh, with the Herculean task. Plus your duties here. It's the what's the Herculean task? Dealing with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, you want me to say it. But at least this time it's in a new setting. It's not in our office or your house or my house. That's true. Get some fresh air. I inhaled about it. <laughs> that, that was rough. I, I, could have, I should have kept the camera running because not only did I get... I, I would have got you running ridiculously, but then also like, falling to the ground. <laughs> Hyperventilating. I, I wish you'd kept it so I could show the doctors what I... What, <laughs> like, isolate that carcinogen that I had. It was funny because you ran back to the van and you were, like, you were coughing. You were like, oh my god, that was the worst thing ever. Like, That's not the worst part of your day, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some footage, which I've been waiting for. Really. Oh dear me. Yeah. Oh dear me. Well, we're almost there. We're not far away, no. And then after we do the further, whatever, whatever they're doing, yeah. I'll, we'll probably end the stream at that point, because it'll be dark. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a fair bit of driving to do after. I, I do like that song where it's... Uh, Katamari Damacy, that's a great game. Katamari Forever. I love these boys trips too, man. I know it's like... I, I respect when people like, they go live with something to do. Then there's me. <laughs> or I go live... Oh, no, you got, you got a valuable shot. No, I got cancer. Yeah, that's good. So that you got a valuable shot of the train. Oh, head, I did, I on. did. I actually helped. Yeah. I'm being helpful. Uh, who do you have in the van? Well, we got six people. Ian, the driver, yeah. and the coordinator. Learned that word early. He's the planner. You got me, the host of the behind the scenes things, and I guess my channel of general debauchery. Behind myself, you have Natsuki the man, a regular on Chris's channel. He is uh, a good friend from when they first started. When Chris first started teaching, he met Natsuki. Next to Natsuki, you have Joey, the anime man. Check him out, nonsense.jp. Pick up your sweater. And Natsuki's plug is Natsuki Abroad Cameo. Cameo dot, no, sh fuck, that one. Some those combination of words. And behind Natsuki is Chris. He has a YouTube channel called Abroad in Japan. On the trip. There you have it. That's the group. That's the team. Lads day out for a week. Yeah, that's finally we made it. And we're hitting it in the golden hour. That's what it was. Thank you, Kong. The dream team. That's right. You know, there. Who would be the starting five? And what positions would we play since there's six of us? We had a boss player. Yeah, like I think Joey would be the center, right? Might would Natsuki be like the coach yeah. or, or Jew? I would like Natsuki giving orders, wearing like a like his little conductor hat from yesterday. <laughs> so you'd be the point guard. Commands respect. No, I feel like uh, my duties, I feel I'd also be needed in the paint, banging around with Joey. You, well, you're on the same team though. Yeah. You're going to be banging around with him? Yeah. Power forward's also like, oh, very yeah. similar position to presenters. Yeah. And today's NBA? Yes. <laughs> I think they shoot like 30 I'd footers. Be, uh, so who would I'd, you trust I'd, with I'd, the rock then? Me? None or me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> If you had to, you. would it be Paul? I think Chris would want to be the shooting guard. He'll stand somewhere in the corner and launch threes. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> this scenario... <laughs> Can it happen, please? Can we play a game of basketball against another channel? <laughs> Maybe like the Everyone Japan Collective versus... I don't know. Um, would, you, would you trade any of the members out, though? Would you try to get Pete Donaldson in or, like... Well, certainly, yeah. Well, he's <laughs> part of a broad Japan. I know, but would you, if we're starting five... Okay, out of the... I thought you mean trader. Like, you with yes. someone from, like, Ludwig's channel. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, so in the Abroad in Japan universe, mm. um, who would be your starting five? You're the, the coach. Universe. You can't play. Um, uh, Nick Pettis. Oh, yeah, what would he be? I don't know, just, just intimidating people. <laughs> Throwing some elbows. So we have a K1 champion, Nick Pettis. Yeah. Uh, the 
the big fella who played the Yakuza boss in uh, Natsuki. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot his name. Yeah. You know him. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's great. You can be the center. Is okay. He, tall? he looks tall. Okay. He's not so much tall, but he's beefy. He's a strong yeah. lad. Yeah. So wait, wait. The first guy was who? I'm just oh, going for the most aggressive. Yeah, you're just choosing <laughs> strong guys. What are we gonna um, do? Thump them? Yes. <laughs> who do you have as your your point guard? Who's controlling the rock? I think that would probably be Chris then. Yeah. He's uh, calling all the shots, right? Who's your shooting guard? Your deep threat? You, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> I've seen you hit a half court shot on a video, <laughs> a highly doctored video. <laughs> But are you worried about me? No one is interested in uh, the right, fine, basketball game. fine, fine. I was really interested in it. You're right, we've dropped no a bunch of viewers. Guard, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> I was fascinated by it. I, I, I was having a great um, time. And, uh, uh, All right, how about if we were a rock band? Now it's okay. Okay, uh, I'm out, so... Natsuki's the front man. Natsuki's sure. the front man. Paul's the guitarist? Yep. And you're a backup guitarist? Very, very thing? far backed up, yeah. <laughs> You run the pedals? <laughs> would Kid Chris be I keyboards? Oh no, boy, this is looking pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, thank you, Lazy Potato. I was interested too in our, our athletic accomplishments or lack thereof. Fine. You made me go the wrong way on playing. Is that it right there? Entire, that looks no, like the easternmost turn, point. Turn around. Pete on the triangle. I think I'd be cowbell. Chris, is that the main monument thing for it? Is that it? That's it. We made it. We made it. We've made it. I think, yeah, I was going to ask, Joey, can you play bass? Can you play bass? Yeah. Joey's the bassist. Joey plays everything. plays several instruments very well. Drums? Drums? Yeah. Okay, Joey's just in the band. (laughs) We'll let him play the band. Joey is the band. (laughs) All right, we finally made it. We finally, we finally bleeping made it. We've got to film the... End of this episode. Yep. Couldn't take long. Um, should look for some Russian. Maybe some French. Yeah, I need to do some We'll get. Yeah, and we'll get the. Uh, with the drone shot. We'll get the sunset here as well. Be good. Yeah, I think you'll be right. All right, oh, now yeah. it's, oh, it's a wind. There is a wind here. This is going to be really fucking cold. And we're going to give you guys a chance to see behind the scenes finally. After three hours of waiting. The door just closed itself. That's what I'm worried about. Your one will be all right. Your one's, got, your one's got stronger engines. Awful. Okay. Oh, it's windy. Oh, my legs. Absolutely yeah. awful. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> it is freezing. Where's my little green neck thing? It fly out the window as well, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't see it earlier, but... <laughs> Nothing flew out the window. If something did fly out the window, it would almost Oops, certainly sorry. have been a uh, emergency break on the towel that he was using that we pinned fifteen dollars for because he wanted to show you guys something stupid. It was, and then it when the window was down, it got sucked out like an air turbine. There was a thirteen car pile up. Put on your jacket. I'm gonna put on that hat. Is amazing. This is from Amy and Echo. I may have gained a few LBs, I understand, but you guys actually didn't see anything because you were looking out the front door. All right, I'm going to get you guys sorted. Give me a second, all right? How was the nap? All right, powerful. Uh, we tried to keep it down. So Do you think guys, was I asleep? Yeah, all of you guys were asleep. Oh, did they? That's not a bad thing. You guys were tired. Like it. It's casting as well. I felt the worst for you, though, Joey. Oh? The worst for you. What? Tiny. Oh, right. I'm going to track down my cave. Oh. I'm sorry if you fell off the beach somewhere. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, this is absolutely the most freezing. This is a wind up. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle this. 
Oh yeah, I think you're saying. Yeah. Unless you want to be a bit Is it? Look at that. My scarf game is on point. This is pretty good. That's all right. No, no, you're good. It's so fuck cold. Always fucking cold. Oh my god. Holy shit, it's freezing. What are you looking for? Your coat? I must have left it somewhere. Off we go, mates. Fucking hell. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, don't worry. Son of a bitch! Most likely at the Tomami one. This is what we do though, we get the shots. And turn off the sound, it's an accident. Oh god, a grundle freeze. <laughs> you hate to feel that. I wonder how bad the sound is actually going to be for the, uh... So it's gonna be pretty, uh you guys are going to be... I'm just going to warn you, don't complain about way too dank. There are moments where the wind sort of stops. Don't way too dank me. I'm trying my best. You're yeah, you're right. Well, I don't even know why I asked. <laughs> but I need to go to the bathroom first. What's that? Over there. Yes, thanks, me. Pop it here. That's what they call him, or <laughs> Uncle Ian, or something. Oh, behold. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, there it is, man. The easternmost point on this beautiful land. Life! I'm going to give you the Ian now. Enjoy, guys. You're with Ian now. Okay. Hello again, chat. Uncle Ian here. Um, he didn't give me the phone, so he's coming back to give me. Uh, where are you off to? Why are you always leaving your children? Uh, okay. Woo! It's cold. Do suru ano tabun kyo no doga ano ipto ano saigo no yatsu fukai tabun draw no tsukaimasu. I I imagine chat um I'll uh, it's a new a new word you can teach chat. Can you say it one more time? Shinji Oh. Because I Shinji It means unbelievable. I, I don't believe it. That looks like a cow wrapped in PVC. I don't know what that is. Uh hold on. Oh um, um. Oh dear. Well, there's a drone. I fear we're never going to see it again after this because it's so windy. <laughs> there it is, people. That is the monument over there for the easternmost point of Hokkaido and probably Japan, I guess. Uh, and I don't know if you can see islands in the back. I heard you could. And if you can, they're Russian. It's physically painful right now. <laughs> Whew. 
Okay. Yeah, sorry if it's really, really deafening, the wind. Uh, I'll try and shield it as best I can. Oh uh, dear. Oh uh, dear. Welcome to Nemro, little otter fella. Oh dear. Where should we go? Any uh, suggestions over to the monument, maybe? Okay, yeah, let's head over to the monument. Hopefully we'll get Pete to run over to us again and uh, I'll film it and uh, we should have a backup meme. Oh, fuck me, it's so cold. Okay. I don't want to stray too far away from uh, Chris and those guys just in case I'm needed because we do actually have to film something here. Uh, Sorry, I'll try and shield the mic a bit before the sun goes down in about an hour. Um, but yeah, look at that, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Take us to the arch. Okay. Uh, I'll quickly go closer to it at least. Let's see. Oh, there's a fire. I don't, uh, not a bad kind of fire, like one that's supposed to be there in the middle of the arch. It's somehow still going. Uh, I don't know how cold it is, but uh, I mean, my tears are freezing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, let's venture over there with everyone else in a minute. Uh, Joey's coming. Let's go over there with Joey. So at least we're not the only person who gets yelled at if we're strayed too far away. You alright? It hurts to keep my eyes open. Oh, it's physically painful. Yeah. My forehead. Oh, God, God knows what Pete's going through with his forehead. Fuck me. Sorry, i got to stop swearing. It's not good. Ooh. <laughs> There's a bell over there, and that's you'll love that because he rang one yesterday so hard uh, it made people phys physically uh, uncomfortable <laughs> and angry. Natsuki, when he rang the bell so hard yesterday, yeah. he just uh, annoyed everyone within a uh, mile and a half radius, I think. Oh, uh, dear. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. So I bet Pete's probably just getting a foot rub or something in the station. Whew. I would I would take the, the, the piss stank of the public toilet here over this cold air. <laughs> it's a tower. I oh, that's, oh dear. Minus 15, yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, through the arch we go. Unfortunately, Pete's not running after us yet. Have you ever seen anyone run like that? Okay. So we started the cycle. Let's get away from Joey so we don't shout over his video. So anyone who watched the cycle at all, uh, we started that at the northernmost point in Japan, and uh, this is the easternmost point. And I can tell you which one was less painful. Uh, in comparison, the northern one was uh, was lovely. Uh, are those islands over there? They look like islands, they're really close. I think that's part of Russia. I might be wrong, but oh yeah, there's one over there. And yeah, there's one over there. And uh, yeah, I think they are. Okay, there is a flame. 
Oh, well, sorry, I keep forgetting to check out the chat because my hands don't move anymore. Uh, Oh good. This, uh, this this thing, this whatever this fucking thing is, is actually shielding me from the. Uh, I don't believe. Can we get to the fire inside? Yeah, right. I want to. I want to jump in that fire. I want to jump in that fire. Oh my lord. Uh, there's an arch. <laughs> I am not slandering Pete. Well, I am a little bit, but I feel I feel that our uh, friendship is uh, based purely on insulting each other. Like I don't know if anyone knows, I, I see Pete way more than any other person on this trip. I see Chris a fair bit, but Pete is like most weekends or, or two or three times a week. So uh, yeah, we 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 tolerate each other really. Oh, you're right, Natsuki. Thank you, brother. No pain for it. Tired, sure. Painful. Very painful. Oh. Windy is a painkiller. It's a painkiller. Yeah. No, it's the opposite of a painkiller. Okay. Okay. okay, it's a painkiller. Okay. Uh. Oh, dear. oh my god. Uh. Okay. Okay, let's go back over to the van just in case we're needed. Uh hopefully to see Pete run again. Whew. Yeah, the weather, I don't know, if, is it actually minus 15? We're in a place called Nemuro, N-E-M-U-R-O, or Cape, specifically within Nemuro, we're in a place called Cape, oh, here we are, it, oh God. I feel like he's putting it on now and it's nowhere near as funny as when he actually just tries to run. Uh, Cape, uh, I've forgotten the name now, was it Nasopu? Nosopu, I think. Oh god, here he comes. Uh, Cape Nosapu, that's the one, thank you. Yeah, is it is it minus 50? Uh, the monument represents the bridge to the four islands, thank you. That's really cool. I guess it, yeah, it does have like four bits that so turn out, I suppose. That's very cool. Not Cape Sawyer, no, minus seven. You alright? Thank god Amy brought you that hat. And and you didn't let me wear mine. I got a go get it. I got a bald head at the moment. Go get it. Go get it. It's too cool. No, I got a headband. That's kind of. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do me a favor? Sure. I want to try running across that field like Rocky. Yes. I want to go. Top okay. Of the field, I'm just worried. Uh, it was Chris over there. I'm worried we need to film. We he needs us and he's getting angry. He's Is he over there? Tall. Okay. Cool. Run. What is he doing? I don't think he's ever run this far in his life. He's going to just collapse halfway across. Yeah. I feel like his mum. Like, yeah, good job, Pete. I'm watching. Brilliant. Good stuff. I got it with the stream cam, not... Uh oh. Oh, wow, snow's really deep here. Look at that. Uh, I got it, not with the phone, on the on the stream. People loved it. They called it the milf run. And uh, I'm surprised you didn't collapse in a heap and I have to go pick you up now. Okay, back to the van. Well, here we are. The easternmost point of Japan. I think most people get the monument in this in the shop. Not the car park. Yeah, that's not the monument, Pete. That's just a cardboard sign. Uh, uh, some kind of sign. Shit. It's the back of the sign that says. Oh, no yeah. cameras. Okay. Uh, what a knobhead. I agree with that. Uh, Okay, let me catch up. Uh, before at least Dad comes home with milk. Did you bring the milk? Didn't even bring the milk. 
Uh, <laughs> those jeans are working overtime. <laughs> They're about to explode at any point. <laughs> I'd stand back if I was doing it. Okay. Give me a... Yeah, I, I, I... Okay. See you, chat. It's like taking off a proton pack. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Okay, you are there, mate. Come on. Well, at least we got some cool shots there. Is it okay? Yeah. Wait, you guys already filmed? The drone, yeah. Okay. Coming in in three, <sighs> two, one. This Ian is sarcastic even for Let's a British person. <laughs> <laughs> we fly through the window then. Uh, run, Paul, run. No. <laughs> Go on then. Uh, uh, Pete, be careful your forehead and mites. You go get the, go get the hat. Okay, right, this is is it? Some good stuff to back up there. Uh, um, all right, so very quick ending. <laughs> We've ridden the train, heard some awful rapping, eaten some food, and frozen to death. I think technically speaking, Chris is going to have to speak to most of this with a pin mic because this wind. How many pin mics do you have? I've got, got three pin mics. So unless Natsuki's not going to say anything, <laughs> well, Pete doesn't have to say anything. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also have the loudest voice if you wanted me to shout something. <laughs> You've got that mic on, yeah, so you can still get something. Yeah, I could say some screaming thing. I want to make sure everyone can get it. Um, Alright, uh, let's do it now while the sun is up. I'll stop yeah. this door from crushing your road or four times anyway. Just Where's Jerry and Natsuki? Over by the monument. Uh, Joey, there. You can just let like, go of it. Joey was over here. Fast, didn't you? I didn't think you might go to the toilet. I think I couldn't. <sighs> Well, let's get everyone here first so we can all go together at one day. Yeah, I think that's well, they. That's who went earlier. Oh, Joey's there. Joey's right there next to us. Where's Natsuki, Joe? So, what's he kind of a. Where's Natsuki? So, you, you, you just it? drove two and a half hours just for this spot to do what? You had the ending in mind? To toss you into the sea. For... <laughs> we were getting Mike on you. Fucking shit. I'll get it, Natsuki. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold, man. What's it called? Cape. Not so good. Did that drone get really close to my head? <laughs> I, I, I felt it go <laughs> I was like, oh fucking hell. I wonder who's flying. Might, might have been a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the did the shot look good at least? Yep. Oh yeah, good. <sighs> oh god. Uh, yeah, you have to. I'm not sniffing the seat. I'm all right. I'm good. I was recovering. What's that? It's cold, huh? Yeah, it's fucked. Chris almost ran a drone into my head. I, I heard it. Too. Yeah, <laughs> Just turn it on now. Start running. He'll sacrifice you for a shot if necessary. Look, as long as the shot is good, I don't care. <laughs> what a legend. As long as the shot as long is good. Yeah. Hold. One mic is live. Test one, two, three, check, check, check. One second. I'm going to clip it to this. It's the easiest way to do it. Right? That's insane. What am I clipping it to? Me? Just clip it to the ear. Might as well just clip it to the scarf. It'll be close to the mouth. It's a bit too close, isn't it? Well, what else do you want to put it? Just hold it. You could hold it if you want. If you're not. Normally you want it here, but I put Joey to his mouth. It's just going to get so cold. Actually, get it. I might as well take it.
Sausages, sausages, fuck off. I gotta leave the chat in the car, okay? I can't hear you guys, it's too, it's too, uh, too cold to check the chat phone, sorry. Oh. So, so this is how we all die, huh? I can see why that sculpture's unfinished. They probably got cold and said, fuck it. <laughs> it was supposed to be something ornate. Is that an ever lit flame? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Over there. Oh god. Man, you can feel it on your face. Even with our cool beards. Nothing. <laughs> we had great sniffing sounds from Joey's mic. Man, I want to try to show them this. Here's the sunset. It's very beautiful. There's the monument. There's Paul. How you doing, Maverick? I'm still alive. For now. Oh, I feel like I'm in minus 30 degrees right now. Oh, God. We're here on Antarctica. Yeah. And we just gave a thousand people hypothermia. <laughs> <laughs> God. <sighs> so let me tell you, I did this first hand with Chris. We will drive three to four hours. If he thinks it's going to be a cool shot and something to show you guys, he'll say fuck it and go and do it. Even in this kind of weather. This was exactly what it was like when we went to Wakanda. Oh, it's way too dank. Ah. What's the what's the temperature here? Do we know with the wind Yes, uh, minus sixteen. Is it oh my god. Yeah. During day, can you imagine tonight? Yeah, I'll probably drop down at minus 25, I reckon. Ah, oh, God. I mean, the cold... I don't know, it's unfinished. That's what I think. Is it really? It feels like... I think they got halfway through and said, it's freezing, we're done. Oh, there's, there's a plaque over there. This was... Is that finished? Yeah, let me just go read that Japanese. Might as well be in a coloring book for me. That is the everlasting flame of Gondor. My voice echoes. Behold the fuck, it's the same wall. Thought it'd be a, a thing. Uh. Yes, when the beacon is lit, the armies will rally. That's what I think when I see that. I liked improv when I was a kid, obviously. Showa Goju Dokunen is like uh, 1981. What year is Showa Goju Dokunen? Showa Goju Dokunen. 81, de show? 80, yeah. 48, 97. 97. 87. No, 87 is Dokunen. 73. No. Eh? Before punk rock. No, no, not you. Not you. No, no. Showa Goju Dokunen, say the key. What do we know about the monument? Uh, nothing. It's, it's, it was, yeah, yeah, it maybe, represents the four islands. That's all I know. Show up. 85? Yeah. I'm 50. Okay, what was it's, the number? It's, it's yeah. 56? 56. <coughs> 1970. I think it's 80. No, sorry, 82. I thought it was 81. Yeah. Six, uh, Showa. Uh, is 82. Fucking Jesus. Just tell me. Show off at D6. 81, I was right. Holy shit. 58 is my birth year. Oh, okay. So I thought I was right. Go Pete. He was like before punk rock. <laughs> Close. 
<sighs> Scoreboard Pete. Nailed it. Oh. <laughs> oh no! We'll come back for that. Oh, life. This is as far east as you can get. Is that Russia over there? Is that Russia? Ah, the con the contested ones? Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's one of the contested Russian islands slash Japanese islands. It's a really beautiful ocean, but also terrifying. Look how dark it is in those depths. You can see those birds floating in there, getting taken by the waves. They're just dealing with it, man. Nothing scares me more than the ocean. I have no idea if we're even live. Is it warm here? Warmer. We are live. You stand here, I'll come in. I just want one second of heat. Oh god, thank you. Is it warm there? No. Can you share? I would love to. I'm glad everyone came to life when we arrived here. Any thoughts for the people at home? You should visit. It's lovely. It's, uh, so you went to Okinawa last time? <laughs> for nine days? How come it's I've been awesome. on three it is, trips? It is beautiful. Look, it's nice. it is be that bird can't even fly straight. It's going down. You might be in the shot. Uh, Chris wouldn't like that. I can't believe we drove for three hours for this cool shot, though. Yeah, it is. I like doing this stuff like this, but it's crazy. I've been to the northernmost point of Japan, the easternmost point. You didn't go to the northernmost point, did you? Why can't I? You didn't go with me. You mean with the video? <laughs> I didn't go with you. So I went on the cycle for like Oh, yeah, that's time. right. Sorry, I forgot you guys redid our trip. It was a journey across Japan, though. You're quite right about that. Um, yeah, we did a, a, a better version. And then we went to <laughs> nearly the southernmost point. We went to the southernmost McDonald's. That's great. Ichigaki, what was that like Naha? Ichigaki, <laughs> yeah, Ichigaki. Uh, but there's another island more south, one more, more south than that. And uh, that's the most point. I don't know where that would be. I bet it's probably it's an island. Bizarre. I bet it's an island. Yeah. I think that I made that question in Chris's London event. I think the one the Japanese <laughs> of what is the westernmost point in Japan? Huh. It's bad, I don't remember the answer. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody chose it, geography, anyway. You know what I want to know? What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> it is interesting, though. It's a beautiful sight. I kind of like walking I a touch more. Maybe I'm partial to it, but now I've been to the north and the west, and I'll go south next time. Mom needs a holiday with these things. Look out, you still might be in the shot. Morton's neuroma. It's pinching on a nerve. When it gets super cold, so it suddenly kicks in, it's really painful to walk on my body. Really? Yeah. So I can't convince you to run across that field at top speed? I went for the big guns, the double headband and beanie. Still respected your wish to not wear the same one as you. I said you could. Very noble of you. Off camera, I said it. And I gave you a threatening look. I think my favorite behind the scenes comment was we were in the van, right? And I was like, so Chris, 
you know, you just spent three hours driving to like the westernmost point of Japan. Yeah, you just drove like three hours to the easternmost point of Japan, and uh, so give the people some idea of like what are you thinking? Why did you choose this? Did you think to throw you in the ocean, Pete? Thank you very much. <laughs> Is there anything else? No. That's the cutting analysis we were looking for. <laughs> I think he's right, though. I mean, that's would it. Would chat be willing to go with you? I think they would, uh, because... I, I think they'd ask Anglia to take us. Uh, you're probably there. right, yeah. They'd probably... We'll be to go <sighs> wow, what a day. Oh, shit. Are they still filming? Are you still filming? This is a nice little, perfect little analogy of our experience. Get the fuck out of the shot. <laughs> Drive. Never hear the story of Premier 2. It's not a story that chat would tell you. We don't fuck around with this stream. This is the real deal. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Insane production value for what this stream is? What in my loins and cold outside. Oh, whoa. All of this, not interesting. It sounds disgusting. It sounds disturbing. Do you know that the equivalent of teabagging for a woman is called a clam slam? <laughs> now will you shut up with the mama mias and the, ah, my God, I had to turn them all off. You guys ruined your chat privileges for an hour. I'm timing you out. Come on, I've masturbated over worst. <laughs> oh my. Well, yeah, I can imagine. This is pretty good material for that. How do you use this? I, I missed. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Pete's getting horny. I almost said horny. <laughs> I meant to say...
kind of way behind though because because he, unless he's dead, this is like Bruce Lewis. It's on. cool looking man <laughs> actually cool we east baby that is uh that's a shot i want to get one more shot with you guys It's fucking time in the uh, Mr. B East. All right, guys. I'm going to take you to look at it, and that's it, all right? What a cool shot, though, huh? What a shot. We did it. Ah! Premiere 2, where the fun never stops. You can use that in a promo. It's time for Premier 2. Done. Alright. Good job, camera. You lasted long. Finished. Finished. I hope. Ian, did you want to go out to the thing? Ah, ah. You don't want to do it? Oh no. Maybe you should go back to the car. That's a good. Poor Ian. He has a foot problem. That sucks. He's been a top bloke tonight, guiding us through all those trials and tribulations, man. That sucks. He has like a. Nerman's Nantoka. I'm sorry to hear that. He's a good friend taking care of me and taking care of you guys while we walked. You know, the camera earlier went to the colors. Guys, it's so cold that the camera keeps shutting off. Or maybe it's the cable that connects to the power. It's one of those two. But it's not a uh, easy thing to fix. All things can life. And in the background, a solitary van gang. Let's go make fun of Chris. We're gonna end the stream pretty soon. Not now, but since the sun's setting. Life. Since the sun's setting, we will, uh, won't keep it on on the van ride back. Plus, everyone would 
probably just be annoyed anyway. So we'll just, we'll call it so that we get back. Cause we got about another two and a half hours to drive back. I'll probably just check my phone and do silly shit like that. But then uh, I think we're gonna be live streaming tomorrow. I'm not sure. I got, I'm gonna check with the guys, see what the plan is. And if we have some cool activities planned, I'd like to show you guys some more behind the scenes. Oh. Uh. Okay, I feel better now. That was a cool sunset we got to see there. Uh. Whew. That is cold as motherfucker. Here we are. We see one of Britain's top YouTubers. A rare specimen in the wild. Followed closely by his videographer, Paul. Some say he can sleep in a moving vehicle for over three hours. Wake up, grab a piece of famichiki, and suddenly make some of the best content on planet Earth. Is he human or is he an animal? Hard to say. But he's approaching quickly. Let's get his thoughts on the experience. What are your thoughts on that experience? I'm about to ask you that question, mate. Oh. Bear with me. Yeah, we're going to film you. <sighs> do I get to do this? Will it fly out of my hand if I say the magic word? <laughs> Go, Maverick. <laughs> Tundus. <laughs> fly among us. <laughs> Put it down. Sure. Yeah. I, oh, I got it. I know. Me too, man. Look at my hands. That's our throwback to our original video. Jesus. Ah. Uh, so, uh, we were trying to get a group shot of everyone under the. Uh, why didn't you tell me? Because we were all fucked off. We didn't get over there. We were straight back to the van. Well, yeah, I want to get out nice, of here a bit cold. Yeah, let's. let's All right, I'm up. ready. We'll put this seat before the other bit. <sighs> oh. <laughs> rolling. So, Pete, we've been to the most northern place in Japan, Wakanai, yes. about two years ago. How does it feel to now be in the most eastern point in all Japan? Well, there are some striking similarities. <laughs> Desolation. Desolation. Coldness. Coldness. Resentment. Resentment. And uh, ow. And a friend for the ages. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me, though. I mean, I never, ever, ever expected, you know, because I lived pretty far west in Niigata. It's about yeah. as far west as you can get. But I never thought uh, I'd get to see all these cool places and Absolutely. have my face frozen. I actually can't, like, smile. Oh, it no, it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. not easy. I can smile again. Literally, <laughs> to move my face muscles is really... Actually, quite difficult. Maybe. But I don't know. You know, like when you see it, and I, I feel like when you live in Tokyo or Yokohama, these cities are so massive, and they're so the spectacle of them is unique. But it's really charming coming out to like these empty, desolate places and seeing. Is it wild people live here? Right? I can't believe like it. On the drive here, just so little villages and hamlets and towns. It's like who the heck chooses to live here, or why people choose to stay here? I don't know. Reminds me a lot of England. How dare you? I mean, in a oh, good way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It does. I went to like Long Melford. The gondola. <laughs> <laughs> I legit can't feel my fingers. Oh, me either, man. <laughs> uh, one take, Pete. That's right. Look at these stragglers. They look like they're coming back from some sort of like ancient hall. There's Ian though. He's struggling. You all right? Do you need you? Uh, do you need an? Uh, do you need help? That's not good. All right. Unlocked, mates. Yo, 
almost there. There's where the the van man sits. Are you going to the bathroom? Oh Christ, I forgot to do one thing. One last trip. I forgot to take a picture. I know I got it on video, but uh, just for my own little purposes. One take Pete. That's why they bring out the big guns, right? You see that? You always got to stay ready. It wasn't a particularly great take, but the fact that I got one moment to say, what are your thoughts? Make it good. That's pressure, baby. I often wish I could take a few more tries at it because you never know if a joke's going to land or if it's interesting. But if he's satisfied, then I'm satisfied. But I said, uh, that's all you get. That's all you get, baby. Oh, wow. What do we have here? I'll be seeing you soon, but hopefully in a little bit better conditions, my man. Because I'm freezing my ball sack off. This is absolutely the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. But look at your lucky viewers. Hey, buddies. Behold. The easternmost point of Japan. And the palm of your fingers or tablets or second monitor. There it is. As far east as you can get, my friends. From this corner of the ocean to the south. Uh, there's no follow-up to that. I'm just very cold. <sighs> there it is. And touch grass. Okay, now look, we got one more thing to do. We got to get a photo together, all right? So let's not fuck this up. Everybody smile, because my hand is about to fucking fall off. We got one shot at this. All right. Rip bozo. Oh, 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 get the okay, ready. Smile. Three, two. Oh, yeah, then one for my. Oh, no, wrong way. Fuck off. Get up. That's good, bye. Oh, fuck. Shit. Damn it. I swear to God, if Connor has an RV trip planned for... Mate, we're gonna go across all of Hokkaido in an RV. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill him with the golf club! Don't look at my hands. They wither to dust in front of you. Please, Jesus God, let it be a place... There's a dolphin in the picture! He better not be taking me to, like, a dolphin fucking ice zone where they live in subarctic temperatures. I cannot feel my hands. Thank you for the raid, man. I hope that you and Ludwig had an amazing stream. I saw that you guys were also in Hokkaido under drastically different conditions and that you guys were hanging out and doing some skiing. That is respect. Over here you've got the man of the hour, the VIP. He gets the first slice of the PIE. He lost his jacket. And you have the Van Gang driver coordinate. That's Chris Broad. And in the orange hat, you have our good friend, Mr. Ian Rudd. Oh, baby. This little tree feels like me, withered, tiny, shriveled, grasping, barely hanging on to dear life, yet covered with wisdom and experience. Oh, there you've got Natsuki the man, and then Paul Ballard. Oh, fuck my face. Oh. oh, I was here. 
and there's the sunset. How's your foot, mate? Okay. Oh, God. Die. Die? <laughs> okay. Never die. Okay. Oh. Oh. Always fucking place. Oh, no. How's the foot? Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Uh, sounds like a milk video in here, just sighing and screaming. Looks like a milk video. <laughs> uh. What happened to Ian? He hurt his foot with Mara's curse or something. I have an issue. Occasionally. Ow! Crops its ugly head. You all right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I shared I shared that one store in the in the group. Uh, I don't know. We can pay for that. Or, uh, the sushi place. I, I shared just one now, just in the group. I, I, we can aim towards that, and then I guess there's other places around there if this one's no good. But this is the uh, 4.0. 1,000, 150. Uh, What's that? Uh, yeah, it's in the town. I'll head towards the town anyway. Uh, how are you? What's that? Yeah, it's 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 like the it's the uh, it's Kaiten sushi. Oh, is it? But it's a very popular one. It's the one that came to Tokyo recently. I get to go there, or uh, but let's head towards the town anyway. I'll head towards this, and if we find another option, we can go there. Yeah. I do not look like Mr. Tumnus. I've not seen a <laughs> towel, Mr. have you? I say I look like Mr. Tumnus with my red face. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was dying for your entertainment. Yeah, well, you look like Mr. Tuck Off. That's how you want to phrase. Is there another towel? Just throw that out the window as well. <laughs> you, you missed it earlier. While you guys, I'm just, I'm just repeating a fun story. While you guys were sleeping, um, he no, saw a no. funny advertisement on the side of the road. And he goes, oh, Pete, look at this. And he rolled down the window, and uh, the towel that we spent $1,500 on flew out the window by being sucked out. Yeah. Wait, you guys were sleeping. Well, $1,500 we towel. It was 1,500 yen. Yeah. The towel from your foot bath. Oh. It you got sucked, sucked out, out the window. Nearly, and I was terrified that it might hit somebody else. It went into the bushes. Shield. And, you know, yeah. I can't see shit. Uh, uh, thank you guys for the raid, though. I do appreciate it. From those who were on the uh, Sea Dog, so I was curious if the uh, the how was the skiing stream? Was Connor a proficient skier? Was Ludwig? I'm curious what the response was. I couldn't. It was great. Skiing was lit. Ludwig died. I doubt that. Oh, they said multiple times. It's fine. How did he die? Did he, uh, did he crash and burn? He was a tired boy. <laughs> Maybe he can take a three-hour car ride. Get some rest. Yeah, you can't, you can't knock down Ludwig. He's only briefly incapacitated. He needs an Estes flask. Look at these mad lads in a van. And once again, you're right. Too much beer. 
Blood had been drinking for eight days straight. He's cooked. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing when you go on vacation, man. How do you deal with that when you go on a big trip? Do you tone it down or do you enjoy? Like drinking and enjoying and eating? Uh, Not work. I'm saying you got like six days of hanging in Australia with your family and friends from before. It's just going to be a, a, a goon swing or whatever it's called. Because uh, I have money. Yeah. <laughs> and dignity. <laughs> and dignity. Mostly two, dignity. Two things I didn't have in yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear. You would have you turned out a goon bag. A goon bag? I'd be the first to buy it. <laughs> I'd say let's reload, man. Ah, yes. The classic Australian goon swing. I'm sorry, Allie. I meant goon bag. The goon of fortune. That's what it. That's you called it last time. Yeah. yeah. Space. Uh, luck. If you don't know, if you're not from if you're not from Australia, they they get a bag of like wine that's distilled through an Isn't armpit. Because you can buy a box of wine, right? Yeah, yeah. If you, you take out the, you take out, it's a, the yeah. bladder. Thing, My yeah. mom used to drink those all the time. Like, <laughs> I thought it was just grape juice. Well, it is, but fermented. It's grape juice and hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer, right? So they they swing it around, and if it what smacks you in the face, you drink it, or how no, does it? They have, we have, uh, Clothesline. Clothesline. That's, that's, that's like you need an area straight. Yeah. You put in the garden you, to dry your clothes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a peg and you attach the bag to the clothesline, and everyone gathers around the clothesline. Someone swings it like the engine, and then whoever it stops, you have to take a swing. It's spin the bottle, but drinking. Yeah, but drinking a clothesline. I love it. You gotta slap the bag, mate. Man, I can't wait to go to Australia. Pete, I missed all the stuff at the easternmost point. Can you go back and do it again? Absolutely not. Why don't you just... Uh, mate, no. I'm minus 15. Only stupid teenagers do it, and me. <laughs> First time I'm going to Bris Vegas. I'm, I'm fighting a big red, and I'm doing a goon bag swing. Well, here's here's what we did today, in case you guys were enjoying watching Ludwig go the distance, or Connor hit the slopes, or perhaps you were here all along. We did two main shootings, well, with the camera, and the first one was, uh, Chris and Nansky took a steam train because Joey lost a challenge, so he had to sit in the van with us, and we were able to catch their shots along the way, it was pretty impressive. I even was able to run down the train in my, my jeggings, my jean leggings, and give a nice video of that. Once we captured that, Ian and I hosted our own little TED talk of how not to stream for three hours. Yes. And we did that. That was Sorry, fun. I'm, I'm still strong. No, no, focus, focus. When your foot in. No, I'm not kidding okay about the road. It's standing at minus 15 degrees. For yeah. And then, then we made it to the easternmost point of Japan where we collectively all went different directions and had our own experience. And I gotta say, it's been a lot of fun. Just managed to wake up and catch this. Yeah, it's been it's been awesome, man. It's just been a different experience for me because I don't get opportunities to watch craftsmen ply their trade and also Ian driving. But you got Paul. He's a great... Uh, I learned some camera tricks from Herm. Hit Herm. <laughs> I, I, I didn't learn anything, but he taught me how to catch the... the I watched him do it. <laughs> you did not take anything back from these two things. You did not... It was awesome. And uh, thank you, Kim Trail. God damn, this thing's frozen too. It's been so cold out here that the camera broke. Bruh. That's not a camera. It, it was. This shut off. Wait a I'm talking about that. Where did you go from? No. Are you trying to record yourself with that? You're trying to say. You've got that hanging on your computer screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, All right, we, I brought, sorry about that. We're going to be in and out. And, uh, how much garbage is that? Way back. What you eat? No, that's not my scram. I already ate today. I had karage. We have. To show you guys how dedicated we are to the cause, we, we had Lawson for breakfast and 7-Eleven for lunch. Do you know why I don't like the photo? What's that? Do you know why I don't like the photo? The photo? Hey. What? Do you know why I don't like the photo? Oh, why is that? How many family months have you seen? Zero. They don't exist. You well, love they probably you. do. No, they don't. 
He loves Family Mart because they have this coffee called Mount Rainer. Well, so does Wilson. 7 Eleven notoriously does not. Well, they, they do have it, but they don't have the one you like. Yeah. The blue. Oh, I love what I know. How many times have you been here now? Every this time is I second do. Time? The third, third time? Uh, this is my fifth time total. So really? What were we going to do? Just NHK. Vacation? NHK. Have you ever been just for a vacation? Yeah, vacation with my friends right here. Over here, you know. It's time for ramen and beer. Actually, did we decide the, the food of the evening? Yes, we are Sushi. fast approaching a town, a city called Nemuro. Nemuro. It's very famous for sushi. Yeah, and that's what we we're getting. We're going to attempt to eat it. Is it um, conveyor belt or is it you got to pick your plate and have it served? Well, there's all kinds, but there's one shop which uh, is actually in Tokyo too. It became famous. Uh, Nemuro Hanamaru. That's the one, Nemuro Hanamaru. You're right. Somebody guessed it in chat. So we might go to the Honpen, like the. the Store. We'll see. Really? I'm just trying not to crash the car because I can't feel my hands. Yeah. Sushi and beer, that's right. I'm going to have a glug tonight. I think we all deserve it. Um, <laughs> I've still got three hours to drive. Okay, I won't drink if you won't drink. No, I'll have drink. one. But, uh, drink. I don't want to. If we have a three hour drive. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll just get some road it's better if you fall asleep. And I can listen to my music. Um, Ron here. Sorry. Hey, Pete, Joey, Natsuki, and the broad guy in the back, and also Paul and Ian. How is it doing? Uh, what's up, Zen? Yeah, it was an eventful day of, well, I mean, actually, it was a, a surprising lack of events, but full of still an interesting experience. That train was so sick looking. Good morning from Maine. Good, good morning, everybody. I'll have to check out the Sea Dog Pod to see them hitting the slopes. That sounds like a really fun experience. Did they check out the Snow Festival? Or is that like another day for tomorrow or the day after? So that would be, I know that that's going on right now. Ugh. It's incredible how I still don't have a feeling in my hands. They did it yesterday. Oh, see man, where did you get that scarf? Maidstone United Football Club? This is a gift from Dave Parrish, who's uh, Chris's editor. When I went to London, we were going to see a game together, but uh, Dave got quite ill, and so he was just incapacitated for like 10 days. Or he didn't want to see me, I'm not quite sure. That's all me. That's all you But his local... Lo how, what league are they in? Like the Premier 3 or 4 or 5? Uh, no. Uh, they are in... So you, oh, yeah. so you, you know what's that? Well, yeah. <laughs> so in England you have the, the, the Premier League. Yeah. And after that, you know what it Champions is? Champions League. No, uh, Champions League is the best European teams. The Premiership. No, wait, wait. Premier League's number one. And the, yeah. uh, the nearly the Championship. The Championship, right? Yeah. And then you have League One, League Two, and those four are considered like the professional leagues. Yeah. And then I think Maidstone is maybe the one below that. And then when you get to there. It gets to a point where it divides into like north and south. So you've got the northern panorama Premier League. So they're in the southern, I think they're the best of the non professional southern teams. So is it a, a team full of like carpenters, yeah, firemen, exactly. bakers? Firemen, plumbers, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. like a bunch of blue collar dudes. 20 pounds a game to play, yeah, that kind of thing. Your scarf alone has just supported the Mason United player to have lunch. One day. <laughs> it's Not a cool day, right? scarf though. Yeah. Wait, Chris let Pete sit in the front? He did, he did. And I was actually going to take the backseat this time because I didn't think he would He would care. But here, let me show you the scarf because I can finally move my hands again. It's a really, really, really beautiful scarf, actually. Like, it's really slick. It's quickly become probably my top five. Because uh, black and yellow. You got... It's a really nice knit. And then you have the Maidstone United FC right there. It's a really slick scarf. I just got to learn how to tie it. They're in last place in the National League. Is that good? <laughs> so next season they'll be in the National League. <laughs> really. so, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, is the Van the perfect five A side team who would play keeper? Um, I would. I would five think. Five A side. <laughs> that says. Five side. What? It's tight, the futsal. They call it in Japan. Five aside. A five a Not a five A side. Five, oh, eight, so. five aside? Yeah. I see, I see, I said it wrong. Why would you laugh at me like it was some sort of like a child learning? I think uh, Ian would be the keeper because that's what he played when he was in sixth form or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny enough, everything you said is true, but it just sounds so weird when you say it. <laughs> 
I think Joey's our striker because he's got that anime protagonist vibe. He's like Captain Tsubasa shit. He's going to go for broke. <laughs> Natsuki's going to be our funny left back who's like, ooh, what am I doing? And then I'd be the goofy right back. And then the midfielder would be Chris because he's calling the shots and passing the ball. Two defender strategy. Huh? Well, I kind of flip between the wings. Okay. You've got a position, so I'd say. Yeah, in that's... the fact that we don't want you to have a position on that's... our team. <laughs> Basically, Paul replaced me. I'm on the bench right now <laughs> <Yes>. shouting. <laughs> I'm the moral support. I think um, that's what I feel like it would be. But I, I think definitely I got the keeper and the striker and the defense right. I think that's going to be a great one. Um, but yeah, that's, that, that's for sure what we would be doing. Do you think they're annoyed that Pete is streaming or no? I certainly hope not because I told you to come here. No, no, <laughs> uh, this was actually Chris's idea, full disclosure. He wanted me to show you guys what it's like behind the scenes, and you only see the finished product of a journey across Japan. And can, can you show Chad what I'm seeing at the moment? Because yes. I'm struggling to... I'm struggling to... Are they So lame. Why do they? That's three. Yeah. Is that the final? There's more. What? Okay, that's fine. I heard that. I heard that like the original is goaded, and then Z is good but controversial. Like some people don't count it. No, no, no. That's GT. So ah. Z is canon. Z is canon. GG. Ah, okay. Do you all think Pete will ever have a late anime awakening? Nah, I think it's like... I watched... So, last time I watched anime, this guy was like, Bro, you love D&D &D and you love Demon Souls. I was like, yeah, dude. He was like, check out Goblin Slayer. I was like, let's fucking go. And I watched one episode and I was like, I'm done. I was like, that shit's depressing. What the fuck's going on? Well, I'll tell you who also got trolled in Goblin was every single character that I got attached to in the first episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he fucking hit his sword off the top of the cave, and then he got... I, oh, man, that sucked. That made me actually depressed. She got... She got hugged by... They wrestled. Yeah, they wrestled. And, uh... And the cleric couldn't do shit. But she's the main character, I guess, along with the dude. But, yeah... I'm not watching One Piece. Listen, I was watching it last night over the shoulder on the plane or whatever, and there was this girl named Uta or Alta, and she oh, has... Yeah, it, okay. Well, she had, like, singing powers. Yeah. Does she eat a devil fruit? I don't know. I've never seen it. Yeah, skip it. It's like GT. It's like, it's like the 27th One Piece. Multi, yeah, whatever. That's just... Here's the thing. One Piece, I think, is awesome because when I first came to Japan, like, 10 years ago... It was the number one manga, even at that time, like 11 years ago, and it was still relatively approachable. And it still is now. So how the fuck can I do 20 years? You've been reading that your whole life. Yes, it's not in 97. You were zero. Three. 
So it seems like it's just it's too late. Yeah, definitely not. There's thousands of them. Yeah, I would definitely like that. I like two manga, and that's Slam Dunk, which I cried endlessly, and Vagabond, which is made by the same guy. Yeah. They're great. I'm done. Why go? Nothing will beat Slam Dunk. I got snowed in in Niigata, and I had the entire thing on an iPad, and I read it in one night, and I, there was not a dry eye for four hours. Yo. And like, every character gets a moment to do something, and it's all meaningful. Sindo. Sindo. He's so fucking cool. I even have like a, uh, a Sindo doll that I found at a vintage shop. Oh, really? And he has like a little basketball in his hand. And he's in the background of like my stream. Sindo's goaded. And I like uh, Megan Aikun. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. oh man, just go read the damn thing. It's amazing. GTO is goaded. I heard it's really good. GTO is goaded. Huh. It's a doll. It's like a plushie. It's like, it's not an action figure. It's not a. What else would you call it? That's not much more. I'll take a picture of it. I'll post it on the Discord later. Um, dude, what's up, man? Yeah, I know that Berserk is really popular. And, and oh, you gotta read Berserk. Yeah, I, I am interested in it, but it never got finished, right? And he um, passed away. They're, they're trying to finish it. Yeah. He died. That's so sucky. Because his art was like mind-blowingly awesome, and yeah. the story was kick-ass. Yeah. I mean, it, it was awesome. Damn. Yeah, it did. Yeah, certainly. Um, what? What was? I thought I read one more manga here and there. I read some of Kyujin the Hoshi, which is like your dad's manga's favorite manga. Was it the baseball? Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, I read that. And he, you read that? Yeah. It's so sick. He has the 50 yen thing that he's on the boat yeah, and yeah, swinging, yeah. and they gotta throw the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, they banned, like, every single practice that they do in that manga is, like, banned now. You can't do it in baseball practice. Um, what was the other cool one that I read? Gunsmith Cats? That's, That's fucking sick. Go read Gunsmith Cats. That is a great manga. Which one? Uh, I want to see that. I thought it was a slice-of-life manga about, like kids and sweets and stuff. <laughs> it's not. It's nothing. Sounds like it. Yeah, it's like a, is it a mech thing, like also? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of in the same vein as well. Damn, I gotta, I gotta catch all this up. You are dating yourself now, Pete? Well, fuck that, dude. It's timeless. It's a good shit. It's like saying, uh, Slayers, is the Slayers, that's the one with the girl with the big and then the other one. It's, it's two girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a crush on them. When I was like the, 13. The, the brand name. Yeah, yeah, I remember those two, but I never got to see it. Yeah, what about Ranma and a Half or whatever? Ranma Half, yeah. I, it's Ranma Half's probably my, one of my favorite. Uh, Damn, there's. Some, Ian, do you know any of the mangas that we're talking about? Zero. <laughs> what did you do growing up? Talk to people outside. Yeah. <laughs> to girl, yeah. Talk to girls. <laughs> Talk to yeah. girls. I've, only, I've, only, I've never read a manga. I've only seen one manga all the way through. I've only seen one. I've only seen one series. One. Uh, Death Note. Oh, Death Note. It's good. I like it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But no, I just think it's pretty. Grow up with it. Then you're missing out. Yeah. Well, believe us. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I don't know. My sister used to watch a lot of like the not like my sister's really into she's an artist and she really used to watch some mangas but she showed me some when I was very young. She's four years older than me. So I was like ten, she's fourteen. But they weren't like happy mangas, they were like pretty terrifying. <laughs> there was one called like Urotsuki Urotsuki Doji, like that kind of thing. She, 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, just straight up I probably watched like Akira. <laughs> it was the hentai that popularized it. Hey, but yeah. it, was, it was that was I guess there were scenes like that, but it's mainly like about a demon taking over. Like yeah, it's like a, it's a like horror. Like a, right? horror. I don't remember any of it. The artist is but crazy good. I remember there was one other, uh, I don't know if you call it manga, it's really weird style, and it's a, a movie called Mind the Game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind the Game, yeah, like Mind maybe 10 years, 15 years ago? Yeah. And it was That's mental. Really and I really enjoyed that. It's I really enjoyed really it. Yeah. It's kind of... Is it a famous director? Because it's not like a... It's like kind of like half real people and half like actual anime yeah, and stuff like that. Style. It's like, like Cool World or Good Friend Roger Rabbit. But no, but even like the people are kind of a bit weird. You have to like. Uh, it's like horror school. Oh yeah. whoa! But check, check it out. It's really uh, yeah. I want to watch that again. It's been like I watched it when I first came to Japan like twelve years ago. So. Yeah, Mind the game. Mind the game. That was really good. Yeah, it's also like you. Yeah. Is he known for doing pretty weird? Yeah. Said that that's their favorite movie ever. My game. game. Yeah, it's, it's watch. We got an office now with a 55 inch TV in it. <laughs> I, I recommend everything on this. It's a really good series. It's just a serious amount of people. The way that it's played is so insane. It was called Ping Pong? It's called Not Talk You? No, Ping Pong Animation. That's kind of cool. Someone recommended it. Uh, a manga to me, uh, an anime to me, quite a while back. To it, it would be good for like learning Japanese and hare to ku, hare is it hare to ku? Like to be hare to someone. And it's like set in a jungle. Uh, is it hare to ku or like or it's two people's names? Someone to someone. And it's like a, a girl looks like Tarzan essentially, like raised in a jungle. Oh, okay. Hare nochi gu. Uh, hare nochi gu. Uh, hare nochi gu. Oh, oh, hare yeah, yeah, okay, Someone yeah. can translate. I heard that was shitty. Really, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, and, yeah, hare nochi And one other one. I did it so I'm like, see, look, it's good. I'm like, I like what I'll say this month. What I'll say this month? The laughing oh, sales. Ah. Yeah. That's really, it's, it's all, it's a, like Twilight Zone, so they've all got a little like nasty twists. So not Twilight, more like Tales from the Crypt kind of thing. They're a bit dark. It's by the same guy who did Doraemon, or one of them. Is there a really good Mahjong manga that I want to... I want to read that. Oh, yeah, Akagi. Akagi. You want to read that. that Do is... they have a pachinko game version? Oh, yeah. I'm in. I, I can't mean, wait. Do you know Kaiji? Kaiji? Yeah. No. Kaiji is, like, the most, like, influenced, like, dead game manga in play. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and it's not by the same guy. Uh, but Akagi is not the... It's, it's like, the Mahjong version. It's a dead game. Sort of oh, sick. It's fucking so sick. high stakes. It's so good. But the art is a little weird, but... Kaiji is 100% P. Yeah. You know what? I'm and Kaiji's P. Dude, uh, every I mean, manga you've said, everyone says low key amazing or this is right. Just trust him. Dude, you, I'm the anime. He's the anime man. What the fuck? I own that title. It is his. But like, how did you read all of these and play all those RPGs? I don't understand. You really didn't go outside I much, did you? No, I, really didn't. <laughs> I, I stayed inside and watched anime and played games and played games. Man. Actually, no, that's a lie. I played tennis before. I've learned that you're not the anime man. I'm not. You know two or three titles. Yeah. One was a tentacle porn, which I think you tried yeah, to you use as your sister. That's, that's, that's pretty hard. Ah, yeah. You knew <laughs> Hare, Hare, uh, and. I don't know what to do. Gaiba? Was there a series called Gaiba? Oh yeah, Guyver's sick. She's, that guy has the blue armor. That. Yeah, oh, she used to watch that. She had like VHS tapes of that. Damn. It's not all tents of the Unless there's a typical cool scene in Guyver. Well, here's what's going to happen. We're getting close to the destination. And when we get to the sushi place, I do not think we will be streaming that. Um, because it's time to kick back and relax and enjoy the day. Yeah, I think we've been streaming for about five we're, hours. We're, yeah. And it's also we're losing light. Uh, I know all the comic books to read. That's what I was into. The American mangas. I liked uh, Sin City. Sin City's sick. And 
Frank Miller also wrote the best Batman story too, which is well, I guess you could say there's two, but he wrote the the Dark Knight Returns, where he came out of retirement and beat some ass. The Killing Joke as well, but yeah, the Freedom manga. Yeah, sure, buddy. You've had a long day. Favorite comics, Pete? Ooh, Bubby. I hate to be that guy and say, like, Watchmen, because it's... But it's so unbelievably good. I like Batman The Long Halloween and The Dark Victory with Tim Sale. Dude, that is such a fun series. If you don't know the ending, try to get, like, get some buddies and have, like, a bet of, like, 50 bucks each and see who can get the closest to guessing um, who the culprit is. I also like early Batman when he's, like, still figuring out how to be that dude. Um, Mouse is really good. That's a great comic. Sin City, like Joey said, is pretty much legendary. I like uh, some of the Swamp Thing run from uh, the dude who wrote Watchmen, who's amazing, Alan Moore. Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, also by Alan Moore. There's too many good comics, but we'll have that another time. Yeah, Batman Year One was great. It was very good. Death in the Family. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. That's the Joker taking a crowbar to Jason. But, Sandman's great. I like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen before it got all weird. Um, there's a lot of different eras of, like, Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four and, like, all of the comics that have, like, good moments. But, in general, these comics go way too fucking long and there's thousands of issues. So it's too long. But anyway... It sounds like One Piece. Is this it? Yep. All right, I'll probably just end here in a second then. Oh, shit. How did that happen? I got the maneuvers. I also think uh, Invincible is one of my favorite comic series, and that was before my friends, before it got all popular. Dude, Invincible was so good. It was amazing. I was reading that. I have, like, all of the original issues. Let me see where we're going today. I was going to... You know what? We're going to go say what's up, what's up to our, our good friend. Is there a... Uh, can we get a raid to Rob CD, mate? Is there any mods here? <laughs> I would like to raid Rob, but I, I don't know if I can. Let me... Tr oh, thank you, Conk. Let's go say what's up. Wait, wait. Before you guys go... I can't even make an emote. Come up with something funny. I'm an OG Invincible and Kirkman fan from the jump, buddy. That was a good stream, everyone. You guys are amazing. Thank you to everybody who tossed in a, a gift sub. Thank you to everybody who tossed in a bit. Lurked, chatted, raided, was a part of the stream. Got Ian and I through the long drive. It is much appreciated. Thank you to the mod team. Thank you guys all so much. We're going to a guy named Rob CD. He is an IRL expert. He is the final boss of See IRL. See you later, everyone. See you later, yeah. everybody. You didn't bye even bye. say anything today. I was, I was like, doing lots of filming on trains today, but I'll be around for the next stream. All right, well, whenever there you I have it. Uh, whenever that is. Uh, could be tomorrow, could be the day after, we're not sure. But I will see you guys next time. And thank you for the raid, Sea Dog.